Good morning. How is everybody today? I'm just worried in case Rosie and Manfred are going to jump off the sofa and Brenda's going to spill tea all over herself. Anyway, um, Brenda, I loved your message. Don't take any notes of all those other people. I loved your message. Jeremy, I'm echoing really badly in my head, just you know. Good morning. I, I will still get excited. I will still go, no, oh no. I will still do that. So uh, I'm, I'm so sorry. Yeah, okay, let's do the early bird, shall we? Shall we do the early bird? Because these are so popular. They are so, so, so popular. Are you ready? Is it in the right shot? Hang on. It is now. It is now. There you go. Boom. Early bird. Yeah, they are the baby clips. Uh, oh, you see, now you're saving more than you're spending. Ah, uh, no. Now, we had these on the show the other day, and they were 19 99 I know, and today, the early bird, the early bird, £9.99. pence. Yeah, oh, yeah, let's count them. Now, they are done by weight, because what happens is, is they, they're put together in the warehouse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, 51, you're getting that one. You get 51 in that one. You're only supposed to get 50. Uh, anyway, 9.99. Nine, oh, I've got to feed for Oh, they see, when I'm at this table, great quality clips, a fantastic price. One not to be missed from a crafter in Northumberland. Oh, now we have a lot from a crafter in Northumberland, don't we? Because we thought it was our friend, didn't we? Yeah. <coughs> anyway, uh, you get 50. You get 50. You get 51 if you get this one. Oh, another FIFO. Hannah will read it out to me. From, from Heather, Helen even, in Ross Shire. Good quality and unbeatable price. Strong and durable, but that's just John. Oh, does that bit not come out on there? Oh. I'm sure I read that earlier when I was looking at him. Yeah. Yeah, I've always used these in my... Um, yeah. You're getting confused with rotary cutters. Hannah thinks I've never seen a clip before I started at Sewing Quarter, but clips are fine. Rotary cutters I'd never seen before I started at Sewing Quarter. They're brilliant. The thing is, when I first started, they're only big clips, not little clips like this, you see. These are fantastic for all sorts. Well, actually, Janice uses these on everything, doesn't she? Um, and all the guests, all the guests use them. She dro drops pins all around the house and Martin, her uh, Martin's not happy with her. Right, oh, hang on, there's, so, oh, there's loads of you messaging already. Uh, Julie says, morning, John and team. Glenn says, morning, John and team. Claire says, morning, John and all. Fingers crossed for winning that huge bundle. Uh, 12 o'clock, I'll be announcing that. There were so many entries, I can't tell you. Uh, Barbara says, morning, all enjoying Stone Street in the mornings. Ah, oh, thank you. Uh, Paula says, morning, John and team. Helen says, good morning, John, and good luck. Wait, what's that good luck for? Glenis is laughing out loud. Ha ha! No, I'm not winning the house today. April the 9th, I'm going to win the house in full. It's so funny, I was on a, a Zoom chat yesterday and I said, oh, I'm going to win the house in Fulham on the 9th. And someone said, oh, that's funny, because a friend of mine thinks he's going to... Anyway, it's the same house, same house. Um, good morning, John. And everyone says, Susan. Sue says, morning, John and crew. I, wow, wondering if there's any news on Greg's. No, Vicky's not gone to Greg's yet. Love to all. Jackie says, good morning, Dawn. Dawn's not here yet. Dawn's got, she, well, she's here. She's in the building. Uh, morning, Dawn. Oh, Dawn said hello. Is that why you're saying hello? Um, morning, Dawn. Where's the message gone? I've lost it now. Morning, John and crew. Wondering, oh, no, I've done that one. Well, morning, Dawn and, Dawn and John. Looking forward to your demonstrations from Jackie. Morning, John and all the team from Snowy Aberdeenshire. Yeah, we had snow yesterday. Morning, everyone, says Donna. Ema says good morning. Judith says good morning. Amanda says, uh, John Scott, thank you for opening. Please do, oh, your opening, please never change. If people don't like it, there's a button they can press. Well, I'll tell you a story in a minute, right? Uh, morning, my favourite man on telly. Oh, princess, thank you. Morning, happy Tuesday, says Lisa. Stuart says, morning, John, all breakfast with you and some sewing today. Denise says, morning, John, love the clip. So much easier than pins. You are so funny. How are you doing with your glasses? Oh, I'm back to my normal glasses at the moment, as you can see. 
Uh, morning, you. Love, you. love you and your shirts. Marcia says, good morning, everybody. Jackie says, good morning. Jill says, good morning. Suzanne says, morning all. I set my alarm, especially as it's school holiday, so I don't need to get up. Aww. Derek says, good morning, Hannah. No, no Emma today. Jeremy Joe today. Derek, Jeremy Joe. Love those clips. A best thing ever. Oh, we had a lovely waistcoat on last night at the sing-along. Uh, good morning, John, says Cousin Susan. Oh, he says, good morning, John and crew. You look like you've been in the sun. New makeup. It's new makeup. It's called uh, War Paint for Men. I think I overdid the um, bronzer this morning. Uh, Wendy Orlando, here we go. More, uh, she says, uh, good morning, Mr. S. I can see you've got a cheeky glint in your eye today. Looking forward to the show. That, put your glasses on. Does Wendy use the clips? No, she never pins. Uh, Trudy says, morning, John and crew. I love putting Sewing Street on and seeing you there, John. Hubba, bubba. Pauline said, what's on today? I have to go for a blood test. Pauline, I'll do the menu in a minute. Claire says, morning. Gorgeous watching you whilst in bed in sunny Lincolnshire. All I say to you is, when I watch Escape to the Country, which you know is one of my favourite programmes, there's one presenter I cannot stand, right? I just either fast forward to the bits where she's not talking and look at the house, or I don't watch it. It's as simple as that. I don't write to the BBC and go, oh, I really don't like that lady. Anyway, have you bought these? Oh, what's that noise? $9.99. I got a message from Luna. Luna, Luna, squirrels, squirrels. I'm doing it quietly. Oh, I've got really bad um, feedback again today. No, no, it's not the muff noise. It's the, it's the <laughs> Like that. The other day, Jeremy I had to change my um, pack, so I have the other one ready just in case. When I switch on, it's John. My day gets brighter, says Stephanie. Patsy says, Morning, John and crew. Best programme on TV by a country mile. Thank you. What? It's Escape to the Country. I oh, know, it's brilliant, isn't it? Um, now, um, oh, yeah, she's watching Big Breakfast, apparently. Big Breakfast is not anymore. Um, oh, is it coming back? Are, are you supposed to tell us that? Okay, have you got your mask on? Good boy. I'm just going to change my talk, uh, whatever this thing's called. I'll wipe it now with my sat, with my, not my sat nav cream. What's it called? I keep calling it sat nav cream, don't I? Right, back with you now. That's better. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We're in for a good day today. Um, now, Hannah said something about she uses, she puts all her pound notes together with these. You're getting very confused today. That's the second story you've told about my life, which isn't true. So just as well, she's not the ghostwriter of John Scott, the autobiography, isn't it? No, the accountant's assistant, not money. No, there was no money in them, but the pay, when I had to sign pages, there were the big versions of this on, I can't, yeah, they have got something to do with money, but not my money, as in I've got, got any money to, for them to put in the clips. I know, do, 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 do. 9 nine, ten. No, I said I haven't got any money. Shall we do the menu? Because who was it got to go off and go and get their blood test? Um, oh, hang on, who was it? Yeah, look, uh, my, uh, my, Pauline, Pauline. Oh, and my, uh, Michael's going for one as well, and Karen. Three blood tests today. Right, come on, have a look. Oh, I've, I've left my ring in my dressing room. Uh, coming up, In the Garden with Barley Batik Bundles. Now, In the Garden is Hannah's title for the show. She's put all these, I mean, they're gorgeous. Don't get me wrong. They're lovely, lovely, lovely fabrics. But uh, it's, she's called it In the Garden. The range isn't called Into the Garden. I don't know why I've brought the early bird with me. Um, so, so that's at 8 o'clock. Then at 9 o'clock, I've got Dawn Taylor's Sewing Room Accessories. Uh, I'll show you a picture, Jeremy. It's the one, the, the, the blue one. There you go. So that's Jeremy putting it under the sewing machine. I don't know quite know how he's going to sew on that angle, but there you go. Is that the only picture you've done? Because where's the one with the little balls on? Come back, put it back. Yeah, where's the, um, the most important bit, the bit that we're showing today? Okay, we'll show you later anyway. I'll show you later. Poor old Dawn's worked hours and hours on that. Jeremy's taken the picture the wrong direction. 10 o'clock, sewing room tools. Oh, well, I'll be doing a demonstration on 
cutting uh, circles, cutting straight line. I won't be doing the, um, the rulers that I promised you, but never mind. Then at 11 o'clock, we've got applique or applique art with Dawn Taylor. So, oh, that book is amazing. The book is fantastic. And then at 12 o'clock, you've got pre-cuts and more. That's just me on my own. Oh, sorry, go back. <coughs> go back to applique art. Let's see what Joby's taking a picture of. There, that's lovely, isn't it? From the book. And the back, that's not even in the book, that one. Right, and, and, peg bags. From the book, oh, aren't they lovely? We've got all those fabrics, of, oh, not all the fabrics, some of those fabrics available in, the, in that hour as well. <sighs> so that's it. So there are three ways you can get in touch. The first way is you can send an email, which is at studio at sewingstreet.com, studio at sewingstreet.com. That's how you send an email, and they're the ones that Hannah reads out in the back of my, no, not in the back of my head. No, no, I don't mean that at all. She reads them out and I read them to you. You can send a Facebook message, which is how I'm reading messages on my tablet here. Margaret's just messaging, saying good morning, John. Um, so you can do that on Facebook Live, or of course you can send a message via the website. What you need to do is go to the website, www.sayingstreet.com. You'll get the main page there. You click on watch live. Watch live. There's me. Oh, no, that's not me. Uh, and then you see the box on the right-hand side there. Send message to the studio. You can literally write a message there. Hello, John. Shouty capitals. I love S. Who's S? You. S. I love yous. I love you still. So she likes me when I don't move very much. That's what it is. Send the message and then it'll come in a white box underneath on the screen. But however, <clears throat> more importantly, look on that same page. If you scroll down the page, right, there's the early bird. <clears throat> there's what? It's the best seller because it's the only thing we've sold so far. Anyway, look, 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 go down. There's pre-order. Now, when we start introducing um, items, there'll be two columns, pre-order and show deals. What's that early bird special there? Oh, it's sold out. Oh, oh, better move that then. Right, okay, there's, <coughs> there's everything from the whole five hours available today. All the fabrics from the first time. I'm just slurping my water while you're having a look at that. What's that? What's that one? Oh, there's Dawn's in instructions. Now, there are bundles and the instructions are on their own. That's a much better picture. Jeremy obviously didn't take that one. Then there's bundles, some threads. Oh, the threads are in a later hour, actually. Um, then, oh, something else is sold out already. What was that? Oh, that was, oh. And we've got some two, look, oh, there you go. Oh, that's nice, because it's upside down, that one. Totally upside down, because the lemur's in a tree. x ray backing. Uh, got all sorts. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Then you've got, I've got a tool out. I'm going to be doing a demo on that ruler. Oh, now, are they back in? Oh, something else is sold out there. The um, cushion square and blocker is in. Uh, we did have some of the uh, press and cut and press. Uh, but they, but no, no, they came in the other day and we sold out. And then we thought more would be in by today, I'm afraid. Uh, keep an eye open. Now... No, oh, that was, oh, anyway, never mind. That was going to be my big demo. I've been practising all weekend. Anyway, then we've got tools and everything like that. Beautiful. Then we into, oh, there, that book. That book, that book, that book. It's gorgeous, the book. And uh, Dawn is completely and utterly in love with that book. She just loves it. Uh, so I'll be going through that with Dawn's second hour at, at uh, 11 o'clock. Then you've got uh, Rick Rack, Rick Rack, Rick Rack. We've got, oh, look, stop, 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 stop. I don't think I'm going to feature those buttons in the hour, but I love those gardeners. I asked Hannah why there was a fried egg in with them, but it's looking it's a daisy when you put your glasses on. Uh, keep scrolling. Bundles, a chiffon. No, not a chiffon, organza, I mean, organza. Then, look, they've got a dark, oh, look, the yellow one. Now, are they called, oh, yeah, yellow, red. So the yellow one sold out, but they are all... I'll tell you all about that later. So there's Adako's new book. Uh, and then her fabrics, which we're selling by bundles of half metres, half yards, half yards. Then I've got more pre traditional pre-cuts. There's so much in today's... Oh, something else sold out. How's that sold out already? No, no, it's brilliant. It's brilliant because you can get... If you've got to go out for a blood test or the dentist or something like that, 
then uh, it's good, isn't it? Because then you can get it and come back later, sort of thing, and get it. Oh, here we go. Here's the other picture. That's in our dressing room in Mexico. Um, oh, that's th so you can use the same, you can use the same um, piece, piece, but it goes over the side of the sofa if you're doing hand stitching rather than with your sewing machine. Don't try and balance your sewing machine on the arm of your sofa. That's all. That's where you're going wrong, Hannah. Well, no, your, your sewing machine hasn't come out the cupboard, does it, for ages? Rita says, good morning, John. I'm addicted to your lovely show. Watching from Malta. Oh, hello, Malta. It's like the Eurovision Song Contest. You, why are you new me? Nil point. Um, and then uh, Julie says, I keep my postman very busy. I kept my postman very busy over lockdown. Excuse me. With all the Sewing Street parcels. Right, where should we start? Let's get on. Come on. Oh, well, Elliot. Now, Elliot, there were things I had to tell you the other day. And you, are you staying today yeah. or are you going? Because he came in the other day, didn't he? And I said to him, Elliot, I've got two things I need to ask you and I've got a new recipe for you. Went out in the break. I said, where's Elliot? And went, oh, he only popped in cello and he's gone home again. On his day off. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah. Paul says all the desks are in the wrong place. <laughs> How do we know? Anyway, come on. I've got to sell things. Go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. Can I do what? Right, okay, this, I'm doing this one first because this is a super duper mega bundle. Oh, excuse me, excuse me. Watch, watch, watch. Three payments of 62, no, two payments, two payments, sorry, of 62.91. 60, split pay, you don't have to take split pay if you don't want to, but if you do, then you can do it. But look, how much fabric do you get in here? Nine and a half metres of fabric, right? And you get half a metre for free. So that means there's 19 fabrics here. Should I just show, if we just go through the upstairs camera, we'll just go to the upstairs camera, you can see all these. Now, this is in a mega bundle. If there are any of these fabrics that you want to see abide by the half metre, let us know and Hannah will sort it. So I'm going to shout out the number. So you need to remember the number of the one you like, right? You ready? I'll just wait for the camera to go in focus. Uh, you need to go there, Jeremy. Because I'm going to go like this. I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, these are nice. Eleven. 12, love number 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Aren't they beautiful? Now, that's a mega bundle of 125 pounds and 82 pence. If you would like any of those by the half metre, just let me know which one. doesn't matter if you don't remember the number, you can describe it. No, 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 because it's fine, because I'll turn them over that way again, you see. And then, oh. Jeremy, it's all right, because Jeremy, the, the director has to put away eight o'clock. So Jeremy will be packing that one away later. That's the rule now. You put away eight, ten and twelve, yeah. And have you got tomorrow's out already? Because that's, the director does that as well in the morning. Anyway, 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 he's going, what, 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 what? 125.82, two split payments of 62.91. Or if you want any of those by the half metre, just let me know and I'll do it. They're lovely, aren't they? I think this one, I love this one. I'm thinking a skirt from West Side Story, like a big circular skirt out of that one. That's what I'm thinking. That's it. I want to be in America. I want to be in America. Oh, shh, 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 shh. Washing machine. Who? Uh, what have you got there to keep clean? Da 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 da. You must. Really, if you've never seen West Side Story, you'll have no idea what I'm singing. I've got a barley spring bundle now. These are all your lovely barley pots, which you're used to seeing in the design role, aren't you? And then we got some by the fabric, and now Hannah's made some bundles for you. That's not a bundle. They're by the half meter. This is the one we're going to start. Oh, sorry, not that one. This is the one we're going to start with. It's called Spring. Right, now, there are, you have to take, uh, take notice because there's no photos on the web. 
just so you know. It's Hannah's fault. She was too late making the bundles for the photography department to take them before they had their long weekend off. Here we go. She hasn't been drinking. Oh, no. But she, uh, how was your picnic in your garden with your mum and dad? Oh, you see, her mum and dad came and stayed in the garden, socially distanced in the garden, and they came up and out. Was it, what day was it? Sunday. Sunday. It was lovely. Oh, it was a beautiful day on Sunday as well, wasn't it? Anyway, half a metre of this. Oh. Half a metre of this. Half a metre of this. And half a metre. I call that one clouds. Is that a batik, that one? Yeah. At £29.46, funny price. This is called spring. Hmm? Dew drops. Oh, I would have called that clouds, but yeah, I can see that. Dew drops. Augusta, this one's called. Now, when you're putting these away, Jeremy, be careful because whoever got them out yesterday. Oh, little Paul. There are single figures now for this bundle. Then there's ballet pink, that one. Paul used to be a ballet dancer, but he kept falling in the sink, didn't he? And then what's this one called? Han? Daffodil. They're lovely. I love that bundle, Hannah. I think that's gorgeous. Look. I'll just put it in shot. There you go. Who's Jeremy? Says Jill. Uh, Pam Minihani says, Morning, John and crew. Love the singing. Thank you. Um, Stuart's being a jet over the kitchen floor as I do my toast. Oh, jets and yeah, jets. I couldn't figure out what he was saying then. Not a jet. The jets and the shark. That's what it was. Oh, you're loving this. There's only eight of these left. No image on the web, so remember those. £29 and... Twenty nine forty six. Beautiful. They're flying out. They're absolutely flying out. Okay, should we move on to a different one now? That was spring. Now what's this one called? Poppy. She's looking good at the moment. Our friend Poppy, who used to be at Roxco with us, she does um, primal health, doesn't she? She looks so well at the moment. Anyway, this one's 2197. 2197, this one. So you get this one, which is green and blue stripe. It's nice, isn't it? That's what? Chamomile. Then I've got the red one, which is cardinal. And then I've got the orange one, which is... Oh, so this, okay, I'll put those in shot, right? This is red, but it's more orangey. That's your cardinal, which is your bright red, and that's your chamomile, which I thought was yellow chamomile, but there you go. Oh, Isabel enjoyed Derek's sing-along last night. Oh, uh, oh, Munch! Now, it's never enough. I've just been talking about you, Munch, to Jeremy. Uh, for who, who was it asked about? Who was uh, Jer Jill said, who is Jeremy? Jeremy is Kat's brother, and he is a freelance director who is within our bubble, who comes in when Emma's not here. And he's, uh, he, he, I was going to say he's married to Munch. He's not married to Munch. He's a, his flat share friend is Munch. That came out all wrong. What do you call, what do you call, flatmate, flatmate. Flatmate is Munch. Well, it's a housemate. Don't you live in a house? Yeah, whole house. Um, and Munch is Liam, who is a director, producer at Jewelry Maker, our sister channel who shouted at me last week when I was in there. Very unlike him, but he shouted at me. Anyway, moving on. Then the, oh, 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 have I? It's a four bundle, this one. Yeah, yeah. Oh, this is nice. It's called Mushroom. Oh, okay. Oh, the whole, the whole bundle is called Purple Hyacinths. Do not get muddled up with my Hyacinth range, which is coming up in a minute. Right? Midnight Hyacinth thing I've got coming up in a minute. So that's... 
Oh, that's hydrangea. Oh, sorry. Sorry, I'm getting confused. So this, is, was, so this bundle is called hyacinth. And that fabric. Don't worry, I'll move on because then I've got the purple one. I'll have the proper names in a minute. Oh, that's nice. I won't do it then. 20, 29 96. June. Busting out all over. Oh, hey, I can tell you, I can tell you. Jungle green. Hand dyed purple. Bella. Purple blossom. Um, oh, uh, so enjoyed that I've done that one. But why is he called Munch or is it obvious? Uh, no, he doesn't eat a lot. I, he used to be quite chubby, but he's not anymore. Um, but he's only about that tall. And when he came to work with us at Rocks and Co, his nickname, I don't know who gave his nickname, was Munchkin. And it just got shortened to Munch. Um, morning, had a bad night. Oh, June, had a bad night, but glad you're here to cheer me up. June, did you say I've been, I'm too noisy, June? When I go, when I shout, oh no, I'm too noisy. Gerardine's in as well now. It was, it was her like 50th wedding anniversary this weekend, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, when we do batik prints in purples, what about them? When we do them? Oh yeah, always really popular. Yeah, always really popular. I wondered where she was going with it. She stopped halfway through the sentence, started talking to Jeremy about something else. She went, when we do purple in the um, batiks, and then she went, so Jeremy. And I was like, oh, okay. They're lovely, aren't they? I, that's my I have to say, that's my favourite. I think that's beautiful. Jungle. I like, it's a psychedelic jungle look. Oh, and they had aardvarks last night. You know, I told you I was hooked on uh, Secret Life of the Zoo. Well, uh, it's gone back to series one now, and I haven't seen series one yet. And the Kirsten looks after the aardvarks, and I've never really seen an aardvark before. And they're gorgeous. They're so cute. So I think I now want aardvarks in my garden. Next bundle. I could go up blues and greens. Oh, this one's called blue hyacinth, because I've got blue jungle coming up. Right, so you've got blue hand dyed. Uh, these, I'll tell you the real titles in a minute. But look, there's blue jungle. Then you've got blue dew drops. No, I'll, I'll give you the right. Oh, ooh, that's nice. Baby blue. Powder blue. Royal blue. No, no mention of jungle. And what's this one there then? Jade. Oh, this very popular. Down to eight. There's no picture on the web, by the way. No picture on the web. If you want to see any of the again, please message in. Lowe says, never stop shouting and singing. I wouldn't know it was you that was on. Kath says, morning, John. Just going to play golf. I'm wrapping up warm as it's freezing. Oh, yeah, it is cold. It's lovely and sunny. Catch up later. Oh, have a lovely day, Kath. That'd be nice. Uh, Oh, yeah, the egg competition will be announced at 12. At 12. You can't enter now, but it'll be announced at 12. Because they've all, I think the computer, they're all gone in the computer now. So they're all being in the tombola wheel on the computer. Um, never change, John. You're not noisy. Oh, thank you, Anne. Right. I'm moving on. If you want to see any of those again. Got some barleys on their own. These Now, this is not a bundle. These are by the half metre. Oh, you got, no, I'll go with you. Okay, so this one is called Barley Hand Paints in, does that say Bew? Bew with Peach. That's a new colour, isn't it? Bew. It's nice though, isn't it? Ignore that. Just buy this because it's beautiful. Oh, I love all the little colours in there. Imagine how long it takes to make that. 7 49 for half a metre. I know, hand dyed, I know. It's all done by hand. Uh, June says, you shouting, you're the most shy and retiring person I know. Dear. Marina's watching. Wrap up warm calf, have a good game, says Jill. Oh, Beautiful. Seven pounds and 49 pence. It's cute, isn't it? Lovely colour. Beautiful colour. Very fresh. A sarong might look nice in that. A sarong. 
Oh, it's so right. Right, do you want, I'll go with you, shall I? Okay, this is fern leaves. Barley hand paints in cream and green, multi. So it's cream background. Well, it's green, but there's lilac in there, there's lavender in there, there's yellow in there. It's nice, isn't it? That looks like, like fossils. You know how you sort of found, find ferns in rocks and things like that? I've got the most incredible fossil in my back garden. It came with the house, right? It's the big rock that, that well, it's a rock that holds the back, the, back gate open right when you don't want the back gate to but it's about that big and it's got those huge snails that goes round like that what were they called actually an a, 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 ammonite an ammonite it's got a huge it's massive like that it's got a snail fossil it's brilliant i know maybe i should look after it maybe it's because it'd be millions of years old wouldn't it seven pounds and 49 pence no but he still bought it. Hannah bought a shell, and the lady said if she drank water from it, it would help her kidneys. Oh, oh, sorry, I've got the Mr. Big in the story. She bought it from a witch doctor in the jungle. <laughs> a fossilised shell, and the lady said, no, it's a stone. Drink water from it, and your kidneys will be get better. Not, don't drink so much alcohol, just drink, drink water out of this shell. Why? Liam said, uh, there's only 20 metres of that one left in the company. What's the matter? So I said you weren't doing your job properly. What did I say you'd done wrong? Ice blue, oh, ice blue, this one's called. Ammonite, it's rare and expensive. Yeah, but mine's not the actual gemstone munch. Mine's just a fossil within a stone. You can tell he still works in jewellery, can't you? 7.49. I was thinking earlier, if ever Hannah was poorly and Cat couldn't cover, we'd have to have munch in here to produce, wouldn't we? Seven forty nine for half a meter. Lovely. I've got a red one next, Hannah. This one's called Deep Red. Look at that. That's beautiful. It's very tropical, isn't it? A little bit what? I'll turn it over. It's where the silver sticker was last. Oh. Yeah, there you go. Crazy Lorraine said, it's our wedding anniversary today, 47 years. Lorraine, you must have been a child bride. Mustn't you? If you've been married for 47 years, you must have been about 15, were you? 14? No, you can't be 14. 16. Steve was about 40 when he got married, but you must have been. Oh, okay, I've still got one left of the, in this. Okay, the blue hyacinth bundle's about to sell out. Need to get that quickly. Thank you. See, I picked the right one up and then said it's one that's got jungle green in it, but it hasn't. This isn't jungle green. That's called... Still no news from Vic. She's not in the queue at Greg's. Oh, please, please, please be careful. Lots of people multi-bought. Remember, when you multi-buy, you'll still get two of these, two of these, two of these, two of these. They don't come joined together. There's no picture on the web, sorry. Oh, she was 17. There you go. She was 17 when she got married. You see, the thing is, Crazy Lorraine, the people I was friends with when I was 17, I'm not, I'm still friends with Dawn, but that's about it from my friends when I was 17. Do you know what I mean? So it's like weird that, that you've, anyway. Congratulations, 47 years. 
You're going to go out for a lovely walk, get a coffee maybe. £29.46, right. Got one more. In Stratford-upon-Avon, on the Greenway, at one end, at, well, at both ends of it, there's a re- old railway carriage, right? And they've, it's a cafe. And it's been taken over by somebody new. And my next-door neighbours went yesterday. So they cycled along the Greenway. And they're, they're all sitting outside. They're all socially distant tables and everything. She said, they're lovely. It's really, really lovely. Now, this is unusual, isn't it, for a batik? Now, you see, now this graphic is one of the old graphics because I can read all of that perfectly. It's because it's in bold. You see the, see the letters there? They're in bold, not in um, normal type. Well, somebody obviously pressed the bold button for this one because I can read that one. I can read that really clearly. I was getting, last week, I was getting so panicky because I was looking at all the, I was like, I can't read anything, can't read anything, I can read that perfectly. How weird is that? I also noticed that when I'm at that desk, I don't want to do very much on table two anymore because I'm doing this a lot. I know, it's not, it's, because Elliot promised me a screen, you see, but I'll stay here, one more. I haven't got another one, that's it. <laughs> Hannah saying, got to the next one, I haven't got another one. <laughs> it's not one from one of the other bundles, is it? Okay. And Hannah put this one together. You'd think she'd know what was in the show, wouldn't you? Purple hyacinth. See, that's in bold as well. Right, I've got nine of these left now, this one. Nine left. No picture on the web. I'm ever so sorry. Oh, Lorraine, oh, she's going for a chippy lunch. Oh, how lovely. Lo had an amazing weekend. She's struggling to get back to normal. Oh, well, I was working most of it, wasn't I? Beautiful. Right, now, this is why I was getting confused with hyacinth and hydrangea. This is, now, this is one of Vicky Vicks's favourite. On her last show, she chose to have this on her last show before she went away on her maternity leave. This is called hydrangea, midnight hydrangea. Right, I'll do the little bundle first. And then I'll put them in this pile because they're both available separately. So if you just want half a metre of each of those by this bundle, but if you say want that one three metres, then wait a second and I'll do it for you properly. Midnight Hydrangea Fabric, one metre bundle, 14.98. I'll just push those into shot there. There you go. Pretty, aren't they? It's like a silhouette, that one, isn't it? Oh. Out. 14 pounds and a tip pinch. Right, okay, so I'm going to put those now back at the bottom of that panel because we can do a b- b- bundle because I can do them as half uh, half meters as well. This is a panel, this one. Oh, it's nice. The colors are beautiful. Look. I'm sort of sitting in the wrong place, aren't I, for some reason? There you go. I'm sure these tables have moved. Now, it's a panel. Don't remember, they do not come joined up if you buy it. They're already cut into panels. And they'll be cut in the right place because they've got dotted lines to follow. Look here. It's beautiful, isn't it? Oh, sorry if you've got a big telly. That'll have made you big up. There you go. It's all right now. It's the camera. Elliot's on to it. Elliot's working on it. Anton, my cat, is besotted with you. Since you shook a product that sounded like his favourite treats. He's watching you now, thinks you're the dreamies man. Oh, that's from Julie. Oh, hang on, I didn't see that message. Trees up. Morning, John. I can see those words much clearer like you can. Thank you. It's not just me, is it? They're all taking the mickey out of me. Oh, it's Julie. Anton, my cat is besotted with you. Oh, I haven't got anything to sh- Anton. Anton. Don't. I might have, I might have um, adopted four cats by accident yesterday. <laughs> I've just said picture of Hannah Schmidt. That's only two. I, she, she, I said, why? She, there's two black ones and two tabby ones. She, she said, they're twins. Anyway, <laughs> I'm I'm sure I haven't. I know. 50, 14 of those left. 14 of those left now.
Okay. I love this. Now, I don't know what it is. It's very vintagey. This is lovely. What's it called? Now you see the writing's... Oh, it's when the writing goes smaller. Look. Midnight hydrangea, tossed all over, hydrangeas on white, half a metre. Now, this is now, this is different. If you buy this, you if you want three metres of this, you'll get three metres. This isn't like in the bundles where it's just half a metre, but only if you're quick. Oh, I think it's lovely. That I think that's beautiful. Um, obviously, these are in ericaceous soil because they're blue. Yeah, bluey purple. So I bought a pink one, a white one, and a blue one. And they're all going to, this year apparently they're all going to be pink because I don't live in ericaceous soil. But you can get ericaceous I saw some ericaceous compost. So I suppose if I put it in a pot with ericaceous compost, it'll go blue again. But my soil isn't the blue soil, apparently. It's about to, yeah, she was very sarcastic. That's very interesting, John, she said. At least I've got mud in my garden, Hannah. Not bricks. Yes, right? What are you going to say to me? Oh, next one. I thought you were going to tell me something interesting. <laughs> we're not friends anymore. We're, uh, only 40 minutes ago, she said, I love you still, right? Now we're not friends. She got off me. She's very fickle like that. Right, 7.49, this is Midnight Hydrangea, small floral stripe on white. Now, are the names that we've given these, the names from the manufacturers? Because I just wondered why the, people want to know why the last one was called, the la, how at it was. Midnight Hydrangea is the range, 100% cotton from uh, Studio E Fabrics. So in this one, you've got <coughs> French blue, pale blue, sky blue, baby blue, brown, purple, Rose de France amethyst, and a very pale pink. Oh, moving on. Dragonflies have got next, but on the dark blue background. I'll be all right. I'll, I'll do it in the break, Jeremy. Thank you. Why do I look cold? It keeps kicking in. Oh, look at that. That's dramatic. Oh, there's only four metres this one left, if you want some of this one. Oh, Munch is in bed. What shift is he on today? He's at work. Oh, he's off today. He could come in here and train, learn how to be a producer properly, couldn't he? I'm sure Elliot, Elliot could teach him. Oh! <gasps> Look at this one. What we call this one all over. Hydrangea placed. Oh, packed hydrangea. See, the writing's gone back to not being bold now, isn't it? I think it's when there's more letters. But last week it was every single graphic I couldn't read. I started panicking. There's only five metres this one left. I think that one is beautiful. Oh, moving on. Oh, no, oh, there all are. How come I've never had this range before? Because Vic's always used to choose it for her shows, that's why. Oh, and now, here we know, we know what this one's called. It's just in dark blue this time. Tossed all over on navy. Right, I wouldn't call it navy. Personally, I would not call that navy. I'd call that French blue. On the website, it looks very dark, but it's not navy. It's like, oh, you can see on the telly. It's like a French blue, isn't it? Oh, there's only two and a half metres of that one left. Lots of people got that one in your baskets. Now I've got like the silhouette on blue. I'm calling it silhouette. It might not be called that. Oh, they're called tonal dragonflies. I don't know, they're called tone. Oh, tonal, not like Tony. Seven foot ten. Yeah, I think that one looks more like a Kevin, I agree. No news on the baby yet, I'm afraid. No news on the baby. We have just texted her. She's no news on the baby yet. She'll be watching. She'll be at home, bored now, watching. Seven forty-nine. The egg competition will be announced at midday, and as soon as Vix goes into labour, you will be the first to know. Right now, I've got. 
Now, Kieran's there. Kieran will be there. So, Paul will be the first one that, that they call. Tonal on lilac. <clears throat> the baby's wearing your hat. Oh. Jeremy's girlfriend, Hattie, does knitting and she's knitted a hat for Vix and Kieran's baby. Oh. Seven foot. What colour did she do? Oh, white. Okay. Because Vix doesn't know. Vix doesn't know if she's having a little boy or a little girl yet. I think that's lovely. Seven pounds and 49 pence. Love this fabric. Oh, hang on. But I've got a phobia about dragonflies, says Ange. Oh, Ange. These are no good for you then, are they? You don't want to be waking up seeing dragonflies. Next one's, look away, Ange, look away, because the next one is major dragonflies. It's not called that, it's called small dragonflies. So only a small, only a small fright from this one. It's definitely lilac. The picture on the web looks blue. It's definitely li dark lilac, going towards lavender. No, it's definitely lilac. Single figures on that one. Oh, that's it. That's the end of that range. Oh, now, if you don't like dragonflies, and Ange, how are you going to cope with critters and bugs? Now, I've only got this two in a bundle. Yeah. Okay, so this is just our black oh, that you can buy on the website on its own. Half meter that. And this is only available at the moment. Oh, again, yeah, until they get more, until they get more, until they get more. We, all the stock is in this bundle. And I just need to show you this. I don't know who show this was from, but that's just it made into a, a peg bag. We've got different peg bags coming up later, but that's it made into a peg bag. Right, so now, okay, more people in basket than we've got. Okay, I've got more, I've got more from that range, but just not that fabric. I've got a panel. What time is it? Oh, yeah, perfect. Right, so now this is a panel. If you buy more than one of these, they do not come joined together. Oh, I say. Don't look away, Ange. Because there's dragonflies on here. Ange won't be happy. Hang on, where are we? Look, right in the middle of the shot. Multicoloured dragonfly. I don't know what that, I don't know what all the others are. That's a ladybird. They're all sorts of different bugs, aren't they, and insects. They're lovely though, aren't they? Seven ninety nine. that's a panel. And there's only seven panels left, not including people with baskets. Okay. Then I've got bugs on leaves. Oh, I need to warn you, this is the last fabric with bugs on. The other two ha have, haven't got bugs on them, but they go with the fabrics. Oh, look, that's nice, isn't it? Five ninety nine. Hang on, how much was that? Oh no, it was a panel last one. That's why, isn't it? Five ninety nine. Oh, review. Beautiful quality fabric. No, there is definitely something different because I couldn't read the FIFOs last week, could either. Beautiful quality fabric, exactly shown on TV and website. Nicely packaged from Michelle in Essex. Thank you, Michelle in Essex, for that. Jeremy's not seen the FIFOs before. Right, now the other next few fabrics are part of this range, but they're not, they haven't got bugs on them, but I love them. This is Spot. Oh, it's called Polka Dot, it's called Spot on here. We've called it Polka Dot. The designer has called it Spot. There it is. Right, hang on, now what's it saying? Hang on, I've read somewhere. No bugs and critters on this one. It, look, 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 it says, no bugs and critters on this one. Because people have been looking like I was then for a bug. I think that's gorgeous, this. Anyway, I'm moving on. But surely they've all gone now. Oh, you can't enter the competition now. Don't be, because they've all gone into the hat now. 
So Hannah says, if you email in, she says, apologise if she gets to it quite late because there's so many in the inbox, that's all. Oh, this is nice. Look at this. Oh, Jeremy. Oh. <laughs> My cat loves swatting dragonflies in the garden, says Joseph. Lots of people saying congratulations to Crazy Lorraine for her 47th wedding anniversary. Anyway, look. Love, love, love. Oh, but baskets, loads in baskets. I've got some extra wide backing. Hannah said, do not open it up, John. Oh, okay, there's only a metre this left. There's, it's 108 inches wide, but there's only a metre left. It's not the same range, different range. Just so you it's an extra wide quilt backing. You can use it for all sorts of things. Beverly says good morning. 12.99 for half meters, 108 inches wide quilt backing in rainbow. It's, it's kind of like rainbow, but they look like hand painted stripes, don't they? Okay, sold. Okay. I've got, oh, I've got one more thing to show you. That's it then. behind me it's behind you uh, right look split pay 119.99 it's called the green we had it in multicolored as well but that sold out okay now I've got fewer than 20 of these now it's quite a few in baskets from pre-order it may can, can we look at the quilt again Jamie behind me I'll just go like that it might look quite difficult but it's not at all it's all half square triangles Emma Brad what day do we do it with Emma Bradford Twentieth of March, we did this. Emma Bradford did it on the twentieth of March. It's everything in the box to do the front and the binding. I can tell you, there's five fabrics from Moda, over seven meters, oh, over seven meters of fabric, and the finished quilt is 147 by 147 centimeters. Made with love in the Netherlands. Oh, here we go. Hi, John. If you pour white vinegar around your soil, it'll change your... Oh! Now, I didn't know that, Alison. White, did you say white vinegar? Will it work with balsamic drizzle? No, I've only got balsamic drizzle, I'm afraid. Oh, yeah, you don't have to do split pay. If you don't want to do split pay, you can just pay it in one go if you want to. lovely isn't it there's all sorts of, have, can we go close on the on the quilt is that possible if i'm oh there you go look so you've got grunge in there you've got spot in there it's beautiful isn't it so you get everything for the front and the binding 119 right so i've got to recap a couple of bundles the barley pop bundles yeah spring oh that was the very first one wasn't it oh my yellow Right, there we go. So this one you get half a metre of daffodil, half a metre of pink. There's no picture on the web, I'm afraid. Half of, I can't remember what that one's called. That one's called Dewdrop. Oh, no. Uh, oh, no. Uh, what was that one called? Can't remember now. Ba Ballet Pink, Augusta, Daffodil and Dewdrop. Yeah. £29.46. Six of those left, that's all. But you do need to check out your baskets, more, more than six people. No photo will appear on the website, I'm afraid. This is what you'll get. And you've always got proof of it on YouTube. If you suddenly think it's not right when it arrives, check it on YouTube. It will be right. It will be right. Hannah got very defensive then. £29.46. Yeah, but if you're like me, you order something from the Long River, and when it arrives, you go... Sure, didn't order that. Well, you know full well you did. Do you know what I mean? And I don't drink, so I can't do drunken ordering like Lowe can. Which one do you want to go to next then? Blue hyacinth, which was this one, with the jungle not in green. Loads in baskets. No photo on the website. What's the matter? 
Oh, now you must check out. You must check out. This is what you're going to get. This is what you're going to get. The picture will not be appearing on the website. She missed the photo opportunity because it was a bank holiday and she was late making her um, bundles. Now, oh, the other thing I better tell you is, you know, putting it in your basket doesn't mean to say it's definitely yours. So if you've got it in your basket and you don't check out and someone else suddenly watches this, like in an hour's time on, you know, on recap, catch up or whatever, they could come in and get it and it, and they, it could be given to them if they check out, if you've got, even though you've got it in your basket. Purples. Right, this one, lots of people checked out on this one. Beautiful, 29.96. Jungle, hand-painted purple. Blue, can't remember what the other one's called. Bella, Bella and Purple Blossom. And then I've got Poppy. Get a metre and a half, only a metre and a half in this one. So you get um, red, you get uh, cardinal, and you get chamomile. Barley pop, barley pop, barley. Oh, no, it's poppy. Barley poppy, barley poppy, barley, barley poppy. Doesn't work, does it? I put that one in between those two like that. There you go. This one's more orange. On the telly, they look like they're very similar. This is orange. This is a definite red, and that's green. £21.97. Okay? That it. Right, Dawn's up after the break. She's going to be making... Oh, now which picture are we going to show? There you go. Uh, it's our own design um, coming up. We've got bundles, we've got the pattern, we've got all sorts of things coming up in the next hour. Uh, lots going on pre-order, just to warn you, just to warn you. Right, we'll see you in three minutes from now. Hello everyone, I'm Delphine Brooks. It's so great to be here and part of the Sewing Street family. I'm local, I'm only down the road in uh, Warwickshire. Uh, I started sewing many years ago uh, when I was very young doing uh, lots of art and painting and eventually I went into textiles and I really enjoyed doing the two together. I had then had a bit of a break. Uh, something you don't know about me maybe is that I spent many years in the Royal Air Force and eventually in uh, the police as well. And then I went full circle and I've come back to uh, my happy place of sewing, and uh, which I really enjoy. Uh, my be best sewing tip is measure twice and cut once. I have chipped up a couple of times by uh, not measuring properly and I do always regret it. So now I always measure twice, cut once. Anyway, I really hope to be with you again soon and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there!
you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions, then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. So you'll never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Dawn Taylor is here with me today with her very, very own design for a caddy and a pin cushion. Um, let me, let me, before we see Dawn, let's just go through everything I've got on the table so you can start checking out, because loads of people put these in your basket. Start checking out. Which one first? Yeah. Yeah, so which one first? The one we've made it out of. The one we've made it out of is this one. Right, so show, can we show what we're making, um, please, uh, Jeremy Joe? There's the bad picture. Now let's have the good picture. Can we see the other picture, please? You can either put it under your sewing machine or over the, the side of your, your sofa. That's right, don't worry, Jeremy. Uh, right, okay, so this is the bundle that that one's made out of. You get, you, first of all, you get the instructions, Dawn's instructions. I'll go through those in a second with you. Oh, already, there's fewer than 20 of this one already. We haven't even started yet. So, this is Liberty. Oh, sorry, shouted, shouted, shouted. What are the name of those dogs? What's they called? Manfred and Rosie. I do apologise. Uh, right, so this is Liberty. Uh, then you've got your pale blue, which is Rose and Hubble. Then you've got this Liberty as well, isn't it, this one? Yeah, this, I don't know what this one's called though. This is Winterbourne Lawn, this one's called. That one's Wiltshire Shadow, and this is Winterbourne Lawn. Tw that's good. So you get instructions, two liberties and a Rose and Hubble for £24.99. What have we called it? Midnight can Caddy. Not just Midnight, Liberty Midnight. Okay, loads of you coming in for that one. Okay, sorry I shouted, I got all excited. So, right, now this one, which is the one that uh, Dawn's about to show you on the demo. So you get half a metre of cream. Is it cream or vanilla? I, I, I'll tell you in a minute, Hannah's uh, computer's playing up, so we'll, we'll t I'll tell you that in a minute. It's only 24. No. Uh, then, look at these, these are nice. I've not seen these before. Oh, it's ivory, sorry, it's ivory. So this fabric is, Daybreak. Oh, it's Moda. Oh, I thought it was good quality. This is Moda. What range is it from? Let me just have a quick check. Uh, the breeze at dawn has secrets to tell you. Don't go back to sleep. It's Three Sisters Daybreak. That's nice. I've never heard that. The, oh, it's got your name in it. The breeze, the breeze at dawn has secrets to tell you. Don't go back to sleep. Ooh. Anyway, that's gorgeous, pale pink. And then look at this. Very traditional. This is the one that Dawn's going to be using in her demo. It's lovely, isn't it? Daybreak by Three Sisters. Okay, let me fold that one up properly. And that one. Then I've got two other bundles for you to see. I've got a pink one, like a pale pink, with two florals. So you get half a metre of your pale pink. This is from the folktale range, this one. See, I've not seen this one before either. Oh, did I have this in pre-cuts? Always be on the lookout for the presence of wonder. I love all these Moda quotes. Anyway, so that's that one. It comes in the two colours, in the rust. I'm calling it rust. Olive, that's olive. Oh, this colour is called Posy. And the print is called Posy as well. And the pale pink there. And you get the instructions. $24.99. Very, very popular, that one, in the teens, that one. 
And then last but not least, we've got this one, which is half a metre of your cream or your ivory. Half a metre. Now, I'm presuming these are... This is most of... Did you switch the aircon back on, Jeremy? Just turned itself on. After I lit it switched off, it's just turned it back on super mode. This is Rose and Hubble spot, this one. So you've got it in the sky blue or the pale blue. And you've got it in the um, grey and powder, they're called. And that's ivory, rose and Hubble solid. So how much is that? You see, that's 18, 19. And you get the instructions. Remember, you get the instructions. Perfect. Okay, then instructions on their own. Just do a close-up of that. Um, while you're looking at that, just stay there. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Caddy and Pincushion, uh, instructions by Dawn Taylor. It's a lovely instruction booklet. That's a three-inch square. We'll ask about that in a minute. Then you've got, oh, look at this, look at all the pictures, all the instructions, everything. Oh, look, even how to cut every single thing out. Perfect, and, a, and a, just an empty back page. 9 99 Half of the instructions have gone. Do you know what? If you look at everything that's in there, that's just such a brilliant... I mean, all our instructions are 9 99 the ones from Sewing Street, aren't they? But there's so much in there. Look at every single photo. All the elements. There's 26 photos. You've got the, your cutting guide and all of your instructions. And you're about to get a free demo as well. That's brilliant, isn't it? Okay, I'm just going to show you the real thing here. I've got the real thing here. Oops. So, as you can see, it's made up of... Now, do you want to do it from upstairs or should I do it like this? I'll do it like this. I've got pockets down this end. Oh, sorry. This end. You, obviously, you don't get the bits. They're all Dawn's bits in there. But, but so you've got your pockets here and little pockets there for your reels of thread. Then you get this bit here, which is like a, a biscuit quilt, or they used to call it a puff quilt, didn't they? A thread catcher. And then at this end here, there's a bigger pocket with another lovely little pocket that's going on there. So there's so much now. I'll get Dawn to explain it, but this, it, determining where you put this bit makes it either the sewing machine one or the armchair one or the sofa one. Okay, so that's the one that's made from the very first bundle that I showed you. Right, um, I'll show you other things as we go because I've got buttons and I've got all the other things are on the website. I've got... Um, Interfacing, D-rings, buttons, and um, I don't know what they're called, just to do recycle pellets for weight. They're all available underneath us. We can introduce those later, but if you want those now, you can get them on pre-order straight away. Hello, Dawn. Hello. Dawn's brought us cakes. She I brought did. us, she they heard made Elliot. They my head spin. Huh? They made my head spin. Oh no, you had one. I did, I had a bit of a head rush. Oh no. So last time, well, ages ago, when we were all on, we were talking about um, yum-yums. And I said, oh, well, it's going to buy us all yum-yums, right? And you didn't know what a yum-yum no. was, did you? So she's gone to Greg's and she's bought like a hundred I had to yum ask. I asked her, uh, had to ask what a yum-yum was. Oh, okay. And the young guy behind me said, they're those. And it I just does oh, point. Can I have eight of those? Oh, eight. <laughs> eight of those. That's fine. And, Hannah, and then Hannah went, oh, I'm not eating, I'm eating healthy. When did that happen? It's because today, because she's got a date in two weeks. So she has to be fit and healthy for the date in two weeks' time. I haven't got a date in two weeks. I'll be happy munching through them later. Anyway, 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 anyway. Um, I haven't seen you for ages. I know. Well, the last time was when I did my first show with you back in the yeah, beginning of December. That was the year as well, wasn't yep. it? Yeah. Have you been in since then? I have. I came in February with Vix. Yeah. Oh, Can't she still has another baby before no. you all ask. No, I know. I she know. just messaged so me. Exciting. Still no movement. Anyway, so so now you've designed this. It's I have. all your creation. It's so amazing to see it all, you know, in an in actual booklet. And yeah. Everything. I mean, I, I did ask, um, when I was designing it, I did ask how many photos was too many. And I did take some out, but you, it's so detailed and I didn't want anybody to... No, no, and also our viewers also say... Some are definite reading instructions and others are definite visuals, so you need them both in there. I've got a message, first of all, from Kay saying, Yay, morning, Dawn. Been looking forward to this tutorial from Kay in Surrey. Hi, Kay. There was Thank a nice you. message you at the right at the beginning of the show. Somebody right at 8 o'clock was like, oh. oh, hello, Dawn. Can't wait to see your demonstration. I was like, it's just me. I'm a, it's only me, I'm afraid. <laughs> you have me. to wait an hour. It's only me. 
Um, so yes, yeah, so yeah, you've, are these your first fully fledged instructions? Well, I then? made the the I did have the instruction printed for the um, the ears, the the iPad case. Um, but no, this is and it's so well made. It's all shiny. Yeah, I know. It's beautiful. posh, it's gorgeous, really isn't it? Really beautiful. Really beautiful. So now we're going to make it. Are we going to make the whole thing, or are we just going to do have, bits? I have. I have. I have made some. I mean, the um, the actual. Um, Let's see, I don't know where the, the Hang camera. on, he's coming down now. Jo uh, uh, can we go to the upstairs, Jeremy Joe, so we can see what it says? Right, if you pull it in towards you. So I have made um, the pocket side because they are just rectangles of fabric that does give you detail. So we do have some binding on these pockets. You can put the, I mean, so the one that you've got, if you put your hands in, you've got, I think you've got two pockets there. I've got two, uh, two on the side there. Then I've and got then lots, several got there, lots, all the lots you? there, and then two deep ones yeah, again there. Yeah, so that's an embroidery one. Right. Um, so it's got different things. So this one, because this is for the this one is for the ironing board. Oh, for the things that you would okay. have on you, because someone when I did my classes, people would be sewing, and then they would go to their ironing board, and then they'd come back into the Zoom, and then they'd go back. Right. You don't want to be taking everything with you. So this has got big pockets, so you can put your webbing, or you can put your, I mean, this is... Um, Oh, I'm measuring that. Bigger things that you can put in. Yeah. Whereas that one and my one, it's got lots of small ones for scissors. So and it's things. totally customised. It so it's the same basic. Yes. But you customise it to what you and want. And when to we use tried it for. to seat that over the sofa out there, it didn't fit. So I've given you this is the size. I mean, you can see um, this fits my sewing machine perfectly. Right. Um, but this Alna is quite big. So you do have enough. You wouldn't be able to make it any wider. You could make it a little bit longer. Yeah. And then maybe use some of your backing fabric to do some of the pockets because they all blend perfectly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, measure your machine and make, you know, make your decision as, as to which pockets you're, you And want. also decide which, what, which one you're making it for. Yes. If you're making it for your machine, <clears throat> excuse me, or if you're making it for the ironing board, if you're making it for the chair, for hand, because the one on the chair would be for all your hand sewing yes. stuff, wouldn't so it, really? Yes, so that's what the little, that, that, was, that was um sort of for my daughter, so the little... The little, little pockets. Also, you can make You put these. your daughter in the little pocket. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can make them without the, the back on. So you don't have to have them attached because I've got them all around the sewing room. So oh, you can just okay. make them without um, attaching That's them. That's a hairdressing one. Got the hair, you've got Kirby clips. Oh no, I use, I know, but this is what I use. I use these um, instead of the one. Oh, clips. but we had them as an early bird, so you should get them today. They're on special. Get I love these because right, I'm so used to you because I was a hairdresser from 16. Oh. So they're what I'm used to using. I like and, and I just, I just enjoy, I just enjoy using them. Brilliant. So where are we going to start? What we So gonna do? we're going to start now. I've, I've done a lot of the prep first because yep. there were a few bits um, that I really wanted to show you the detail of, and then other bits aren't quite so necessary. Okay, so perfect. I'm not going to do the map first right because we'll we hopefully will have the time at the end okay so i watched your um i've made so many biscuit quilts but i don't make them the way that wendy orlando does not many people do i knew you were going to say that. so this one has um the two points here is the pleat whereas i used to always just make it with one Right. And then fold around, and, and then I watched Wendy with you and your the show. So you do a knife pleat, so I and she I, did box pleat. Yes, and yeah. now I do a box pleat okay. because she's right. Sorry, John. Don't say she that. Is. So she'll she's be unbearable. Right. It, it, she's in it, this week. It makes um, so. Actually, I think these are all. No, these are all box pleats. It does. It gives you a much bigger sort of fatter um, biscuit, which mm -hmm. is what you want. I get so tricky to some remember to say biscuit. Anyway, so your um, this is your. Pattern. Your oh, that's what the that three-inch squares for on page one. And this is Wendy, so copy, hopefully stop copyright. giving a <laughs> stop giving a shout out. <laughs> she'll be on in a minute. Yeah, she'll um, be here. She'll be, so what be a she what she did what she did is she got whatever your measurement is because yep. you don't you can make it bigger than this if you want to. I have made um, smaller ones. I have made two-inch ones, but what you need to do is I'll just move my pins. Luckily, I have a pin cushion. Elizabeth, no, there's no baby yet. Um, and thank you. Jean says morning, Dawn. Barbara McClay, the other. Oh, now, now we have to say you were one of our winners of. The Great British Make Off. Whenever you say it, I'm ready for you to say sewing bin. Yes, get it wrong, <laughs> get it wrong. Anyway, so Barbara McClay says good morning, Dawn and John. Looking forward to today's demo. You will be amazing. Oh, thank you. Picture instructions are always best. Having Dawn on speed dial is even better. Oh. Dawn was my inspiration to learn and it slowly helped me learn the basics. She is an amazing teacher. Can't wait to see this design. That's from Kirsty. Oh, thank you, Kirsty. So there. Anyway, right. So 
lay your first, um, all your cutter. I, I made those templates. You know the the ones where you said about all the different cutting guides. I made that on my own laptop. Oh, not without without his help too. Um, so what you need to do is husband's help. Yeah. Um, what you need to do is place this on here, and you've got your little mark. Okay. Place your second one on, and then you pin. Right. So hang on. So the back one is your three inch square, is it? Yep. And then the and then the other one, one is a measurement for the bigger one for the for yes. the biscuit. Yeah. And then you've got your, your little mark in the centre. You need to pin. My hands are cold. It's freezing Sorry. in here. Sorry, we put the aircon on. It went very cold. So this is how. Bring that in. Yeah. You pinch here. And then you push down. And it makes your box pleat. Right. Now, this is where I use the clips. Because I find them really. Yeah, no, no, no. I haven't used idea. the others. Mm -hmm. So that's what you do. You just slide that on. And then you need to go around and do the next one. So, does it matter which direction they go in? Well, they're all going in the same. As long as they go in the same direction. Because when you do, um, so what, what did you call the other pleat? So it's knife a, pleat or box. A knife. Pleat. So a box pleat goes square either side. Yeah. Whereas when you, when I was doing it, I would just fold it over and it would not matter. But now they are so, they are exact which I think is why Wendy did it, because she likes, um, she does, she's not very good at random, is she, she says. Whereas <laughs> I used to just, you know, I didn't even use to I don't pin. know, I don't listen. <laughs> I don't, it's like white noise to me. Oh, love her. I do enjoy watching you and her. That's <laughs> so funny. Well, she was in, actually, on my first, on my first one. Oh, was she? That yeah, and that's when somebody off. called you, somebody called you to an old married couple. Oh, did they? Blimey. Less of the old, but just a married couple. Yeah. So yeah, so you do that all the way around, um, and then you take it to your machine and sew. Now I have done. Um, so you you mentioned that the the fabric is called Dawn. It was the quote was the quote was saying but Dawn, yeah. A lot of the so I went on to the and this one, so the one that I made, this one I picked these colours because they are all called Dawn as well. This is Moda. Oh, that one over so there. This yeah. is th no, this one. Oh, hang got, on, which one have you got? So there? this one is what I made before. So that's oh, the ones oh, see, in the instructions. See, see, see. Yeah, yeah. But that's all called Dawn as oh. well. So that's why I chose it. Oh. And then when um, Jess sent me um, those, I was so pleased that I got Liberty and Moda. Yeah. And then well, some it's of all those good quality the, fabric you've been It sent. is. It feels so lovely. Yeah. It really does feel so lovely. So now you want to take this to your machine, and yeah. we're going to use a just like a quarter of an inch because you want to make sure that when you then sew your half an inch, you have got enough. So just, they call it a scant quarter of an inch, yeah. don't they? Literally, you just want it, so, so you're only you're just basting attaching. it now, right to the clothes. Yeah. Yes, so, I, so also I do go up um, on my stitch length as well. Okay. So only up to a four. Yeah. Now we made friends out there, let's hope. I did try, I did actually use the it's needle the threader. You did use what? I used the needle thread, oh, no, whereas I, I didn't before. No. I just, I've got well, that I can't. Machine. No. I can't. I, I really tried to, no. to, to not, and I had to, um, I had to use the needle threader because, so I had to Google it. Oh. Right, Have so. you? Uh, where'd you leave the gap? Sorry. Um, the gap is in the back afterwards. Oh, so you're literally saying all the that's, way around. That's Wendy's tip. Isn't it? <laughs> Because I used to sew these, fill them while I was sewing them, yeah. and then whenever I made anything, it was too big to put the backing on, so yeah. you do that bit last. So. So you split it at the back, okay? Yeah. So just go all the way to the end, and then turn, and you just do that on all four corners. Mm -hmm. Now this is all in the instructions. That's why there were so many because. I didn't want anybody to get this home and then not be able to to sew it. But there are lots of, um, as you say, you know, you can go back and watch videos. It's 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 nice to have the instructions with you because say if you go off, when we can go back in our caravans now, you might not have access to the YouTube videos. No. So you need to be able to sew it just from the instructions. So that's why there's lots of lots of pictures. Just come back to the other side. So now it is joined all the way around. Okay. And then you need to make your four. So you join two together. Uh huh. And that's by. See now, when I used to do this, my mine never matched up, but now they all match perfectly because oh, perfect. 
I mean, they won't now because obviously I'm doing it on live TV. Yeah. So now you match them up, and then now you need to sew past that line because you don't want. So is the is the uh, on the, the pattern? Is it half inch seam allowance? Or it does it? say. <coughs> so when you need to use quarter inch, it does say. Okay, when you perfect. need to use um, half an inch. So he says, morning, couldn't get up this morning. Any news from Vicky? Yeah, no, the news is no news, Sue. So no news. Is that the most popular question at the moment? Uh, no, that and who's won the who's won the competition. Oh, yes. Have you seen the prize How is it? for today's oh, competition? No. 50 and meters. You have to of hang fabric. around until you announce. I mean it's it's not gonna be me, I didn't enter, but oh, it'll I'm be, it'll so be, you're not allowed to anyway. For afraid, whoever it is. So um, they'll be announced just as you finish. Yes. So you'll, you'll still be here. So you're now going to pop those two together. Uh -huh. Now this is all in the instructions. As I said, that's why there's so many pictures. Okay. Now you've got a tab on yours. I have. So you put that bit on after. Oh, okay. 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 Um, so but I just if we're did at it. home now, we'd just be sewing the we'd four squares. We'd just be sewing together. the four squares. Okay. Yes. Perfect. I do need to get this machine. It's so lovely. I, I was know. chuckling to myself. Um, I found a piece of fabric uh -huh. and I folded it over and over and over and over. And I didn't. It must have been about. 16 pieces uh -huh. because there were eight I'm sure eight folds and then I folded it in half again and I didn't have the walking foot and it just yeah I don't remember we, I put it on my Christmas list well they're out of stock at the moment wow well, they were in stock when I put it on my Christmas oh, list oh no what's husband called so Steve Steve I know is he watching He'll watch later because you'll make him watch later. <laughs> well, actually, when we went back um, after the first show I did, he said, you missed so many of John's jokes. And I said, well, that's because I was sewing. But he was laughing and laughing and laughing. Oh. Take that as a compliment. Oh, another compliment. You know, we were talking about your voice earlier. Yeah. Um, I, I played the very first show to my youngest son, to Ben, and he said... He said he's got one of those voices that would send you to sleep. Oh, and, thanks. And it, but th that's meant as a compliment because yeah. he used to have trouble sleeping. Oh. So, but you do, you are you have apps where people just listen. He said that's the sort of, he called it something. Oh, wow. Well, because I think, I, I can't watch myself because I just look like, I think I just shout at everybody. It's really, you know. But then you see lots of people, I noticed on this morning, a lot of people said they'd be watching during their maternity and their babies, yes. when their babies were born, if they met me outside, they'd like recognise yeah. my voice and yes. be like, oh, oh, you know, it's new, almost newborn, not newborn, but you know, ones when they can react, we're looking at them as if they say, oh, I know that voice. It was the strangest well, thing. Well, I, I was listening, I was watching the, the show you did on Saturday with Clive about nine, ten o'clock last night and I was just, not drifting off, but I was yeah, just yeah, yeah. busy sewing and just listening. A lot, lot so. of people do say that when they can't sleep at night time, they put uh, YouTube of me on and yeah. just watch me. So you have all the instructions. So this is yep. your thread catcher. So I'm just going to turn it right sides out. Okay. So you have all the instructions. So is it just rectangles? So it is rectangles. just rectangles. Yeah. And then th this is the clip. So I don't even know if the Wonder Clips would fit on there. Have you got any that you... Uh -huh. uh, oh, yes, yeah, the baby ones. Because I made it to fit my clips. Oh, because so that bit that hang, the bit that goes from the bin cushion to the thread it's catcher the clip is a bit holder. with your clips. Yes. Yep, perfect. Because what happens is you put them in a bowl and you can't sort of grab them all. You no. Know, you want them, and then you throw them into a bowl, and then they are just. They look nice in a bowl, though. That be. So now. The instructions show you how to box the corners. So the ones you've got, John, yeah. I've got box corners, but I'm not going to box these corners because a lot of my, um, a lot of the people that I work with, they are scared of box corners. I work with a lot of beginners and I wanted to show that you can have a successful... Shall I show what a box corner is first of all? Yeah. So Jeremy, if you can just show this, that's your box corner there, which you, a lot of bag makers do just to give you bag depth. But you don't have to. You don't no, have to. There is, I mean, the whole point is that this is a thread catcher. So you just put your threads in there instead of putting them all over your floor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, which, you know, that's sort of an obvious thing. But once you've, so you fold this bit back like that. Uh -huh. And then when that's hanging down, that's still enough. Still open. It's yeah. still open enough. Um, in fact, that, that might work better if you've not got much room behind your desk as well, because this one automatically sits further out. It does, and if it you're sticks asked, out, whereas that you don't one would just... You keep catching it every time you walk past yes, it. Yes, yes. But your hand will still fit in there if, if, you know. But what's lovely is, like you say, you can make that 
just if you're making you gifts can. for friends and they don't want to make the whole thing, you could you just can. make four and or five. And you can of these. actually. I have got one, um, one of these without the um, without this on. And there's a piece of this was her husband's idea. Piece of Velcro on the bottom, and then you one can just touch fastening. clip it under there. Sorry, yeah. yes. Oh, no, sorry. Um, hook and loop is another yeah, one. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Um, and you can attach it there, and then you don't actually need the pincushion. Oh, or right. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. can make the pincushion in a row. There's so but the many. thing is, you, when you're at home, when you've you've got the instructions for all of the, what's the word I'm looking, ingredients? No, yes. the word I'm looking for. But you can make whatever you want out yes. of so many of the different pieces. Because you? you can, yes, you can. You really can. You can choose whatever you want, and then. Uh, so we're now just going to. I'm going to use my foot as my guide for a, for a quarter of an inch. Okay. If you put the machine on 06, I don't do it now, don't do it now. Okay. You, that machine, <laughs> when you get it, when, when Steve buys you one yes. for Christmas. Yes. Or would it be birthday next, wouldn't it, rather than yes. Christmas? Yes, September, yes. Um, September? September's oh, my Oh, you can get it because they're, they're due back in the end of May. So, oh, you know, okay. you can get one ready, couldn't you? Can you but, do like a, an email alert to when they're back in stock or anything? No, what you can do, right? So we've got this thing on our website, right? So what you can do is, it, what, I can't remember what it's called now, but you, you click, when you go to the details, you can click, it's like a reminder email. So you can click in, you can put, put email, his email him, <laughs> right? And then I we, love this we idea. email him saying, uh, Dawn would really like one of these for our birthday. And can I, can I add on one of the um, the gift cards as well with the five hundred pounds on? Do you yeah, think yeah. that would? Uh... Except they're one thousand and ninety nine, so you'd have to buy two gift cards. Oh, okay. No, I meant the gift card as well. Oh, as well. Oh, sorry. <laughs> the same machine and a gift card. And a gift card. You're pushing please. it now. Am I? Am I? Well, I don't know. What what did you buy him for his birthday? Um. And when is his birthday? His is uh, Halloween. Oh. Hmm. Mm. There you go. I've got a message from Jenny saying, Morning, uh, me and Lottie are sat watching you. Oh. Love seeing your makes, always perfect. Make me want to get in the craft room from Jenny. Oh, thank you, Jenny. She's one of your, your um, students. I was going to say patients then. Um, we, um, we sew together on a Monday evening. Um, we have a lovely friend called Nikki. Um, she's got a little shop down in, in our town um, called No Labels, and she's all about mental health and well-being so we have a monday night make session and jenny is one of the ones that joins and we oh. sort of all sew together for two you hours you have to do it zoom it's at the lovely. moment though. um no we do it in yes zoom yes, yes. Oh, well, yeah, well virtually i mean yes because yeah. she tried to teach me to crochet just before the last lockdown and i couldn't do it oh. so um so but now we do it via zoom so there you go you've got it so that you don't you see, I have quite to... like it i quite like it without the box bottom well i was going to, i was getting getting the demo ready and i thought well what if you can't do, yeah. what, what well, if you you're not ready it. to? Yeah. I mean, but as you've said, it's... Because the top still stays open wide enough to drop. It does, so that will still thing, hang. Yeah. But if you wanted to put your hook and loop on there, yeah. then... Um, I only say one touch fastening because pavers were not allowed to say anything. Oh, okay. We just go, it's one touch fastening. <laughs> one touch fastening. I um, do work Then you can do that um, on there. Yeah. So now you need to attach your um, D-ring. Right. So you're just going to place that. So how have you made, I know it's all in the instructions. It is, so about? it's literally a piece of, uh, folded as binding is, folded it on yeah. itself, and then I just, I didn't want to lose it, so I haven't done that on the others, yeah. but I didn't want to lose it in my bag, so I just yeah. attached it there. So you have it facing this way in the centre, and we're just going to sew it on. Okay. Now this is where I have to use, um, on my foot, um, it's got one of those buttons that you push in so that it, it then helps. It's like, it's like a built-in hump jumper. Oh, a hump Whereas jumper. this, that's what they but this, I just know. But you get a plastic oh. hump jumper anyway yes. with this as well. But you don't need it. No. I mean, mine really struggled with that. Now, and imagine if you had your, if you had walking foot on, it would be easy, wouldn't well, it? Well, I tried to put the walking foot on, John. I mean, I, I, I got really brave and I thought, well, I've used the thread catcher. I'll try and use the, um, so this foot. is where I always lose my scissors. Right. So that's what that is there for. Okay. Okay. But also you can iron on here because you've got wadding in here. Oh, okay. So I actually use this um, when I'm doing my lives. I do actually just iron on this bit oh, okay. rather than... <coughs> as long as it's a small project, yeah. Yes. You could put thermal and or insel bright in there as you well. Could. I mean, you could. I mean, you could put... You could layer it up in the... Or you could just put a piece in the pocket. You wouldn't have to, and oh, then it would be versatile. Yes, yes. So, well, you know what? You could make, you could get a piece, and you could cover it in the same fabric. 
And then, and like, then, then slide it, does, it in. It, it's not just a piece of wadding that you're pushing in and out. Yes. It's got a job and everything. Actually, and it looks Beverly nice. said, John, the word you're looking for is components. And you've got yum yums on the brain now. That's the problem, yeah. <laughs> and Georgina says, morning all. Who won the fabric? 12 o'clock, Georgina. It's being announced. A so, message on the bottom. Sorry. It's okay. Um, please give Dawn my love. Uh, I can't see this. Gear shielding, back to work tomorrow. Scary. I've placed my order, so off to the garage now. Dawn's so patient from Sue Lily. Oh, thank you, Sue. She does. She um she posted some zips on the Sewing Street fans page the other day. So she isn't a beginner now. She she's doing really, really, really well. She is doing really well. Oh, just right, off so to the garage you, for a car. Um, so we're just folding this up to basically get it out of the way because you're going to place it on the inside of here. Right. So you want that to stick out that way. So you've still got raw edges on you've your You've still got um, raw edges. <clears throat> so you're going to place this matching up and again, even more layers of fabric. It, is Liam being attach. naughty? Is Munch being naughty? Has Vix had her baby yet? Oh no, it's, it's, you see, Liam, I don't know if you know, you, have you met Jeremy Joe before? Jeremy does I know, I, He was here the last time with Vix, yeah, doesn't I think. make much of an impact, does he? He <laughs> shares a flat with Munch, who is a producer at I know, I've heard Maker. Munch before. Right, but he's not called Munch there. So when I went and did my shifts at Jewelry Maker, and I kept saying Munch, everyone kept looking at me like I was Didn't crazy. Didn't know what you are talking about. So they're like two silly teenagers, and they're both... He and seems they're both so tech. sensible. They're, yeah, he looks it, doesn't he? He does. But you know, do you know now, do you know producer Kat, who you... Yes. Right? He's Kat's sister. Brother. Bro brother. Oh, they're brother gosh. and sister. They're brother and sister. But he and Leah Munch share a flat. Right. And they're both texting Hannah going, has Vix had a baby yet? Has Vix had a baby Just yet? trying to add to the... Yeah, to add to her stress the humorous. The well, yes. And the fact she's not having any sugar or any chocolates. Not and there's one. six yum-yums outside. Yeah. Only six? You bought eight? I had um, Elliot's had one. <laughs> <laughs> he okay, said right. he was going to. There's a box missing anyway. Yeah, okay. Um, so Let's now you're going to fold Steve. this... I don't know if he's ever had one. I, I don't well, no, take, you have to take one in for Steve. Right, so you so, put that on top, sorry. So we're rolling this all up, and now we're going to be putting our um, backing on. Now, this is all in the instructions. Yeah, yeah. So we're going to make an envelope back. Now, it doesn't really matter which way round you put these. Right. But you want to place them so that the you're folding these in half. Right. And then you're placing them on the top. Right. Now, this will look a bit frightening to some people because it's not just laying a piece of fabric on top of a piece of fabric. Is and it? then that just the becomes your envelope yeah, here. Perfect. And then when you turn it round, everything is hidden on the inside. And why, why, is, that why, is that why you're doing envelope back? So it's the best hidden? way because the, um, that one doesn't. And then, because this was a practice, and then I was trying to um, sew up the end. It's just, this is the easiest, easiest way, way that to do I it. found. Okay, perfect. And then you can fit the weight in the back. Oh, well, okay, yes, of course. Yeah. Which I don't think I've brought with me. I've got loads of weight, so it's okay. fine. But you don't, need, you don't need to do it today. So, choose whichever one you want. Um, and then you just start at one end and go slowly because as you're going round, your, everything that's folded up in the middle will shift yeah, of along. Of course, yeah. Okay. But Sue says, I know up. you know I bought one of those machines at Christmas and I cannot tell you the difference it's made to use a quality sewing machine. Makes every project seem av av achievable and accurate. I just love it. So take that home to Steve. Take, I was going to say, you need to tell Steve, not me, Sue. <laughs> um, yeah, but you have to get him an equally as good present, you see. That's why I was asking what you got him for his birthday. Yes, I can't, do you know, I can't remember. Has I usually make... Oh, I know what I did. I made him... Um, are we allowed to mention films? Yeah, yeah. I made a Mandalorian um, mug rug for oh. his birthday. Hardly a thousand pounds no. worth of gift though, is but it? But <laughs> I made it as a demo, and then when it was his birthday, I lost it in the sewing room, so we didn't get it until November anyway. Oh, <laughs> I think your Steve's a bit long suffering, hard stuff. What's the word I'm looking for? But he, he would say both, I think. Yeah. Carefully, he might, he might write in. <laughs> He told me to break a leg before I came on. Yeah, that's right. That's, that's not very nice. It's a theatrical <laughs> saying, that one. That's what he said. Because yeah. so you don't say good luck in the theatre, you see. No. Say, and you don't mention the Scottish play. So. Oh, yes, yes, yes. So. But we're in, a, we're in a warehouse here. We're fine. <laughs> it, it is Why really Why has he come with you this time, then? Um, well, he's working and oh. um, son's at home because it's half term. Um, but oh, is it? Oh yeah, he's still. But I thought still. that um, with because it's still lockdown, he probably wasn't able, wasn't allowed to. He could have sat in the car park. 
Oh, he could. Do you know, I actually wondered if my son wanted to just sit in the car park. Uh, no, no, actually, back. because there's nobody in the office. There's only Elliot in the office. They, oh, could, okay. have, they could have come in. I mean, oh, okay. uh, we wouldn't uh, um, have too many people in, but no. now all the office Well, it's, it's so empty in there, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, well, It's and just literally us now. Have you got the lights that, um, if, you don't, if you don't move yes, around... Yes, when you go out... Oh, no, well, Elliot's I thought, Well, I thought he'd gone, because it all went dark. Oh, And I thought no, he'd gone out. Moving, yeah. <laughs> and I was watching you. I wasn't... I mean, I wasn't really... Then I realised how dark it was out there. And then somebody else came through, and then I realised he was still there. He just wasn't moving, obviously. No. Well, Elliot wasn't moving. Was well, he hadn't. The lights went off because yeah, he wasn't. Yeah, he hadn't, and he hadn't noticed. Right. While you're sewing that, I just need to redo the bundles. Okay. Getting, well, I'm just going to sew the other side on. Perfect. Okay? Perfect. Perfect. The bundle we're working with uh, is this one. Half the stock has gone. Right. Here we go. So you get the instructions. You get half a meter of the cream or the ivory, half a meter of the green. Uh, beautiful. These beautiful, fabric, and half a meter of the pink. Uh, Moda, Three Sisters, Daybreak, or Dawn. Uh, that's lovely, isn't it? For £24.99. The sample one is this one here. Single figures of this one. So you get the instructions. Then you get half a metre of the Wilch Wiltshire Shadow, half a metre of the Rose and Hubble Blue, and half a metre of the... <gasps> something house, wasn't it? Oh, sorry, my brain this morning. It's because I haven't had any sugar. Winterbourne lawn, nothing to do with the house. Yeah, Winterbourne's a house. It's just the lawn of the house, isn't it? Uh, anyway, da 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 da, $24.99. Okay. Folk one, which is this one. Okay, now isn't that weird? Loads you put this in your basket. All, on those two last ones, people in the baskets and checked out. This one's just sitting in people's baskets. So you're interested, but you just haven't pressed that checkout button yet. Half a metre of the green, half a metre of the posy. It's a posy in the colour posy. Half a metre of the pale pink and your instructions. And then the most affordable one, which is this one here. Single figures on this one. Now you get the instructions. Now, just work this out. Your instructions are 9 99 Do you know what I mean? I'm just saying. So then you get the cream, you get the grey spot, and you get the blue spot. All Rose and Hubble. They're beautiful, aren't they? Instructions on their own. 21 left, that's it. Just 21 left. Flying out. Right. Jill says, I bought the 680 a couple of months ago and my husband keeps saying he has a £1,000 of credit to spend on himself. Well, Jill, he sort of has. I think, isn't that the way marriage works? That's why I'm a spinster of the parish, isn't it, really? Just spend it all on myself. Right. Oh, the instructions are today's bestseller. <gasps> Just so you know. So there you are. You're not only proud that you've got your own shiny instructions. I get instructions. asked all the time because I, cause I'm, when I'm filming, I move the, I move it backwards and forwards. It's my most requested um, pattern, people say. When you say when you film, you've got a YouTube channel. YouTube channel. You? Yeah. And so what's I, well, it I, so, I so, well. Oh. So we're Dawn's Tailor Made on Facebook. Yeah. And it's M A I D. Like an old maid. Old maid. Yeah. Made as in at your service. Oh, right, okay. okay, not like an old maid. No, well, that as well. <laughs> um, but so many people got confused and didn't really get it. So we've, the YouTube channel, we are now changing to with Dawn Taylor, which is nice. So you're in the process of so changing. In the pro so that if you want to find us on YouTube, we are with Dawn Taylor. Right, and if have you, you transferred want, everything over? We are in the process oh, of. Okay, right. So, but with the Facebook pages, they are Dawn's Taylor made still, but right. they will. So if become, they put in Dawn Taylor, it should it should pop if up. If you put in it? Dawn Taylor, you will get um, a character from um, Emmerdale, who I had no idea about because I don't watch. Um, oh no, Emmerdale. I don't know. That. I haven't watched Emmerdale for years. I thought it was the Dingles on Emmerdale. No, anyway. she's a character from. Um, yes, from. Uh, no, no, not Emmerdale. EastEnders. Oh. Sorry, EastEnders. What's her name? Dawn Taylor. Dawn Taylor. Oh, I haven't seen that for three years either. I think she's a, um, a, a busy lady in the evening. Oh, OK. <laughs> um, so I've made... I don't know. That's what people tell me. I just believe them. So I've put the snips in the back, OK? <laughs> I'm going to just... She's not. She's just a bit common. Oh, OK. <laughs> well, I, obviously, somebody was having a joke at my expense because that's what they told oh, me. Oh, OK. Like, okay. But well, if you like... do, if you put in Dawn Taylor sewing, then I do appear. But if you just put in Dawn Taylor... Oh, OK, that's it. So look up Dawn Taylor sewing. Uh, Taylor spelt as in T-A-Y-L-O-R. Yes. Yeah. So all the ladies and the gentlemen that follow me now, we were going to be called maiders. 
Right. But now we're going to be called Taylors, which is um, lovely. Oh, yeah, that's more sensible. And it made me think, people that follow you, are we called Scots or Scotters or Scotties? I, I think know. we need to... I think we need to Sad, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't got anything to watch, that's the problem. But just shout oh, at Oh, are everybody. you going to start your chat again? I know you're already doing it, but for after the... A great British Stonebee chat, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. that I really... Certainly. I know I said it before, but that the people that started to do lives and things really did get us all through. It was so... So really many did people get looked for, send me the to loveliest it. messages saying, if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't mm. have got through. But then I also say the other way around, if I hadn't got my lives to chat them, I wouldn't have got through it either. Because yes. I too live on my own. And it's, I've lived, you know, like a whole year being on your own. It's not no fun, is it? Uh, Heather says, morning, John and Dawn, lovely demo. Just received my mug. Time for tea, says Heather. Oh, oh thank you, Heather. We had a bit of a mix up with those birthday mugs, but they're all sorting out now. Oh, dear. So, so now, so you're, so you, I didn't think you cut a hole in the back. Just put a slit in the back, which is all in the instructions of, the of each of them. And do yeah. it carefully so you don't go all the way through. Yeah. Because this is your precious Moda or your Liberty yeah. fabric. And then just fill them all That's toy up. stuffing that's going through there. It is, and it's, I mean, you say that you only use a little bit. Um, if you listen to Wendy. But you're always shocked. I'm all shocked by how much you yes. use. Yes. <coughs> well, anyway. She likes to overstuff. Hannah's um, put it through. Hannah's put it through. But uh, what you can do, because you <coughs> haven't sealed this, you can go back and put more in if you want to. This is the way Mandy Shaw does a lot of her wreaths and things like that. She sews oh, them okay. all and then splits the back and stuffs from the back and things. And then what you need to do, when you have decided you've got enough, um, then just do a little ladder stitch and sew them all up. Yeah. But stuff more than you think. Yes. I mean, I'm going to turn it around because I, I do want to show if we can. Now, I've sewn this. On live TV, so if it doesn't all... There's no excuse, you're an expert no... now. Oh, I don't know, am I? Well, Oops. no, because I had to learn how to rethread a machine this morning. Yeah, exactly. So, and eat a yum-yum. So as you can see, they're not very full. So they no. would need they would need some more. More stuffing. Yes. Oh, we had that conversation last time. Seasoning, not stuffing, John. It's not polite to say Pardon? stuffing. Yeah, not... yeah, you call it seasoning, it's stuffing. Seasoning. I don't eat stuffing anyway, Wadding, I or pa uh, what do they call it on the, on the packet? Oh, yeah, the little Goldie D ring. Where do we get that from here? <clears throat> They're not real gold, obviously. Oh, sorry, I've got to, I'm going to have a drink of water in a minute. I've got a bit of a froggy throat this morning. Come on, Jeremy. There you go. How much are they? 149. Came all that way for 1.49. Let's, let's try and put them on straight for you. On a very funny angle there, Jeremy. Oh, I'm, I'm afraid the deadline, uh, the deadline, yeah, the deadline for the competition is shut, competition's done, because they're all, the names have gone into the virtual hat, the name is being picked as we speak, and at 12 o'clock it will be announced. Um, Derek says, I agree, John, your Facebook Live certainly entertain us through lockdowns, oh, thank you. When are we going to, oh, uh, Maureen, I don't know, because she's got a contract elsewhere now, hasn't she? We need the distraction from this year, especially when mum's had a bad day, I think I've kid, hang on. And thinks I've kidnapped her as well. I haven't been out all year. Oh, Samantha. I've got a friend, I've, my, my friend's mum's like that. She thinks, she doesn't understand what's going on. It must be, so, it's hard enough. Mm. But like you were saying earlier about people who have anxiety issues and all sorts of things, it must be so complex. Mm. Like my, my Francesca's uh, older brother, Luca, is severely, severely, severely autistic. And he can't understand why they can come to the window and wave at him, but they can't come in and everything. And it's just... But why, yeah, but why, why would you understand? But yeah, exactly. I'm having trouble. But you yeah. know what I mean? It must. It's my been nan's, such a my nan's the same. She's in her 90s. And if she needed something from the shop, she would just message my mum's sister and she would just say, Oh, can you go and nip to the shop and get me this? But back right at the beginning, you couldn't just nip no, out and do no. it. She didn't. She just didn't. You no, know, I was the shopping understand. boy in our village. I, I was the delivery boy. With all your think. different masks. Anyway, what are you doing now? So we're going to make um, the binding. Right. So now, why does it have to be bias? Um, it's, it, it's just... Oh, is it straight? It's straight. I, okay, okay, so you're using a bias binding maker. Yes. But you use... Because but when you make all of this together, you're continuously with your iron, whereas if you just use this, then... Yeah, no, no, I... I mean, I've when you said you wanted a bias binding maker, I was thinking, oh, I can't see where there's any bias, but it's, so it's straight binding. You cut the straight fabric binding. on the straight, but using a bias binding yes. to make... and mine's already folded, so it won't go in. Yeah, but of course. It, when I was doing it, because I made this one and that one at the same time, I just did reams of it, so... Yeah, yeah. So that's what you need to do. You Perfect. need to fold it 
and this is your large pocket. Right. Now, it tells you to put your binding on first, um, but I'm doing it to show you, and then this is your pocket. Now, keep it open both ends if your scissors are big enough, because when it hangs down... Oh, yes. But my white... Some of my scissors um, go straight through. Yeah. So just... Decide which scissors. But you scissors. customize it to the size yes. of your scissors. Or but what, if you what, if you wanted to, to seal at that end, then your little scissors would fit. Fit in, in or your snips gap. or something So it's like up that, to you, yeah. um, whichever. So are you putting the binding on just by folding it in half and then just top stitching? Just by folding it half the and then top stitching. Now, because I'm not used to this machine, this yeah. might not be perfect. No, 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 don't worry. But could you, if you didn't want to do it like that, could you do it like you do bias binding and sew it on that way and fold it You could it if over. you wanted it to be so that you wouldn't see. And you don't have to put this on. So oh, no, I you, think it looks nice with the But you don't have to. If you wanted to save, you know, your bits of moda and, I mean, you'd have to then have a look at the pattern because the template tells, tells you which bits to cut out. Yeah. But it does. I think it makes a difference. My husband loves that, the blue. It shows you, doesn't it? People who follow me, they know I'm obsessed with grey. If I had my way, everything would be grey. Oh, would you? Um, yeah, I just, I just love the grey. This is um, why I tried to come out of my comfort zone and looked on the, on the Sewing Street website and found... Yeah, we could do four Dawn. grey bundles, No, no, we? no. But I found the name Dawn. I thought, right, well, I'm going to go with the Dawn as, yeah. as, as opposed to the grey. Um, but it sh everyone has a different... That's why when you say usually the, bun the one that you pick, it's usually the one you don't show is the one that sells out. You yeah, just don't yeah, know. Yeah. It's, it's, and also, sometimes you'll see bundles and like in the prep, I'll go, oh, this is my favourite. Mm. This is my favourite. These will go, these will go. And one that you wouldn't expect to go flies out more than all the others. It's, you can never, ever tell. I was watching you do the fabrics. When, when did you do all the blues? Was it with Clive on Saturday? I was with Clive on Saturday, yeah. And then you were, I could hear, and you were, oh, the, oh, I know, I love this. And I thought, before even looking up, I thought, I bet that's really bright and really something that I would personally would never, ever buy. Um, and I was right each time. Oh. Um, now, apparently, the winner of the fabric's been announced on Facebook. <gasps> oh. And on Instagram. Okay, should we just do it now? Look, sorry, Dawn. No, gonna, you carry on. We can go, we can go over know. a little I bit. We can go over a little bit. Right. So it's the competition over Easter. You had to guess, well, not guess, you had to say where the four. Oh, actually, hang on, hang on, hang on. So over Easter, this was hidden on the set in four different locations. You had to email in yesterday and say where you can do. The marketing department sent a thing out saying it will be announced on air at midday on Monday, right? So we, bit, we, didn't, we didn't know the name. Hannah's just been told, right? So she's just quickly making a slide. So um, it, then they announced it on Facebook and on Instagram without, without our 12 o'clock. So I'm going to do it now. So who, who is it then? Mandy Wilson. Mandy Wilson, you have won all of this fabric. I mean, what a fantastic prize. Now, Mandy, this is supposed to be going in with it. Half of no, it's not anymore. <laughs> it's one half an egg. <gasps> Go for it, yeah. Nom, 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 nom. Congratulations, Mandy Wilson. You've won all that fabric. So, Dawn, sorry, Dawn, you carry on. So, now. all I've done, I mean, this was the tricky bit that I wanted to show you. So, all I'm doing now is I've layered up, and there are pictures for this. So, I've laid, so this is right sides together, right sides together. Did we decide it was cream or was it white? Whatever that is, right sides together. That's your backing. And then your wadding on the top, and then you just sew all the way around. Leave okay. the turning gap, turn it right side out. I mean, that's I will like try the craft and... wadding, isn't it? I haven't got it yes. here. That's like the I will wadding. start sewing, but I don't know if we'll... Oh, don't worry. We'll carry on. Is that chocolate nice? No. <laughs> My youngest, <coughs> Ben, absolutely loves the chocolate that you get in the egg. No, no, I, I, love, I, love, I, don't. I love chocolate that comes in an egg. But I'm, I also... It, when I get gastric reflux. Oh. You know, it's getting old. <laughs> And chocolate is the worst thing for it. So I, as I ate that, Hannah went, oh, oh great, he's going to no. cough now for four hours solidly. I've got, yeah, who's, who's our first aider today? Well, we've only, got, we've only got a fire marshal in today, so I can't be I'm a first aider. Oh, are you? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, are you an official? Are you? Mm -mm. Mine's only with um, young children, though. No, exactly. <laughs> Hannah, Hannah, when we were at Sewing Quarter, Hannah was sent off to train to be the um, first aider. And because she watches Holby City and what we could call the midwife, she thinks she knows everything, right? So she got there, and every time they asked the question, she went, oh, I know that, I know that, I know that. But she wasn't just asking little first aid questions. Of course, if it's a heart attack, you need this and this. And she was coming out with all... Anyway, when they went to pair up to do the, the practically nothing, nobody'd be her partner. She had to go with the instructor, because nobody wanted to be her partner. She was so happy to be there. 
Uh, Helen says, I could watch Dawn all the time. We just love her. Oh, thank you. Congratulations to the winner, says Shelley. Oh, Shelley, if you said that through gritted teeth, I would do. <laughs> Uh, congratulations, Mandy Wilson, says Georgina. Congratulations, Mandy Wilson. Enjoy every piece, says Diana. Aww. But thank you for letting me know, Sally, because we weren't supposed to announce it till midday. <laughs> I'll be having words later. Don't you worry. So I'm just going all the way around. Okay. Now, your wadding's much bigger than your... um. It is. Um, it's because I, I cut it quite quickly. Oh, okay, okay, so you don't need it to be bigger. No, I and mean... Is there any quilting? Do you quilt any of it? You can if you want to afterwards, yeah. because if you're going to put this in the washing machine, it might sort of separate a little. Yeah. I mean, it won't come apart. No, no, but no, no, no. Just as you would and when you're bagging anything out. Of course. Um, so you then could um, do some free motion. Claire says, well done, Mandy. I never win anything. Oh, I'm like you, Claire. Sue says, not jealous much. Congratulations to Mandy. <laughs> I could be the only entrant and still not win. Oh, no. We're all winners. We're all winners. So I'm just leaving my turning gap. I love this machine. See, now we shouldn't let you have a go, should we? Now you know. Well, no, I was so brave last time because I had to use it for the... Um, so I wanted to use the other machine and I couldn't because I had to use it for the free motion. Oh, right. And when I came back, it was like just coming back to an old friend and thought, oh, oh I do know. I the know thing I is, do. I when I did, it was going back to when we first started at Sewing Quarter and I did a um, pattern cutting demonstration and I used that machine for the first time and it was like the machine was sewing it for me. Mm. I know it doesn't, but it felt like I felt so confident using yes. it. I know what you mean. So you can clip your corners and... Do all the things that you would normally do, when uh -huh. you're, but everything is in the, as I said, it's in the instructions. And then we're just going to turn it right sides out. Now, I do really like this um, colour combination. Um, just, well, you chose it, didn't you? No, well, no, I chose oh, this. Chose this well? I, oh, I bought okay. this because it was called Dawn, and then yeah. when Jess sent it to me, um, but I think it's really, really beautiful. Because they are, it it's um, cherries, but it's got cherry blossom as yeah. well. Seven Sisters Mojo, it's lovely. It Three is, Sisters, not so Seven Sisters. Soft. No, no, Seven Sisters in London. I was talking about that area in London this weekend. So soft. It really, really, really is lovely. I was just thinking that's the wrong way around then. That was a bit of a worry. Oh. <laughs> so my po I need to turn my pockets back around. But just keep, keep turning everything. I mean, it will all depend on where, which you've decided to make and yeah. where you're where your pockets are going to be. It does work nicely though, doesn't it? It does. This does really go well. Because I wasn't sure which one I wanted to use as the main. And you, there is enough that if you wanted to use the smaller um, print in the middle, then you can. Yeah. Because you've got equal amounts. Oh yeah, you've got totally equal amounts, haven't you? So, fold that up so you can see both. There you go. And then you would just sew across your... Um, the bottom here. Now this one I was thinking would be for the ironing board. So um, we've got place for your rulers. Um, so if you're going to take your tape measure, props all designer's own. Um, what else will you need? You know when you're over on your iron, you don't have to come back. An iron. An iron, yes. <laughs> and then you then would pop your. That would then go in the centre. Yeah. You know, the, I don't know what they call it. The, there's a tray on the end of the ironing board, the metal bit. Well, mine hasn't got one. Oh, okay. Mine See, mine have a metal sits tray. perfectly in that tray. So I oh. balance it on the end, and then this just sits perfectly in that tray, and then my iron sits on there, and then I just, uh, and I just no, leave mine, it on see, the mine, iron. My, um, I'll say then, Brabantia or Brabantia, whatever it is, doesn't have a, a cage or anything. It comes with a Teflon iron shaped thing for you to put your iron on but it's just at the end but mine fit that would fit beautifully on my ironing board but what the colors, got colors go really well together oh lots of lovely messages coming in here you go doing a great job as always dawn just place my order for the instructions can't wait to give this a go from k in surrey where are you, are you from surrey no um from the cotswolds where Letchlade. Okay, lots of people from Surrey messaging in, that's all. It's because we, with, um, when I first started the business, there's just everybody from everywhere wanted to learn to sew, and Aww. that's just where, we've got over 2,600 followers on Facebook. Oh, have you? What about YouTube? Um, 
under 600. No, no, because you need to get your YouTube up because then you can monetize them. I know, them. so if everyone can, please. Yeah? Do, with, no, no, because I'm with, able to monetize. keeps asking Taylor. me to monetize. And I'm kind of, here we go. Good morning, everyone. We have welcomed two babies into our family in the last 24 hours. <gasps> this isn't Vix, is it? A boy and a girl. Happy days. Oh, Terry and oh, Luna. Wow. Has Luna had babies? Has Luna, has the bug? Oh, now I need to know more. I need to know more now because I was making a chase after squirrels earlier. Not if it's a morning after she's given birth. Oh. Very quickly, next message. Lots of lovely messages coming in for you, by the way. Everyone's lovely. I never win anything but feel like a winner. Have just received a second mug. <laughs> Barbara. <laughs> Now, Mark, Barbara, I don't know who you're supposed to get to. I might have to come and collect that. Well, where does she live? Cambridgeshire. I might have to come round to Cambridgeshire and get that from you. Uh, is that it? Is that it? Hang yes. on, I've got another one here. John, I've just received my birthday mug. I thought I wasn't going to get one. Oh, what a lovely surprise. Loving today's show. Thank you, Barbara, my lovely. Uh, a bottle of Best Press could go now. Somebody's saying a bottle. Oh, okay. Suzanne said a bottle of Best Press and could go your, in there. And um, the interfacing. Um, if you stick oh, yes, it in that side, because then yeah. you would just because mm. then you won't have to, like I said, go back and and, and have to move everything. So, and Excellent. you can iron on this with the wadding in. Yes. On your table, it doesn't it doesn't go through. Oh. Don't not on the French polish table, please. <laughs> yes, don't uh, quote you me on that. So don't quote me on that. Yeah. So you're back in an hour's time, yes. and you're making something from this fabulous new book, and you're yes. totally in love with the oh, book. Oh, I am. You? I really, really am. It's an amazing book, an amazing book. Okay, go and have a cup of tea. Don't eat any more yum-yums. I won't. Get on the phone to Steve, tell him you want the machine, and I'll just recap these bundles. <laughs> the bundle that John's just used is this one. Single figures of this one, when you all checked out, single figures. Hi Dawn, not seen you before. What a lovely demo. I've just ordered my pattern. That's from Gerardine, a regular. Alison's just ordered three kits. Alison. Derek said, I've just fitted a fold down ironing board to the back of my sewing room door. It's so useful. Oh, Derek. Why, Hannah says, what happens if somebody tries to come in while you're on the iron? Well, they can't. It's as simple as that. Right, okay, that's that one. The one that the sample was made out of. About to sell out this one. Very popular show, this one. 24 9, 10. Oh, three. There's three of those left. That's all. Ah, oh, she said, Barbara said, you can come anytime. My husband always says, morning, John, get a haircut. I know, I know. April the 19th. In fact, we were, what, what were we watching earlier? Oh, Christmas Day. We had to look up, up something on Christmas Day and Hannah went, look how short your hair was on Christmas Day and it looked so neat and tidy. But anyway. Oh, sorry, wrong graphics, my bad. Folk, this one's called. 14 of these left, 14 of this variety left. This is Posy and Posy. That's Posy and Olive. Oh, hang on, hang on. No, John, human babies. Luna is 10 and far too busy chasing squirrels. So have you had, Terry, have you had babies then? Oh, I'm confused now. Yeah, <laughs> Hannah wants to know. Hannah, this is Hannah, Hannah just said, where did she get a boy, and, a boy and a girl baby from? She's nearly 30. She's nearly 30. Lovely demo, says Stuart. Nice and chill to great pace. Ooh, lots of compliments coming in for you today, aren't there? Anyway, uh, last one, the most affordable one here is the spotty one. Five, uh, no, there's hardly anything left in it. So, uh, like, uh, two minutes to ten, they've nearly all sold out. How lovely is that? It's so nice, though, isn't it? Because it's your pattern, mm. so you're not you're being judged, but you know what I, I mean? was it's nervous. Like, uh, no, no, I would, <laughs> I would be as well. But it's just kind of like, how lovely is that? That, like, by the end of the day, they will all they have will sold out. Done. In fact, how many of the pattern we've got left on its own? Twelve not checked out, but how many in baskets? Twenty-three. So that some of you, when you come to check out, that won't be there because just put it in your pocket, in your pocket, no, in your basket. <laughs> yeah, check out your pockets. Uh, Nine ninety-nine. I'm trying not to shout. I'm trying not to get overexcited. Uh, anyway, everything else is on the website. Don't be back in an hour. Uh, oh, I've got two demonstrations in the next hour. I've got a guillotine cutter. I've got a circle cutter. I did have rulers, but I got those taken off me. Um, 
Anyway, see you in three. I'll see you. I'll, shh, I'll see you in three. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. So you'll never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. In need of a crafting fix? There are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12pm to 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. So you'll never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Hi there, my name's Alison Marion and I'm thrilled to be joining the Sewing Street family. I live in Staffordshire where I run a couple of sewing groups and I have a passion for vintage sewing machines and also applique. I've stitched in some form for as long as I can remember, but I absolutely love teaching and helping people stretch their skills and hopefully demystifying some of the techniques that can be quite daunting for beginners. So I'm looking forward to meeting the team and getting into the studio. See you soon.
Oh dear, I'm sorry we're a bit long that time, but there's so much stuff to get out and everything. Um, Pam Mini Hound says, I've had to turn the volume up this morning, John, you're so quiet. <laughs> is it me or is it the microphone? Is it me or the microphone? Love Dawn, nice to watch her demo. She's so calm and soft, totally opposite to you, John. <gasps> right, you're blocked. Let's block Princess from now on. She cannot make any more comments now. Oh, and then she put, I wouldn't want you any different. You unblock her, unblock her. Uh, oh, okay, right, okay. Now, I've got tools, I've got all sorts of things this hour. But I need to do this first. I need to do this Tula Pink fabric first. It's back in stock. There's not metres and metres and metres of it, but I want you to see it. This is a mega bundle, right? And, but there are, and there are only three of these available. Right, but I need to tell you, if you love this fabric, If you want this one, it's sold out, right? It's only available in, it's only available. Everyone will have been sitting at home to, to, going, oh, what's happened? What's happened to the sound? That's only available in the Mega Bundle, right? So I don't know why I've had to twist over, but in the Mega Bundle, you get half of the, half a metre of the skunk. Hang on, I just, um, yeah. Half a metre of the skunk, half a metre of the black spots on white, half a metre of the lemurs, Half a metre of the white spots on black. Now, I don't know if this is white fabric with black or black fabric with white, but you only get that one. Then you get geodes, half a metre. Half a metre of zebras, half a metre of the swallows, and half a metre of the hexes. Now, you'll notice that there's colour on all of them. Let me just show you. Uh, obviously, not colour on that one and that one. But look, there's colour on all of them. Aren't they lovely? Aren't they beautiful? That's gorgeous. I love it. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and then the geode is just plain black and white. But look at the zebras. Look at the zebras. Now, there's only three of these, these left. These bun Oh, upside down. There's only three of these left. Oh, no, we had a fabric the other day, didn't we? Called Zebra Spot, didn't we? Yeah. Um, okay, and then that one, the hexes. Now, the hexy one is sold out. If you want this on its own, you can't have it. It's only available in the bundle. It's cute, isn't it? Oh, it makes the telly go a bit funny, but it doesn't in real life. Anyway, uh, that's 66 uh, 99 You get um, how many back metres? Four and a half metres. Four and a half metres of um, Tudor pink fabric there. Beautiful, isn't it? Now, have I got all of these available by the half metre? Apart from the, the, the hexy one. Right, okay, hang on. So, hang on, I'm, have the mega bundles been checked out yet? Oh, loads in baskets, but not been checked out. Okay, that's fine, so I won't... Um... Yeah, there's something, there's something odd going on today. Lots of people popping in their baskets, then eventually checking out, but not checking out as quickly as they normally would. Anyway, so there's your mega bundle. There's your mega bundle. Beautiful, isn't it? Half a metre of each, 66.99. Four and a half metres in total. What's Shelley saying? Think I need to kick up the bo bottom to get me started today. Oh, Shelley, don't worry. Don't you mustn't stress yourself on about days like that. Anyway, C Carol says good morning all. Carol, do you get up at this time every day? Because you're always messaging at 10 past 10 to say good morning. Living the dream, Hannah says, if you get up this time every day. She might be on night shift, she might be working late. Right, okay, so each of these by the half metre now. Right, of course the, the hexy one is not available, so we'll do zebras first. We love this one. Well, after, I'm going to message her and ask her to do an armadillo next time. Because they've got like rabbit ears, they've got kangaroo tails, they've got pigs' noses, they're, and, they're, and they're nocturnal, and they're very naughty. Anyway, these are zebras, not armadillos. Well, I, that, I got confused, because armadillos eat ants and wood grubs by going with their long snouts into the wood like that. And I was getting confused, going, I'm sure they should be hard shells, but that's armadillo, isn't it? Yes. Also, the other thing is now, because we all know what an elephant looks like, we know what a giraffe looks like, but it's only watching the, the Secret Life of the Zoo and you suddenly think, 
they all look f funny. You know, it's like when you see a word too often or say a word too often, suddenly it doesn't see it. You suddenly start looking at all these elephants going, aren't they funny? Aren't they kind of a... F and then you see a giraffe with a really, really tall neck and you think, aren't they funny? And then you see an aardvark and you think, aren't they... F and they're all different. And they're all Anyway. I know everyone thinks that when they see me as well, but anyway. Oh, oh, I think, didn't we go for a coffee there once? Where We were going out once. The, the circular Costa coffee in the middle, isn't that, near a, isn't that near a zoo? No, no, you and I went together. We had, oh, was it when we went to see Amy's play? Oh, okay, I got it wrong, got it wrong. Cannon Hill Park, they've got armadillos. Got red pandas, armadillos. And what, is that near here? Oh no, I'm not in Birmingham, am I? Oh, it's near your house. On the seaside then. Geodes. Whereabouts? Is it towards Mosley then? Oh, and, oh no, the cricket ground, because when you, uh, that day we got completely, <laughs> Hannah and I, what, when we used to work in Birmingham, there was the day with the, with the bikes and they all drive on, and you, they shut every road and Hannah and I drove round and round. We ended up near, egg, egg, near the cricket ground, didn't we? Oh, Carol says it's because she does her pony first. So she doesn't lie in, she does the pony first. Aww. This is just your black and white now. If you're into gemstones, these are like geodes, aren't they? They've called them mineral. Beautiful, right? <laughs> right, yo, let's do the spots. Now, these are called polka dots. Black, or no, black fabric, white polka dots. You see, that would look lovely. These are available by the half meter, remember? So if you, could, if you want to make a skirt out of it, a top out of it, you could do. It's not just for quilting. They're too la pink. They'll, they'll match the, sh sh the shape and size of all. She does this in lots and lots and lots of different colours. There was ra one range we did where we just did polka dots and tent stripes, didn't we? And it was lovely. Okay. Now we've got the tent stripes. When we first launched this range, I really did go, right, that's the black one with the white. Where's the other one? Where's the other way? Yeah. Where's it gone? Have we not got it? Oh, we're missing one, missing one. Uh, so this is just called tent stripe in your black and white. I need to warn you, this does strobe a little bit. It's nice though, isn't it? I'd be tempted to dip dye that, personally. Then I've got the uh, polka dots the other way around. There you go. The fabric's beautiful, it's free spirit fabric, really, really lovely. Oh, Gerardine says, sorry John, got to go to my mum's today, watch the rest of the show later. Oh, don't, you don't have to apologise. <laughs> you have to apologise, thank you Gerardine. Send your mum our love. Oh look, Dawn's on her, machine, on her phone now answering all your questions. Seven pounds and 49 pence. Okay, moving on. Moving on to the skunks next. Isn't there a singer called that? Doesn't she sing with Nancy? Singer. Isn't there a group called Skunk and Nancy? I don't know. Oh, it's called Little Stinker. I wondered why you, Hannah said it went little, little Stinker. And I was like, what's she talking about? Little Stinker. Oh, look at the, look at the beautiful. It, it, all of those beautiful, beautiful colours in there. Cute, isn't it? I think that's one of my favourites, that one. 
But I do love this one with the big dots because the now oh no remember I was saying earlier about the the polka dots these are the same size. This is lovely. I do love this one. Hannah loves the lemur's tails. Where's the lemur's? Oh, there it is. I can see it there. How? That's really well camouflaged, that one. It's nice, isn't it? 7.49 for half a meter, 100% cotton, 44 inches wide, machine washable. Lima me alone, that one's called. Now, have we done that or have they done that? No, that's too clever for us. And then last one, Swallows. I bet it won't be called Swallows. It's called Fairy Flakes. Yeah, when we first, did first launch this range, there was a white version of this, not able to get it back. But do you remember ages and ages ago, we did a quilt backing in like a green, pale green with circles with Swallows on like that. And my house, you must have named them after my house, because that's the name of my house. In fact, is it a bit early for the swallows? I suppose it is, isn't it? Now this is Tula. It's not in the bundle because it's extra wide backing. Now when we first launched that range, this was done as a 44 inch wide fabric as well. This is not the 44 inch wide, this is the extra wide quilt backing. I don't think I need to. Look, it's 108 inches wide. Okay, and so 20 metres of this had already gone before we'd even come to, you know, like uh, before we came on air in pre-order. So let me explain what this is. You see, it's graph paper on the background. These are Tula's working drawings when she was first designing the whole range. So you've got your zebra, you've got your swallow, um, you've got your lemur. There's another lemur there. Um, but these are also all the notes that she made to herself when she was doing her original drawings. You see, this bit here, oh, there was a white peacock. There was a white peacock as part of the range. We haven't got that anymore. There was a white peacock range there. Uh, panda, there was a panda in it as well. That's not there anymore. But isn't it lovely? So it's actually her working drawings for the beginning of the collection. It's just, just, she's just been doodling, hasn't she? Where have my glasses gone? Oh, don't look there, yes. Now remember, these, these do come joined together, so you can buy three metres this, you can buy four metres this, you can buy one metre this, anything in increments of half a metre, and it's uh, 12 99 for half a metre. See, she's listed here, black and white animals, zebra, oh, Dalmatian! And then she's put in brackets, no, dogs are tricky. Skunk, panda, there was going to be a penguin, the penguin never made it. The cow, too far me, that didn't make it. Um... Orca, the whale, save for an ocean line. Lima, ring-tailed or ruffled. White tiger, now the white tiger never made it to the collection, did it? Snow leopard, that didn't make it, that's been scribbled out. Oh, been done before, they've been done before. Albino peacock, that did make it. It's a kind of stretch, but good shapes. So it's total honesty, this is her total original thought process. Of course, the stock's gone now. Uh, don't put an outline on the zebra, black only. The stripes are enough to give it form. Oh, let's have a look again then at the zebra. Wow, look. So look on the zebra, on the notes she's put, because on the one that she's drawn on here, let me show you. You see on this one here, can you see that? Oh, I'll just put it into shot. It's got an outline on it, right? She's actually written here, no outline on the zebra, black only, the stripes are enough to give it form, which they are, because this one here has no black outline. Look, God, sort of turn it around. How clever is that? I wouldn't even have thought of that. So that's, that's the zebra fabric we're just putting through at 749. Read between the lines. Right, but now I'm going to go back to the... Um, so this for extra wide backing. So I love the fact, also it's black and white. And, well, no, it's not actually black and white. It like looks like pencil drawing colour. Uh, but then it's on the graph paper. So she's still done the green graph paper in there. Oh, the swallows are just starting to arrive. Oh, I shall look that. There we go. Skunk and Nancy were brilliant. I bought their music in my youth. Don't know where they are now, says Julie. 
Oh, it's not Skunk and Nancy. It's Skunk and Nancy. It's, skunk is the first word, and the second word is A-N-A-N-S-I-E, like a surname, Anansi. I didn't know that. I was used to thinking, isn't that weird? Because when they're interviewed, right, there was only ever one of them, and I'd be like, well, is that Skunk or is that Nancy? I had no idea, but obviously it wasn't. It's just that. Anyway. Lovely. I'm moving on. Oh, got orophil, two lot orophil. Let me just tidy up a little bit because I'm going to need a bit of space. Oh, and is it still ill? Is it still? Oh, right. This was, uh, Wendy had this, it was an early bird. It was a special during, during Easter, I think it was. Um, and it shouldn't still be an early bird, but it is for you. Now, Wendy had trouble opening his box. <laughs> and she kind of broke it open inside. It actually opens here, look, like this. Oh, I'm going to have trouble opening it. No, there you go. They're all... Uh, variegated. And you know, little Paul loves a variegated. He's not in today. So that again. That one. No, they're all variegated. Do you want me to get them all out? There you go. 50 weight orophil. I think there's 200. Aren't they 200 um, on each ball? Obviously, these have still got the cellophane on them, so you're not seeing the true colours on the telly. So look, you've got all the different pinks there. You've got reds, you've got greens, you've got oranges and yellows. That one's very, very variegated. That one is it. Greens, purple. Oh, I like that one. 100% cotton. It, it's, it's Egyptian cotton taken to Italy, created. Only the top quality is used. There's green and there's the grey one. You can see why you think... No, it's definitely variegated, but it's very, very gentle variegated, that one. 200 metres on each bull. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's 2,000 metres of thread there. Oh, look, how much are you saving? Well, right, now I've got, I've got, I, have to, I have to question this. Because at one point, Orophil and I were going to do a collection of threads, like the John Scott and Orophil thread box, right? And they told me how much I had to charge for each box, right? And for this box, not, not um, variegated, just straight colours that I would pick, right? This box had to be 39.99, right? So if you add far, six pounds, onto, it only takes to 33.99. So even at 33.99, they were a fantastic price because they should have been 39.99, but now, Twenty-seven ninety-nine, and also the other thing is, is how much did we say? One, two, three, four, five, six, two thousand meters. So divide twenty-seven ninety-nine divided by two thousand multiplied by a hundred. What's that? Right. Okay. If you buy a, a polyester thread, now I'm not dissing any kind of thread. But for 100 metres, that's £1.80, £1.90, isn't it? These would be one pound. how much? One thirty-nine. One thirty-nine. So that means each of these spools now are £2.78, right? Now, also, if you go to an Aurifil shop, how much would a 200... I'm just trying to get to this is a really good buy. That's all I'm trying to say. Because we normally show a spool of Aurifil thread, 200 metres, don't we? Anyway. And these have got 200 metres on them. Yeah, you have got 200 metres on each of those. But what I'm saying is, so you wouldn't get two uh, polyester threads at 100 metres for the price that that is for 200 metres. Yeah, 200 metres that is. And they're 50 weight, aren't they, these? So 50 weight, fantastic for piecing and for dressmaking. Well, like Wendy said the other morning, you wouldn't want to make them for dressmaking. You don't want them to be in a hidden seam. But you can quilt with them, piece with them, do whatever you want with them. Decorate with them, uh, embroider with them. Hmm? Yeah, Tula uses this one, the grey one, for, for when she does her piecing. Because we always say, don't we, grey or biscuit to do your piecing, no matter. Because if you think about Tula's ranges, normally there's every colour you can imagine. You can't keep swapping your thread every time you want to sew two colours together, do you? They're brilliant, they are. Oh, fewer than 20 of those. Loads of people got their mug deliveries today, that's brilliant. Ellen says, morning, John and team. Skunk was the lead singer, one of my favourite bands. As a teenager, blimey, I didn't realise it was that long ago. 
Why didn't you do it, the Threadbox collaboration? Because, uh, I'll explain later, Princess. Morning, says Lulu. Sorry, I can't watch with the sound on today. Got to work. Have a good day. Hello, Lulu. She's not turned it down because I'm too noisy. She's at work. I don't know what I've just said. So <laughs> if you are a, a signer, I really apologise if I've said something naughty. Also, it's different in America, I've learnt. It's completely different in America than it is in Europe. Oh, is that always there? Oh, I didn't know that. Only because when I worked at Theatre Cluid, there was a show in the West End that was all uh, deaf people in it. It was so moving. It was really moving. The whole show was done like this and talking and everything. And um, I got very friendly with somebody. <laughs> We're not going <laughs> to... We won't go there. But anyway, I've learned that the word was that the, the show was done. <laughs> the show was done in American sign language and not British. <laughs> Let's move on, shall we? Moving on. Uh, shall I do the other two, the thread? Yeah, move it on, John. I like this one because look at the look inside here. I know. So now, what we got in here, we've got 20 colours, 100% cotton, 50 weight, 200, oh, it's 220 yards, we did the whole thing wrong then, if that was 200 yards. Were they 200 yards in that one, or 220? Oh, yeah, we did metres, yeah, sorry, yeah, yeah, sorry, that's my bad. My bad, my bad, my bad. Oh, look at the colours in here. Oh. <gasps> The thing is, whether you're a Tula fan or not, these colours are incredible. There's something about her colours that are so pure. Look at that. You get all of these. You get all of these for 66 99 You get all of those. They've got 200 metres, 220 yards on each. They're made in Italy. Egyptian cotton. Now, in this one, you do have a black and a white. Oh, that's not white, actually, is it? It's just off-white. But then you've got lime, you've got chartreuse, you've got that beautiful eau de neal, you've got yellows, oranges, pinks, red, fuchsias, blues, aqua. Aren't they just gorgeous, that rainbow? Right. Oh, OK. They, they, she normally puts them on the back. The colours, okay, right, if you want to know what the colours are, because a lot of people collect Tula's, but they're all listed on the website. I'm not going to go through them now. Uh, yeah, Claire says another story for the book. Mm, I'm not sure if that one will go in the book, Claire. Oh, now look, Derek says there's lots of different types of sign language. My ex did seven different sign languages. Well, actually, we worked with a, de a lovely deaf actor on um, Four Weddings and a Funeral, didn't we? He was lovely. No, we, as in the royal we, me, not you. I don't think you were born, me. Oh, Margaret, I don't know. I don't know, Margaret, why they've done that. She says, why have they announced the winner on the Facebook when several times it's been stated it was going to be announced at 12 today? Margaret, we totally agree. We totally agree, Margaret. You've all been waiting till 12 o'clock and then it's gone out on Facebook and Instagram already. I know. It's not, it's not, not, I'm not complaining and not being negative. I'm just, oh, Hannah is. Uh, I'm just saying, we've been building up to 12 o'clock today. All weekend, we've been saying 12 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 12 o'clock, loads of people will tune in, won't they now? Anyway, we'll show it again. Anyway, moving on, moving on. I'll get an email for, you know, stop being so negative, John. What was the one the other day? Oh, I've just remembered what the other one the other day was, yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. Next. Now, it's on the shelf, Jeremy. You don't get spools on yours. Just have a look at that one whilst I um, get mine out. It's a Millwood. We'll get there eventually. Oh, dear me. It's even more blurred with you today, Jeremy, than it was with Paul. There you go. You don't get the threads on yours or the, or the leopard print. Um, oh, I've got a lovely sewing box coming up, actually, in a minute. 
Right, so this is Millwood. 7.99, came back in stock beginning this month. Okay, we had it in before Christmas. We tried to get it, oh, excuse me, back in. I thought they were, I thought they were 9.99 to be honest. But anyway, 7.99. Oh, have you? Oh, it's always been seven ninety nine here. I don't want to open the box because I don't want to rip the box. But you can see what it's like. It's a lovely beach. It's beach, I think, isn't it, this? Yeah, be yes, because I always read this out, don't I? Beat, Butch, Faggio, Hetra, Haya. I'm sure Faggio means beans in Italian. Oh, Margaret's, th oh, Margaret's threatening to come down to the studio. I think I should come down and sort them out. Yeah, Hannah says, you're quite welcome, Margaret. Hannah says, when we're allowed, she's got a spare room because she's nearer than I am. Margaret does good presents as well, by the way, Hannah. Oh, Margaret, you'll be on the sofa bed if you stay at Hannah's. It's a very posh sofa bed. You're very honoured, actually, because it's not like Hannah to offer up an invite to the house. How many years? Even the day somebody crashed into my car? No, nothing. Oh, I, no, that's so untrue. She said she gets really weird about people going to her house. Then I hear, oh, poor little Paul was around last night. Oh, Tony came round. Not now. This is not in normal times. Obviously, she doesn't have anyone around now. Um, but no, people are always coming round. The DJ people next door. Oh, not to stay, not to sleep over. Even though in her tiny, tiny house, she's got three bathrooms. But that's by the way. Didn't Jeremy used to stay over at one point? Yes. When they first opened Sewing Street, they told me that Jeremy was staying at Hannah's, right? And I was like, oh, that's nice. So they can give her a lift into work. They were like... No, because they're going out together. So I didn't, there was one bit of gossip I didn't spread because I didn't quite see it somehow. Anyway, let's move on. Let's move on. Oh, Beach Ruler Axe next. I'm clearing the space because I've got to do a demonstration this hour. But I'm just clearing the space so I can do it. Right, which one first? Oh, now. Now, um, I don't want to say don't buy this, but don't buy it yet. Don't buy it yet, uh, because I want you to show you something, but actually, oh no. They've sent me a different book box. Here we go, here we go, here we go again. Oh, there you go, there's a picture of it. It's made of beach, except no, that's not the same one. Because look at the difference in the wood. Yeah, no, but that, that looks like balsa wood, like, like um, not varnished. The one, you're getting this one. Look, you're getting this one. It's beautiful, isn't it? 10.99. Right, now, I, I, oh, I haven't got any rulers. You slot your rulers in there. I know, but I can't reach. Anyway, 10.99, 10.99. You know what they're like. You've got your little stoppers on the bottom there to stop it scratching. And it's nicer. Don't just keep your rulers on the floor, because if you like Wendy Orlando, her husband will come in, tread on them and break them, right? 10.99. So let me just explain then. This is a four. This one's got four slots in it, and it measures... 25 by 10 centimetres or 10 by 4. Oh, there you go. Look, that's how you put your rulers in, like that. Now, look at the size of that one. And then, and I know size isn't everything, but I'll get this one out now. So let's get rid of the graphics. Look at the difference in size and the amount of slots. Look at the difference in price. It's only a pound more. And you get, look, and you get five slots, a longer ruler. So if you've got the big, long rulers. Now, I always say buy two. So you put your stir cra scrap crazy and things like that in there, right? And then you put your big rulers in here, right? Because, that, because imagine those on your windowsill. They're going to keep the rulers all nice and tidy and away from your desk and everything like that. So this one's 11 99 I'll take that one out, right? This, okay, put the little one in the other box. So that's 10 99 That's 11 99 it's coming in on the side now. I've run out of room, so I thought I'd buy a ruler rack and put it on the window still. But, oh, but would the, uh, would the rulers warp in the sunlight? Well, how, how, um, 
Which, which, which direction do you window face? That's the difference. If they're south facing, then I wouldn't put them in the wind. I wouldn't put them in the windowsill. Oh, Bernadette sent me a message. Uh, Fagioli uh, equals bean fagioli. Beans just saying, enjoy the show, Bernadette. Bernadette, Stuart's just messaging, gone, I think you'll find fagioli is bean in Italian. But isn't it, word's very close though, isn't it? Bean and beach. Oh, it's south facing. No, don't put your rulers on your windowsill if you're south facing, because you shouldn't have anything on your windowsill on a south facing window. My whole kitchen south facing. The orchids hate it. Anyway. I wasn't going to get an Easter egg this year, but with all the talk of them over the weekend, maybe crave one. So I sent Hoppy out yesterday on a jolly to try and find me one. Everyone had completely sold out. No, no. Oh, so I bought it on the Long River and waited for it to arrive. Princess, Janice found that. She went to buy us all Easter eggs. We can only get Terry's chocolate oranges. I don't think they bought as many. I don't think the shops had as many this year anyway. Um, Liam got four. Okay, this is a bit weird, right? Whenever I had flatmates, I never bought my flatmates Easter egg. Munch, you know, Munch, I mentioned earlier, he bought four for, for Jeremy Joe. And Jeremy Joe bought one for him. I bought Hannah uh, one that Big Rabbits, which she ate in no time. Bought Paul one as well, but he didn't open his. Anyway, this is 10 99 this is 11 99 just so you know. Uh, at, at the end of the show, Hannah, just talk to me about that. Next. Oh, yeah. She wants to do the that. No, 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 about that ruler. Not about how much chocolate you've eaten over the weekend. Right, I'm not going to take this out of its, uh, out of its wrapper. Because I've not got many. Now, this, we all know this because it's like the ironing board that we use. Right. Oh, 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 oh. Right, okay. I didn't know this. We've never sold this at Sewing Street. We used to sell it at Sewing Quarter all the time. We've never sold it here at Sewing Street before. Now, I need to explain. You know when you have a block and you sew it together and it's sometimes a little bit wonky and you haven't used steam on it at all while you've been making it. You haven't used a dry iron. What you can do with this is you can, so say you've got a four inch block, you can put it out there, pin it into the block here to, and then steam it. Oh, hang on. Sorry, we have to just wait because the camera upstairs. We'll talk to Elliot in the break. Um, but now, what, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, oh, but it'll distort. It'll, no, at June Taylor, you see this fabric here? It's been baked, so it will never, ever distort. So you can guarantee that these lines will stay as inch squares. Also, they put the inches on the outside. So if you've got a four inch block or an eight inch block, I haven't got anything here that I can put on it. You can see how, well, that's not a good, good thing. Oh, here you go. Look. You can see the numbers on the outside. So if you're doing a four inch block, so you can see the numbers are on there. Well, you'd do it up there, wouldn't you, or down there? And you can, can you do knitting on it as well? And crochet? Yeah, the blocking, the blocking. But what, did you just use normal pins? Oh, okay, because on the, on the blocking knitting thing, it's pegs, isn't it? You put pegs in. Okay, so let me just read what it says on the thing. So it's a portable and pressing square blocking board. Press and square with accuracy. Thick bonded cushing layer eliminates, oh, eliminates seam edge impressions and protects the raised details of fine applique. Used to block needlework and knitting too. There you go. Now, I don't want you to get confused. I don't want you to get confused. It's not a pressing board on the other side. Uh, not a cutting board on the other side. It's not the cut and press. It's a square and blocker. And it's got a lovely little webbing handle at the top there. But it's not the one. It's not this one. It's not this one that has the, the cutting. It's not that one. This one is just this one here. Oh, there you go. Okay, Long River comparison. Is it an identical one? Yeah. So this is a direct comparison, 
Yeah. She's found it somewhere else, but she can't find it now. That was 45, but we can't say that because we can't find it. She's lost it. Well, she, she lost it a long time ago, didn't she? Okay. Okay, there's only single figures, but we're hoping they'll get more of these. And because we only had single figures of the um, cut and press, didn't we? And that sold out the other day. Oh, here's a tip. Here's a tip from Derek. Leaving a warped ruler on top of a radiator soon straightens it out. Mm, I didn't know that. But, but better that she doesn't put them on the windowsill and warps them all anyway, so. Oh, message on my bottom from Pauline. Uh, love the Aurifil thread and I bought the Tula Pink Sunrise with gift vouchers. I got for Mother... Oh, some vouchers I got for Mother's Day. They're fabulous threads from Pauline in East Durham. In County... Well, County Durham or East Durham is at the same place. Uh, thank you, Pauline. See, I love it when people spend their vouchers on things. Because so, when you get a voucher, you can sort of justify buying something that you sometimes think, oh, I shouldn't really splash out on that. But it's a voucher. Splash out. Splash out. I would. We sell our vouchers on the website, by the way, if you want to. Sewing Lane. No. <laughs> that didn't sound right there. Sewing Street and Yarn Lane vouchers. But you can use them both. So if you can use it both, it would be Sewing Lane, wouldn't it? Or Yarn Street. Right, where am I going next? Yeah, the extra large cutting mat first. Here you go. Back in stock. Uh, now, this is one side here. It's the Millwood extra large self-healing cutting mat. Uh, it's 90 by 60 centimetres, which is 36 by 24 inches. That's the whole mat. And then measurable is 34 by 22. Biggest cutting mat that we do. Uh, blimey. <laughs> And it's double sided. I was just picking up. Double sided, John. Double sided. Um, there you go. There's your centimetre side with all your angles on. Your 45 degree, your 60, and your 30 degree angle. Uh, they always say buy the biggest um, cutting mat you can for the space that you're working in. Again, on the inch side there, you've got all your increments of your half inch, quarter inch, eighth of an inch, 60 degree, 45 degree, 30 degree. You've got your central point there where you can square up and everything. It's brilliant, isn't it? But I'm not going to use it to show any of that today. Which one am I going to start with? Okay. Right, okay. So, uh, now, who was it? that uh, Someone gets this out all the time. They want to use this all the time. Was it when, is it Wendy Orlando? Somebody uses this one all the time. Let me show you how it arrives. Because what I would do is I would keep this box... And I would keep it in this box. It's upside down. Oh, no. When I'm not using it, right? Keep it in the box. I'll just pop it down on the desk here. It is the Fiskars Rotary Cutter and Ruler all in one. We call it the guillotine because it's like the one at school you have that's a guillotine. But it's not a guillotine. Um, so it's two in one. It measures and cuts at once. It's six by 24 inches. Cuts multiple layers of fabrics and makes straight cuts quick and easy. I have to tell you, if you're doing a bargello or you know when it says cut, you know, 400 half square triangles and you've just got cut loads and loads and loads of strips. This is just brilliant. If you've got dexterity issues, this is also brilliant. I'll show you what it is now on the actual thing. Oh. Right, so this is it. When you open the box, this is what you get. So you've got your six inch uh, depth ruler here. And again, it's got all of your increments in your, in your quarter inch, your half inch, your three quarters of an inch. Um, it's got them in black and white. So whatever color fabric you're using, you'll be able to see it. <clears throat> this here is your rotary cutter. And it uses exactly the same blades as a 45 millimeter rotary cutter. So if you need to change the blade, just use, use your um, 45 millimeter rotary cutter there. Uh, now, it's brilliant for people, because as you can see, the blade is tucked up there. It only engages when you push down on that handle, you see. So if you, if you um, have dexterity issues, then you don't need to hold a rotary cutter like that. You can literally, now you can move it up and down like this without pressing it, it just moves up quite, up and down quite freely, not doing any damage whatsoever. You must use it with a cutting board because obviously you're going to wreck your table and your blade if you don't. And then it's only when you press down that the blade is then engaged, right? So let me just show you. I've got a piece of fabric here. Oh, now, this is a bit bigger than I thought it was going to be. Right, 
Okay, so let's let's cut with the fabric first of all. Now the other thing we always say to you, isn't it? We always say, do not cut towards yourself, right? So let me. Oh, now I'll just line this up because, like most fabrics, it's not the end of it. Isn't um, what Jeremy's trying to say to. I wonder what Jeremy's trying to say to me. When you pick it up, pick it up by the handle here. Don't grab it here like that. Oh, hang on. Let me show you. Don't grab it here like that, because if you grab it there and press down, the blade will engage. So he's just saying, please be careful how you pick it up. Right, OK, so let's just put this down here. I'm just going to square off at the moment. Oh, I've got the wrong way up. So, oh, I'm just squaring off to start with. So I'm just kind of lining up the um, straight line with my fabric. Now, look, like I said, you can move this up and down quite freely and it's not cutting the fabric. Uh, and also, like we say to you, don't cut towards yourself on the rotary cutter. You can do on this. If, it, if you find it easier to do this way, you can. Well, I'll do it that way, actually. Look. So that's cut it off perfectly, right? And then what we do is if you're doing a bargello, say you're doing a bargello, and you want to cut loads and loads and loads of strips at two and a half inches, this is how you do it, right? So you literally, you've squared the edge off, you line up the bottom of the ruler there, two and a half goes there, and then line it up to the two and a half at the top there. I've not squared off the end there, but anyway, look. There you go, perf perfect two and a half inch squares. Then, if you can, not you can do bargello, because you want strips for your bargello. If you, oh, hang on, it's kind of a bit, that's my bad, because I haven't squared that off properly there. I'll just do it again. There we go. I don't know what I've done there. But anyway, so you can measure it up for your two and a half inches. Measure the top up for your two and a half inches. I think that may be what I did. Yeah. All lined up. There we go. Make sure you've got a nice sharp blade in it all the time. This one's getting a little bit tired. Right, there you go. There you go. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And then, if you then want to cut into um, two and a half inch squares, square off the end like this. These, these all went out of stock. Got them back in and they all sold out. We've now just got them back in again. So square off there. Oh, Okay, I've only got ten. Only got ten. I only got ten of these. Right. So then, two and a half inch squares. Right. Okay. So two and a half inch there. Two and a half inch there. There you go. Perfect. Two and a half inch squares. No, no, I've done it. So you're cutting per absolutely perfect. Two. I mean, it doesn't have to be two and a half. It could go up to six inch. If you want to do six inch squares. Uh, yeah, and if you've got your pre-cuts, if you're making your own pre-cuts, you want to do five-inch squares. You can't do ten-inch squares. Or if you want to make your own design rolls, just do width the fabric like I have there, two and a half inches. That's your own. So if you've got um, Pam and Nikki Lintot's, you know, weekend jelly rolls books and everything, and you think, oh, I haven't got, a and you want to make it out of fabric you've got, in, you can make your own jelly rolls or design rolls, two and a half inch strips. Or if it says cut 400 four inch squares, you're like, oh, but how, think how quickly. And, and what you could do is I've only done it in a double layer like that. Once you've got your four inch squares, you can lay it down. I think I've done up to, I'd only go to six layers, but you can go up to eight layers with this as well. Brilliant. Um, also, if you've got a fabric shop, Sometimes it's really good just to use it because you don't want to be cutting all the time with your rotary cutter when the shops can open, obviously. You're, you're cutting. Like Stuart, I bet Stuart's got one of these. for When he's doing his online, uh, people order things online, he just cuts the meterage of fabrics for them. It's fantastic. Okay. Right, okay. Um, okay, so I've done that. I've done that. So that's your straight lines there. Oh, the other thing I was going to say was it's got a handle here. I wouldn't hang it from this handle. I don't think that's what it's there. It is. That's, I don't think that's what it's there for. Oh, hang on, where have you gone, Jeremy? Shall I turn it around there? There's a handle there. I wouldn't hang it from that. Okay. Now, if you want circles, now. Okay, the image on the web is just this, right? The image on the web is just this. You do get all of this. When you buy it, this is what will be delivered to your house. This is what will come to your house, right? So it's got the, the ruler and it's got the cutter. 
Right, that's your rotary cutter in there. So on the, on the website, it just looks like you're getting this, but you're getting, but getting both of them. Now, say you want to cut the perfect circle. Okay, now I don't want to waste all this fabric, so I'm just going to fold it again here. So let's say we want to cut, or if you, yes, if you want to cut a perfect circle, fold your fabric here in half, make sure you get your straight of grain going. Right, what you do is you get your ruler like this. I'll just move it along. Right, can we see this? Right, okay. So you level up the fold of your fabric along this solid line here. Right, there's a solid line and there's a dotted line. I'll explain what the dotted line is for in a minute. Right, so you fold up, you, there's a solid line running along there. Just get that even. If you've got a pattern with a fabric, uh, you might want to line this bit up with the pattern so you can see that your pattern's going straight. Then as you can see here, you've got grooves from 2 inches to 12 inches. That's the size of your, cir your finished circle, but it does include a quarter of an inch seam allowance around the outside. So if you're thinking, I want a finished 4 inch circle, what you do, I'm going to move it up here so I don't waste any fabric. So you line that up with the bottom of your fabric there. You line that up if you've got any stripes. Now, this is your blade. Now, it does come with a safety catch on here. Now, this is a different blade to a rotary cutter because, <coughs> excuse me, if you see, take this off. This is your blade inside of this one. Can you see that there? Again, it doesn't engage until you press the whole thing down, but it's a completely different blade. I'll show you what the blade unit looks like in a second. So what you do is so you've got your two nodules here. You look at your four inch, right, so you put that in your four inch groove here. Now, as you can see, the groove starts much lower down than the actual line. That's to give you the space to actually get the, um, the blade in. So you line up those nodules with the, now you can test it. This isn't like the, like the guillotine cutter. You can test it around like that. It's not going to cut the fabric. What you then do is you then press down. You go around like that, put the safety catch back on. Now, I don't know how sharp this blade is. Oh, just at the end there, just one thread at the end. You've made a perfect circle. So if you're doing the base of a bag, if you're doing a, um, um, oh, what am I trying to say? Base of a, a, wine a, a wine holder, anything like that, uh, round um, coasters, anything like that, a plique. You can do. Now, if you only want half a circle, you do exactly the same, but only on one layer of fabric. But you line it up this time with the dotted line. You see there's a dotted line underneath there. So you line those both up with your dotted line. You do the same thing again. Oh, take your plate off. Put it in the four. Check it's going to go round. Yep. Yeah. And then you cut round, oh, oh, moved. Make sure yours doesn't move. Right, so then when you then take it out, you've got half, a quarter of an inch seam allowance here. Then you can, I've left the salvage on there. Then you can sew it to another half circle and it creates a complete circle with a seam down the middle if you want to do your half circles and things like that. Yeah, yeah, uh, Hannah says you go to the website and you think, what on earth is that? Oh, let me very quickly show you this, because the blade unit is completely different. Uh, have we got the blades on our website? Okay, we will, be, we will, we will ask uh, um, buying to get them in. Basically, to get into it, you turn the top like that. You get this with it anyway, but you don't, this is if you need to change the blade. Then you just turn it, right, to, to get those nodules right. That's your blade unit, right? So you dispose of that sensibly where you dispose of kni uh, knives and blades and razors and things like that. Then literally you get your new one, you pop it in there, you see it's got two nodules at the side there, pop it in, give it a twist and you're re ready to go. That's as simple as that. But make sure when you change the blade that you keep the safety catch on the bottom, then you're not, your safety pad on the bottom, then you're not going to cut yourself with it. So you get this and you get this for $31.99. And then, I mean, that, that will last as long as a normal um, rotary cutting blade. And if you think how many times you're going to do circles, it would... Be... 
Oh yeah, uh, people have different blades as well if they're doing paper or faux leather and things. Mind you, faux leather shouldn't be any different, but if you've got a slightly blunter one. Um, Stuart does have one of these guillotines to cut the fabric in the shop, in his shop, just so you know. Got a Fiskars thread snipper here now, very quickly, because I've just read the time. Yeah. We've never had this before. I'll put it down, first of all. So it's a Fiskars thread snip. Ultra sharp blades, it says. 1399, exactly as you'd expect with Fiskars. Spring action, ergonomic soft grip, built-in blade cover. How many of these have we got? Oh, I don't know if I should open it or not. It's open now. So there's your snips. I'm just working out how the um, built-in blade cover works. Built-in blade cover. It must be... So oh, there you go. Right, okay, so if, when it's in the drawer, so when you're using it, snip, 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 the extra, look, there's the spring action in there. Snip, 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 snip. Then you put it away in your drawer. Oh, hang on, do you have to shut it first, maybe? Oh, look. Perp. Hannah's going, yes, yes, you do, John. Yes, you do shut it. She's got one of these at home, apparently. Anyway, that's brilliant, isn't it? Just be careful when you do open it up again. That's a button there, you just press it. Keep it, hold it together to bring your guard down because I just did it without holding it and it just springs open, you see. So it'd be safer if you do that, that, and then when you open it, keep your fingers on this lovely soft, um, I always call it soft grip, it's, I always call it silicon, I'm not sure, quite sure what it's made of. Literally, do that and then you're ready to go again. Oh, that's brilliant. I love the fact that it has that safety, um, guard on it because your fingers aren't going anywhere near those blades at all. Good if you've got children in the house and things like that, isn't it? Oh, there you go. Becky Alexander Frost uses one of these and she loves it. Oh, oh, I've got one of these. They're brilliant. By the way, I have a new foot for my sewing machine. Oh, what, what happened with your feet on your sewing machine? Anyway, uh, lots of people coming in for this. How much is it? Oh, 13 99 That's good. It's good. It, now, do you know what? The other thing I love about it is the whole thing is very, very, very substantial. You don't, think, you know, sometimes you see, a quarter of the stock's gone already. Sometimes you see uh, snippers like this and they feel a little bit flimsy. There's nothing flimsy about this. It's very, very substantial. And I'm not going anywhere near those blades, but I'm sure they're very, very sharp. Oh, flipping out. Yeah, look. Now, you normally get that noise from your, your best quality scissors. You right, I'm putting this away now. Right, okay, half the stock has gone into baskets. You see, maybe I shouldn't have opened this one. But we had lots, we had lots. That's why I always ask, you see, because we've only got two or three, I don't open it. But we had loads of these. Fantastic. I'm going to leave that with you because we've got to go. Look at the time already. Look at the time. Uh, dawn's up after the break. I haven't finished. Uh, everything else that you could see on my table is on pre-order underneath. Under, will you put it on the main thing? Oh, yeah, right. They'll all, everything you've seen. So the ham, the best press, the sausage roll, the quilt roll clips. I think that's all we didn't do, isn't it? Oh, and, and the sewing box and the sticking the batting together. They're all now underneath me on, on the web. Right, so Dawn's coming up next. Uh, oh, now... It's a brand spanking new book coming up next. Uh, use a bit of all gap. Have a look at the cushion. It's lovely. Now, we're going to be showing you how to... Basically, it's all about the book, right? All about the book with different techniques. You can use all the different techniques for different projects. There's the cushion, right? We've also got a bag. We've also got two um, peg bags. Are they both peg bags? Yeah, I think they are. Big one and a small one. They're all in the book. It's the most gorgeous book. And Dawn is completely in love with the book. Totally and utterly in love with the book. Uh, uh, so we're going to go for a quick break now. We will see you, the other side of this, in three minutes' time. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. 
So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Hello everyone, my name is Cara Ackerman and I'm absolutely delighted to be here at Sewing Street. Um, I actually originated from Hertfordshire, then went down to Hampshire and then it ended up in the East Midlands. I've been in the East Midlands for about 40 years now, which seems crazy. Um, but 36 of those I actually worked with DMC Creative World, um, which was wonderful. I really, really enjoyed that. And then um, I decided to go freelance and that's how I got introduced to Sewing Street. I love doing anything to do with um, textiles. So embroidery, cross stitch, patchwork, done a bit of quilting, bag making, toy making. Oh goodness, there's loads and loads of things. Um, what I love doing is just trying something new. And I think one of the tips is don't be frightened of trying something new. Um, you always learn from it. And you know, don't be scared of making mistakes either. We all learn from the mistakes that we make. Um, little bit about me that you might not know and that's a bit of a surprise. Um, I once went to the garden party down at Buckingham Palace, the Queen's Garden Party, for some work that I did with Marie Curie. And I was so, so lucky to go there and just a wonderful time. Um, so I hope to see more of you on Sewing Street and I hope to try lots of new crafts with you. So see you again soon. Bye bye. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, Click the envelope and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. So you'll never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. So you'll never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Um, because of my fabulous demonstration in the last hour, even though I say so myself, the circle cutter is absolutely flying. It's nothing to do with my demonstration. It's just a brilliant, a brilliant thing. So if you've got that in your basket, please be careful. Now, just uh, I, I, what, what clock are you up to on your... Um, I'm at, at 7.30 this morning on my water. I'm a little bit behind today. Uh, so while you're doing so in, in this dawn, I'm got, might be slurping away on my water. Right, I think I've sanitised enough there. This new book is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Look, let me clear the table a little bit there. Applique Art, freehand machine embroidery pictures by Abigail Mill. The textile artist. Her words, not mine. It's so cute, isn't it? Absolutely lovely. 70... 1799. I thought it was more expensive than that. When I looked in prep today, look, how cute is this? I'm just going to flick through the pages. Look, 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 look. You saw that, you saw that on the bag earlier. So here you go, the materials and equipment you'll need. Fabrics, colour, embroidery hoops, all sorts of things like that, sewing machine. Inspiration. Aren't these a country cottage? Colour, how you mix colours and patterns. Over-dyeing fabrics, oh, I've never seen purple um, 
Rubber gloves before. Not lived on. I've only got pink or yellow ones. Textures and patterns and stitching and building a scene. It's such a lovely, lovely book. Look at all different techniques and everything. Uh, beach houses. Ooh, what's that? What's she making there? Oh, umbrella. It's an umbrella. So there's all different. Um, other uh, adding other elements. Look. It is a dog. Yeah. Mounting and framing. Right. Summer's Day at Southwold. Oh, it's nice at Southwold. Oh, look, I love that. Well, it's making me feel really hungry, though. Anyway, the, the whole book is an inspiration. Look. Chocolate box at Sheringham. Do you think she lives in Norfolk? I'll read that in a minute. So the whole book is just, I mean, it's lovely just to look at, isn't it? Tea time treats. Is that a sandwich? That can't be a big sandwich. Battenberg cake. Oh, is it a napkin? Oh. <laughs> look. You see, because look, it's not literally there. Yeah. Hannah's just said, look, she's used little uh, Gapur lace uh, daisies to go and then brood your anglais around here. But she's got, um, used that as like the middle of the scone. Oh, daisy first or second. I don't know, really. Yeah, so it's breaking down all the elements. So you can just make your own little buttons, pretty little buttons on there. There's the pure lace again in the daisy. She likes that one, doesn't she? Country garden. Now, I see Jane Greenoff living there. She's got a greenhouse, hasn't she? Oh, in fact, and that's like, like her barn, isn't it, that she lives in? Oh, now she's going to, she obviously goes to Paxos look for her holidays. Country, there's so much in this book, isn't there? Cottage garden. It's a bit like Hannah's yard, this, isn't it? Yeah. It's not far off Hannah's house. I mean, real, real size. Animals. Still no hedgehog in my garden. I've got a hedgehog hotel. Still no hedgehogs. Still no blue tits in the blue tit hotel. It cost me a fortune from the Long River. Hen house. I bought it because my next door neighbour said he was going to put one up on the tree for me, right? And then he didn't, so I thought, I've got to buy one now. So I had to go and buy the most expensive, didn't I? Seaside. Lower stuff they're in now. Fish shack. So there's no actual projects. As you see, there's no projects in the book at all. It's all about your own inspiration. But um, as Dawn will tell you later, these are all big enough just to trace these off. If you want basic shapes... You could just trace these off. Ah! Uh, oh, little seal in the wall. Oh, there you go. There are templates as well, though, of some of them. I can say why she's done a toilet. That's a sugar bowl. <laughs> oh, and I, I, now some of these you have to make them bigger. Some of these you have to make them bigger, look. There's the seal tail. So, as I say, there's no project. Here we go. She studied embroidered textiles at Cumbria College of Art and Design, graduated in 1990. She looks familiar. I wonder if we've met her at the one, the, um, you know, the crafting fair or something. After graduation, she set up a business selling replica artworks and been working ever since. Doesn't say where. Doesn't say where she lives. Not that it's going to give her a dress, is it? Anyway, a lovely book. Lovely book at $17.99. Now, what we've got in this hour are like starter kits. So they're not, they're not a kit to actually make anything in particular in the book. It's for you to learn the art of doing applique art and textile making. Dawn's, Dawn's used a lot of uh, fabrics from her own stash because we didn't send these, but we have, the, we have, you've used our chiffon, haven't you, some of our chiffon? I've used some yeah. chiffon I don't mean chiffon, fabric. I mean... Organza. Organza, organza, yeah. And um, the main... But the main fabric is ours. But basically, you, it's a good way of using your stash because we all have little bits of fabric like that, the Liberty fabric or whatever, that we can't get rid of because it's that big, but you don't know what you're going to make out of it. So the bundles that I'm going to show you are like just to start you off. They're not to make... So you won't see anything made 
of the fat quarters. You'll see some of the fat quarters in Dawn's creations, but it's not like you buy this one to make that one. You buy that one to make that one. It's up to you. So let me show you, first of all. Spring applique, which is this one. Uh, do you know there's a new one? There's a new one in here that I've not seen before. No, I've seen autumn before, but I haven't seen that one over there before. So anyway, this one's spring. So you get the white, the red, the orange, the yellow. This is good for daffodils and gardens. You get your, now look, this is the piece of organza that you get here. You see, in my day, that was called twinkle chiffon, but I'm old now. And you get a metre of, now is this um, seeded cotton? Isn't it? She's gone, she's gone yes, but it's one of those yeses where she's gone, yes, John, and she hasn't... It is, seeded cotton, seeded cotton. So in this bundle, you get a metre of the seeded cotton, your fat quarter bundle, and you get your little strip of organza. This is white organza in this one, fourteen ninety nine. Okay. So that's your spring one. Then I'm going to go to this one I've never seen before, which has got purple and lilacs and pink. Oh, I haven't seen it. Have I, am I going... Oh, Hannah thinks I've seen it. We get a metre of your, your cream again. And this time you get your lavender lilac organza. You can't see it when I open it. I like that. You can't see it, can you? Have I seen it before? I don't recognise that one. I recognise the others, like the seaside and the autumn, but I don't recognise this one. Okay, right. Then I've got seaside. This one has the blue fat quarters. Plus your um, seeded cotton, plus your lovely soft blue organza. Fourteen ninety nine. Who was that? Kath's already got this book. She's got elsewhere, obviously, because it's our first day. She said uh, she hasn't even looked inside it yet. Anyway, that's that one. Oh, she loves watching me. Oh, thank you. Is that because you saw? I wonder if anyone else has written horrible things about me on that strand. <laughs> Oh, Hannah will later, but I'm used to that. That won't come as a shock. Anyway, listen, listen, listen. And then, and then, and then. Now, this is autumn. Now, of course, these colours, uh, I wouldn't say autumn, personally. I'd say concrete car park, maybe. I love it. I love the colours. Look, because there's that lovely sage green, the, the blues in there. But black, black organza in this one. That would make a very dark picture, wouldn't it, that one? Right, okay, now very quickly, I've also got, if you want to buy the bundle of the organzas, oh, you're going to have to be very quick, these are flown out on pre-order. Okay. Why, have they, why? Okay, first time we've ever done it, and they've, £1.49, saving over 20%, I think you're saving a lot more than 20%. Oh, please be careful on that, because that they're flying out. So you get the lilac, the pale blue, the black and the white. You'll see why the different colours, having the different colours. Well, actually, quickly show us the cushion. Quickly show us the cushion, uh, Jeremy. The one that's behind me. Right, look at the different coloured chiffons on there. Now, obviously not black and purple, but you know what I mean, the way you can overlay it, right? That's about to sell out. That's about to sell out. Right, I've got a couple of natural... Oh, actually, this is the... Um, these are the, the, the fabrics that Dawn's used for her, um, I keep wanting to say pin cushion, peg bag. It's because I haven't got a washing line, that's why. Um, right, so these are your naturals at 9 99 printed fat quarter naturals. Pack of, these have got like textures, that feels like a flax, that feels like a calico. They kind of feel like linen, oh that one feels like sailcloth, like a really heavy calico that one. And then that one's the, your linen -y, Texture, open weave, $9.99. And one other. This one's another naturals one. This has got gingham, spot, hearts and spot. $12.99 that one. Pack of four. Actually, Hannah, one, two, three, four. So, well, I know which one I'd buy. Wasn't this one nine ninety nine? So that's nine ninety nine. That's twelve ninety nine. Just saying. Just saying. Just saying. Right, Dawn. 
You love this book. I do love this book. I really, really do love this book. Why did you, what, what's it, what's it, what is it that made it so special to you? The first thing that I did with my sewing machine was I, pl I appliqued, and I did actually applique a camper van, but it was different to the one oh, that okay. I've done here, because my sister and I, we absolutely love camper vans. When did you start sewing? Um, I, th with my new machine nine years ago. Oh, okay. So then I had, I had a gap and I was using a sewing machine at a school I was working in, but my own machine. Um, and oh, it's free. time for a new one then, isn't it, really, Telsey? It is, yeah, isn't it? I, yeah, because yeah, I could hurt myself with the mm, old one, couldn't mm, I? Mm, yeah, mm. could be risky for... Yeah, yeah. all sorts. <laughs> um, right, so, now, so, so okay, so, yeah, but you love, you love camper vans? Yes, I love camper vans. So they lend themselves really well to um, free motion and applique because you can put all the different layers on top. Now, when you do do applique, you can do very organised, very straight-lined applique, or you can do this, which is so freeing. When I was when I was talking to Vix the last time when I did um, free motion, she said that she found it easier to do free motion because she wasn't an experienced sewer. Because to try and do these non-uniform lines is quite hard for some people. But this book is so good at just it's not making a mess, but it's making it's making something out of a well, mess. Well, it's anything goes. Also, it it's anything it really, goes. And really it's not is. right or wrong, is it? it? Really Whereas is. if you're doing uh, proper, uh, it's funny because at Wimbledon, one of the first things we did was a plique, but it was very much using bond web, doing straight lines, not creating a another piece of fabric or a piece of artwork using it, sort of thing. That's that's the thing. And when um, so the the one of the first things that I noticed was how would she had coordinate how could she get so many different fabrics that are all of the same tone and what she does is she dyes them i, mean, I know you right. just said about the the gloves <laughs> i thought I'd... so these aren't the same these aren't all the same color they're not even all the same tone right. but what she's done is she's dyed them all with a with a blue and they now all but and also need... different fabrics compositions, if it's cotton, it's going to take the dye much more than a polyester or more than a chiffon and things like that. It, they're going to take, you can put five different fabrics in a dye and they'll all they're come out blue, different. but all completely different. Yeah. So that's how she has been able to um, create some of the pictures because they just tone so perfectly. I mean, I obviously had different ones from my stash and I tried to get them to match, but the, the dyeing thing is, is something I really do want to try. Oh yeah, and it's very simple once you get the hang of it. But also, you don't have to do tonal if you don't want to. No, I mean, no, she's you can do tonal, random. Your, your sky and everything on your beach huts. Is, that is well, this is, this is the thing, and she goes through, I mean, I would read it from cover to cover. Before, I mean, I know we talk about coffee table books, but she give, I mean, I've been doing this for a long time, but she really does give you some amazing insight in how to do it her way yeah um which is very um it's just very unusual so what she does she starts off with so i started off with one of the um the fat quarters on both of them yeah. so the the um from the naturals yes um but she says start off with um a white piece of organza and then lay your different colors over the top so you then get your your beach so and she your, starts what does she start with organza? she starts with organza at the bottom right um and then she that which is so I have put interfacing on the back of some of my things because I'm just so used to doing it. But she doesn't because if the fabric moves, it gives it something in it, and it just yeah. I so just even be, that was alien for me. But she it really does. It's so effective. I think that if you're starting off, maybe you're better off doing what you've done and getting a stable fabric. Yes, as on the a back background, of some. because I wouldn't want. To Personally, I wouldn't want to start off with a piece of chiffon or organza to then layer on top of. I might, I guess I'd work to it because um, obviously as I got more experienced and I worked in ballet and things like that, you literally were basing things chiffon on chiffon on chiffon and all that sort of stuff. But to begin with, I'd want a nice state. It's like when I say about dressmaking, don't use a, 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 a stretchy, viscose something to start with because it, you, it'll put you off sewing forever. Yes. Sort of thing. So I would do what you've done and use a solid stable Behind fabric it. and then do your creating and then as you get more and more experience try doing it with the organza on the background yeah this is the first time i've enjoyed using organza because i've got um uh the oh, i knew i was gonna forget what it's called the, the the rolled hem foot yeah and i try i did a demo and and i used it and then i put it away because i just it's such a tricky thing to use but using it in this way it does give you so many different effects using organza for formal dressmaking or patterns 
can be a nightmare. Really and if you think about really all tricky. the um, chorus costumes and everything like that from shows, they've all got it's about panto at Christmas. They've all got organza overlays and to do that. But to, to create depth and colour, organza is one of the best things because as soon as you scrunch it up, yes, you get. through. Ten different colours just by the different layers of the Well, that's organza. what I did. I washed, so I, washed, I washed the fat quarters that I got and then I didn't iron them. So they've all got that texture in and then I screwed up. So what she tells you to do is to get hold of the organza and pull it and fray it. And, and you'll see, if you can go close up, um, I know we can't, maybe On the not. pillow, we've got to get pictures no, of the pillow. No, on the one, on oh. the camper van, I've actually frayed it so it looks like grass. I can like get grass. that, hang on. It looks like grass in front of the wheels. Oh yeah, there you go. Ooh fall off my chair but if you come on here I'll put it on the desk flat on the desk here so here just bring it into you've got your, your organza over the on top, the top of, and it actually has the strands yeah but that's the bit that she explains so there's a lot of hand sewing in this as well that you can do oh, okay um, so she tells you to I'll bring mine in so what she tells you to do is to take um, um, a sewing needle and to make your um, my bits are coming oh, off. Bits to off make, already. <laughs> to make your little bits um, all scrunched up and then use your machine afterwards and using right. your free motion foot. So here she is. She's stabilising um, the main things with glue, with fabric glue. Yeah. And then she's then sewing over the top with. So she puts a hoop on, and then she uses her free motion foot over the top, but. The reason I fell in love, and I did, I sent a message and said, so I uh, thank you so much for bringing, because I will go and get this book, because it's so, I can see so, it from Mars, many, from Mars. so many, I might put it with this one in my bag. Um, <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> but there's so many different gift ideas. So um, this one is shop fronts. So she half, splits half it into the sections. Gone. Half the chocolate I'm not gone. surprised. Yeah. So this is chocolate. So we mentioned earlier, I live in Lechlade, which is a chocolate, we call it a village, the people that live there, but it is a town, it's got lots it's too many people yeah. but we do too many have that's how you do it <laughs> too many people but you have there are lots of little traditional beautiful houses we've got a local we've got a um we've got a local pub we've got um a butcher we've got as i said my friend's shop and i want to take a picture of them all and i want to do all of the shop fronts yeah, yeah, yeah. like she's done here but you could do that as a gift so if there's a street we could do someone's you house. Know, exactly you could do somebody's yeah. house you could do the street that somebody lived on and you know you could then embroider i mean i'm just i have so many different ideas and then i um i actually embroider birthday cards oh okay. so all of these things June here the 19th. so you've got okay <laughs> <laughs> um so this is a tea set so but you could put that on a card to send to somebody oh yeah um, yeah, well, just, I like there's Lisa so card. many. You could do, well, I mean, I know you've got the cakes gone, you could do. Mm. There's and I, I, every page I turned, I could see something else. Now, my dad's got a garden shed, so it's really hard to sew something for men. So to make a bag or an apron for outside and putting the garden shed and putting the vegetables on, just honestly, there's so many. So that's so this one here. This is where I got the idea for um, my peg bags. Right. So this is just I didn't want to because I did a um, I did a video for YouTube. I didn't want to do it exactly as, the same as this because of copyright and obviously I hadn't been here. No, no, of course. So yeah. um, I just took the idea, but the way that she's made this dress and she's got the same on the front. I mean, that could be a child's greetings card. That could be for for a new mm. baby or new um, baby. It's not arrived yet. Not yet. Not yet. And then the other idea, so you know I work in a nursery yeah. with, with children. I can see a really large Dresden plate quilt yeah. with all of these animals individually around and for baby to lie on, all of these textures, as long as they are secure, yeah, yeah, yeah. would be amazing. Mm -hmm. So I've just, I've just, yeah, I, I absolutely love it. I really, really do. And as I said, the, as you've said, the patterns are in the back. So you trace your pieces that you want, and then you can then put that um, over your fabric, and then do like we used to do at school. You then push the pencil over the top, and that will go onto your fabric enough for you to then use it. Uh, say it again, say it again, say it again. So if you, if you draw around on here, yeah, and then you put it that way on something, and then draw and push, your, oh, and then it, it comes, okay. it's like, it's, it's the way we used to do tracing at school. But also, it doesn't matter 
how you cut no. it. As long as you've got the basic shape. Because some of them the are, she says how to do how, what size door, what size, but I didn't. I just kind of went with mm. what I was. And I used my scissors to cut the fabric at first and then I ripped. So I literally just did it. And some of them ripped, as you know, with the grain. Yeah. Some of them ripped easily yeah, and some, some of them didn't. Rip, yeah. But then you just go, go on and you just fray them yeah. anyway. Um, okay, before you, you go any further, I've got a few questions. Um, Maureen says, says you get four metres of organza, is it that right? You get four pieces, but they are a metre long. They are a metre long, but they're only that wide. So you are getting, it's sold out now, but you are getting four metres, but the organza's actually only that wide. So it is a little bit misleading, because you normally would look like that, wouldn't you? So it's one metre that way, and then how it, it looks like, how many inches that way, I'll just tell you quickly. But it has sold out now. Um, but we'll obviously get it in again. It's uh, six inches wide. Um, uh, Marion says, use phrased, frayed towels cut up to put, uh, hang on. Oh, yeah, you, she used, sorry, yeah, she used frayed towels cut up and you used that on hers when she made hers. Thank you, Dawn. It says, I've had this book for a while, says Samantha, hoping this will give me the kick to start making something from it, just drooling over Dawn's pictures. Another friend, a lady called Dawn, says, my friend Shaz lives in York and she has this beautiful book. I'm in Suffolk and we haven't been able to meet up for our usual crafting visits, but I hope to soon be planning some wonderful projects using this book and using things from Sewing Street as we've been stocking up. <gasps> right. So what are we going to make? What are we going to do? Because obviously it's a, like an inspirational it book, is. isn't it? It is. I mean, we've all got, um, even people that um, are new to sewing, you go out and you buy lots of different fabrics. It's usually the first thing that you do. So you have lots of little bits. Now I did I was going to bring, I've got um, big glass containers that you normally use in the kitchen and I use my thread catcher and I put everything in there. Before it goes in the bin, I go through it, I take all the little bits out. I mean, if you can see how small this piece is, um, yeah, yeah, you wouldn't, you know, that would yeah. normally, you would just throw that away. But it is full and then I've got about four or five and I just, because they're, they're glass, you can see all the different colours. And then you just take what those out and you, they're in my sewing room. Okay. As long as they're not in the, scattered around the house. <laughs> well, no, yeah, yeah, no, they're not allowed to be scattered no. around the house, John. Oh, rules, the <laughs> Steve gotta, rules. Got to be nice and tidy. Yeah. Um, yeah, I've left them alone, haven't I? I might end up with nothing in the sewing room. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, but never throw any bits away. I, I answer so many questions on, um, on Facebook where people say, I've kept all these pieces, what am I going to use them for? And all I do is I send a screenshot of some free motion that I've done because... You don't want to waste things, and this means that you can just use everything, use everything that you've got. But also, it, uh, there are some people who are terrified of free motion, mm -hmm. but you could do all of this using a just a normal straight stitch or hand stitching it. You, you, you don't Hand stitching, you, I yeah. mean, I imagine you, obviously you'd be using your um, your sewing mat over your uh, over the arm of your sofa. Of course, yeah. Of course. Um, but yes, you could take all of these pieces and you could hand sew them. Mm. And that's really therapeutic, isn't it? Yeah. So the organza that you've got, so you could layer. So if you cut your blue and then once you've layered one piece on top of the other, you do get these different, different lines. Different colours, yeah. And then you've got the white um, as well. Now, this is a rainbow piece that I had um, in my stash. But if you put the different coloured fabrics behind, so you've got the yellow there. If you put the yellow behind the white then that will give you a similar effect. I'm just going to open this. Um, so if you rip it as I did this one, it will then, and then you pop that behind. Yeah, well actually if you've got the yellow and the green, let's just do that. And then you put the chiffon, oh hang on, I need to white, I'll put the cream underneath it as well. So you're there, you've got three different colours, put the chiffon over it, you automatically get different colours. You then get tones. a different I yeah. mean, so now Yours I've, won't be as formal as this. Obviously, I can't chop these up. So I've popped that underneath now. But then what she encourages you to do is when you're sewing it, to pull it all up like this. And it does make a difference um, to how um, to the appearance of it. Yeah. So um, I did cut out a lot of my stuff um, beforehand. That's all right. And what I've done is I have um, used the um, fusible interfacing on the back. Um, now, this is from the... Nat Naturals, I think. They're both called think. naturals, both these. Uh, which one no, you? one's brown and one's naturals, I think. Oh, oh. Okay. So it's because I had to keep looking them up to remember which pile, because I washed them all and then I couldn't remember which pile they were from. So the checked one. Yeah, that was the, that was the 12 dollars bundle. Has got the gingham, 
uh, and the spot and the hearts and the spot in it, twelve ninety nine. So that's the one that I've used for the browns yep. um, on mine. And then, as I said, I've just used lots of different different colours. Now, we, as you just said, some people are scared of um, free motion, and you really don't need to be. I'll just show you the um, the cushion bit first, and then we'll go to the free motion oh, bit. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's okay. fine. Do whatever you want, yeah. So this is my, um, I haven't, I think it's, I made it 19 to go around a 21 inch cushion. Right. So, but I haven't um, done anything to the edges because literally my, my, my huge cushion sits in the middle and I went like this and I went like that and there's your envelope. You don't have to hem it, you don't have to do anything because you've got this edge, this perfect edge. Oh uh, yeah. And then all I did, I mean I would normally, um, as I did on my very first demo, um, I would do French seams. Yeah. Um, so I would sew down and down and then turn it right but, side. So but, again. but if you're doing textile art, you could, there's nothing to stop you just sewing down and those just leaving and having it the like raw that. edges on the outside. Yes. And then this, I mean, obviously I sewed it over the top before, yeah. um, before I did sew down the edges. So that's what I did. So, I mean, and this is lovely. This is going to feel lovely on your sofa. I know this is textured, but this is going to well, feel wouldn't lovely. Wouldn't anyone sit on it when I've done all that work? <laughs> we turn it round. <laughs> <laughs> They think I'm mad enough as it is. If people, I'm like, no, I've not had anyone in my house for a year. But um, you know what I mean? If you're going, don't sit there, turn it around. Don't sit there, turn it around. <laughs> right, okay. So? So I'm going to change. Um, I, was, I did change it um, in, the, in the green room, but I thought, no, I'm going to do it um, to show people how easy it is to put your free motion foot on. Okay. Now, some people, some machines, you do get your free motion foot with. Yeah. And some, you have to order them. Now, I would recommend highly recommend that you use the one that for your machine because I broke mine my end um, say that off. again you would recommend one? use the one for your machine don't get one of the generic ones yes so use the right now, one do for some your people machine. call this a darning foot as well yes. I think they do don't they yeah which I have um, actually darned with it um, right with and you can do you know you can darn with your buttonhole foot with my what buttonhole foot can you yeah that's if I, you have a look through if your... I get to the stage of darning it goes in the bin <laughs> I'm afraid Okay, that's okay. But you can buy um, generic um, feet. And I, I broke mine and, and I had a generic one that just was for anyone. And it was so clunky and so horrible that I Gorilla glued, others are available, the end back yeah. on and then bought myself a new one because I couldn't use. So use the one for your machine. Yeah. Now we did this last time. All you do is use your screwdriver. Okay. This is the bit that, that um, a lot of the people are scared of. Put it away because you will lose it. Yeah. And then you've got this bit here. Yeah, perfect. That is where the screw goes in. Oh, I can't do it so you can no, see. No, that's fine. The screw goes into there. Yeah. You've got this bar here. Uh -huh. Goes on top of where you um, loosen and put in your sewing needles. Right. So... All you need to do is put the screw back in. Now, you know this is going to be hard because it's live TV, obviously. Sue's just received a mug. She said, I'd forgotten all about it. And it's just arrived. Oh. That was it. That's, that's all it is. It's not oh. scary at all. That's okay. all it is. And you've just got a normal needle in there. I've got a quilting needle in there, right. um, or you can get the purple tip ones, aren't you? But, but ones that aren't for skip for that stop you from skipping fabrics is yeah. what they usually have. Um, okay. Now, what you do is you put your needle down, yeah. your needle back up, and your top thread will now be underneath, and you have to just pull it out so you've Brilliant. got both of them out, and now you are you are set. But back in the day when I learned how to sew, that's what you had to do. Every time. Every time. It was that, you went down, you got the thread up and you had them both up. I mean, I know machines have changed, but... But some, because some feet don't have the... So you have to do that with your buttonhole foot as well, because you, you don't have a gap. So some of them have gaps and some of them yeah. some of them don't. So the way... That, now, I've, I've chosen um, a lighter thread. Um, we did have the, the Guterman ones. That's the ones that I used, because it, it's so nice to be using a darker pink on the pink here mm -hmm. or a blue on the blue. Now I didn't, you'll be watching me change my thread all the time, so I'm just using um, a plain one. But 
If but some use... people, like, like Helen Newton, she just uses black or yes. dark brown or grey or something. Which is what I've done in the past. That's what I've I've been taught to do. But this really has opened my eyes into such a different... The effects that you can get by changing the colours of your thread and loosening... So I was told you should have it on a, on a, on a number two um, and then it just creates the right. But if you change it and you get some of the threads up and you do what you would think would be wrong... Sewing, yeah, 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 yeah. Actually makes a really nice effect. Um, would you leave your bobbin as the same thread the whole time? Because there's nothing worse than changing your bobbin as well. Um, as I would stick to a grey or a cream, I think. On the bottom. But if you want to change it, if you if this is it isn't about a quick sew. If this is the effect you want to make, have a dark green at the bottom and a light yellow at the top, and then change your um, tension so that you have the bottom thread coming up and it will give you a different effect yeah, on the grass. Yeah, because we're not sewing like a, a frock or a quilt that no. has to stay. And it will help you not be scared of the tension. Yeah. Ooh. Because I know. <laughs> um, I've got I've got a quick message first of all about this project, about this book. Free motion is so easy and you never make mistakes. Lovely to let your mind wander back to childhood. Sue Lily from East Riding. Well done, Sue. Yes, definitely. There are no rules. Even though she's done it a certain way, there are no rules. No, exactly. So exactly. the way that I'm going to um, adhere the organza is I'm going to put um, seagulls in the sky. Right. So okay. rather than going all the way across, they're just going to be attached in different bits. Now, obviously, this isn't going to be for children, so, it, you know, it, yeah. if, but it isn't going to come off. Ah, uh, uh, have you got the feed dogs down or up? Thank you, John. That's right. So feed dogs down. Yeah, feed dogs down. Um, I think it was Sue, actually. Um, she messaged me late one night and she said, Dawn, you asked... Late? After you'd gone to bed? Well, I was in bed and she said, Dawn, did you remember to put your feed dogs back up? Because I'd done a live oh. and I said, at the end of this, remind me, because otherwise I'll start sewing tomorrow. And I then I said, no, I didn't. So I then had to go and... So, yes, thank you, Sue. But you need to remember to put them back up. So... Now, Hannah says, can people in the future ring a message her late at night saying, have you locked the back door? <laughs> we have a Staffordshire Bull Terrier. We don't need to lock our back door. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, but for a burglar to get into Hannah, she'd have to climb over the shop wall, climb over Hannah's wall, get through her bathroom, and then there's nothing worth stealing apart from the futon upstairs. Are you all right? So I'm just changing, so because I use my start stop button, most people will be using their foot now and you then have to control. So what happens, you put your feed dogs down and your th your fabric is no longer going to be fed through. Right. You can go backwards and forwards. But because I don't use that method, I just have to, I go on a zero, zero for my length and my width or I do a one depending on, on what shape. I want to do. And then um, I move my dial down to the tortoise at the beginning. Most right. people have got tortoise and hair, mm -hmm. haven't they? And then move it up, seeing how fast I want to go. So I just start my sewing. It's going to say no now. So, oh, so you're not using the foot, you're using the start-stop no, button? No, I use the start-stop button. Okay. And now I've done one seagull. I'll do a couple of seagulls and then... Right, so if you're doing it for the first time, seagulls aren't the, f the things to do first. You just do kind of straight lines <laughs> do your straight and lines. wobbly lines and things. To but if with. I don't adhere the, um, this organza, it's going to move around yeah, as yeah, we of course, are. Yeah. So I'm just going to put three seagulls in and then it will. But she does show you how to do the seagulls and you can do the seagulls by hand if you wanted to. I mean, obviously they wouldn't be appropriate for every picture. Well, no. So, at the moment, they'd have to be jackdaws where I live. It seems yes. I seem to have like a huge colony of jackdaws. They are very noisy, aren't they? Yeah, and greedy. Are they and the ones that the walk birds. like um, old men? Do they what? Are they the ones that walk like old men? Yeah, but they walk very. They also look incredible. First time I saw them because the feathers on their face are almost not back to front, but they're all kind of going in different directions. So they've got this incredible facial feature. It's amazing. Oh, okay. So I've just put a few, um, and I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see them because, as I said, I used a very light... Where are um, they? Can we come down a little bit? There we go. No. Is that as far as it'll go? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. And I can see what's happening. You can't at home. There you, there you go. go. 
So there are my seagulls. So if you did those in a grey... So they're not like black. anatomically correct seagulls. No, they're how I used to draw seagulls <laughs> when I was little. And I just loved the fact that... So I would... I couldn't I couldn't draw when I was younger. I didn't think I could. Yeah. And I would literally do that and that would be my bird Oh, no, sky. no, no. I think it's lovely because I was thinking, when you get said, I'm just going to do draw a seagull. seagull I'm, like, I'm thinking, oh, oh don't start do with a seagull. <laughs> so I'm going to add this blue. Now, this is the first bit of um, texture that I'm going to put in. Right. So I'm going to start. Now, as you said, John, you can, you don't have to do free motion with this, but no, please, you could do this bit with your try foot. No, yeah. Oh, yeah, have a go at it. But if you really, really hate it, you could just use your normal stitching to do this. So bit. you can see it is longer than yeah. um, um, it needs to be yeah. because as I'm going through, I'm just scrunching it up and then sewing. So I'm just doing a wavy, I've just realised I haven't put my um, free motion gloves on. Oh, that's cute. Ooh, there's a special um, thing for free motion gloves. Are they like quilting the, gloves? Is that what they're called? The yeah. white, yes. Yeah. So I have got them with me, but um, I forgot to put them out. Now also, if you've got the little stiletto or something like that, you could feed these ruckles under the needle true. as you're going along. Because there is no way of, um, of hurting yourself. I mean, they don't think they oh, actually oh. protect you, but... What, the quilting gloves? Yes. They're not chainmail, are they? No. No. But you can get chainmail ones. Yeah, I, 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 I've seen them. But you're just going to be building up all of the layers. Um, yeah, and now because you're doing free motion and the feed dogs are down, you've got to remember that you the machine isn't just going to take the fabric. You no, have to you feed have to feed it and do it yourself. But I mean, I could if I thought, oh no, I'm going to go backwards. Yeah. And now I'm going to go forwards. So now, when I did mine, I did this with a grain. So obviously, I am doing this with a. Yeah. And then just leave it for a little bit to do a lots of stitches, and that sort of gives you a knot. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to snip that off. So there is my blue, all attached. And you could do lots of different layers of that of the different colours blue. You have got the seaside. Um, well, it's really there. funny because whenever we do a blue bundle of fabric, Hannah always says, oh, I'd have put a white with this to do the, the, the um, froth on the top of the wave. So yes. if you did a seaside and you had all different coloured blues and then put like a cream or a white one on the top. Oh, yeah, those. Yes. So Hannah would do all of those as her, as her but waves. But it, like, it does look like the sea, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was called seaside, this one. Yes. Thing. But <laughs> quite... Um, but if you put the blue organza on it, some of the, the bit that you didn't have um, over the blue would oh yeah would look white, like the front. There it? you go, Hannah. Oh, and you could use the ribbon. She said she I did. I washed all the ribbon, ready to use it, but I didn't actually use it on this one. I mean, you could use the ribbon on the um, the peg bags. Yeah. So basically, get rid of bag. get rid of nothing. Basically. I did. I just I took it all out and then I washed it all and then I had to, as I said, keep remembering which was the naturals and which was the um, yeah, don't worry. which was the brown. So she does say to use um, toy wadding as well to give lots of different texture. Right. So I'm just going to take some of these off. So as you can see, this is now my yellow. Yeah. And then I've gone down to an orange and a pink. And I've taken more of the other um, fat quarters. And as I said, I washed them all and then I didn't iron them. And I just left them so that I can now just scrunch these up and... Um, as I said, you can do this um, with a normal foot, but you can also do this with a hand um, hand stitching as well. Yeah. You haven't got to. So this so is where my gloves would be building, useful. You're just building up. So you're now doing the background, but then you'll put layer upon layer upon layer and, and, and kind of build and build and build. It's the way that you would... If you imagine if you were painting something and you needed something to dry before you put the next layer on, that is how you do it. So with the camper van, the windows are last. So you do the whole camper van in one shape, yeah. one colour, and then you add the white on for the that paint, and then you add the windows. So it is, just imagine that you need that bit to dry, and then the next layer, and the next layer, and the next layer. But as, Good analogy. Though. As somebody said that, I think there was Delphine's, mm. I think I stole oh, that. Delphine stole that as well, so you stole it from Wendy, <laughs> stole it from Delphine. This will all have to stop now, you're back at work. <laughs> Yes, the um, the animals in here, I'm going to make a song bag. So one of the songs that I really love um, at the nursery where I work is they absolutely love um, Old MacDonald. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to make a song bag. There is, there's, there's pig, sheep, goat, um, geese, hen, dog, 
and then there's that seal. So I was going to do them in sections on the bag and then put actual animals behind and then, so again, more and more gifts. Yeah, 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 yeah. If I'd had time, I would have just, well, I will keep going. Um, but, oh, needle down, no, nope, foot down. So all I'm doing is just creating texture, going slow enough and pushing these all down. But some other parts, she does this with, um, Fred's caught at the back. She um, she does this with hand sewing. So you can imagine sitting at the sofa in the evening, getting all your background done. If you would, if you look at the um, the garden pictures of trying to make the bushes and trying to make the leaves and the carrots and things, yeah, um, you could do that all by hand sewing. But there's just you can see there's just no order to it. Yeah. So I want to show you how to do the, um, let's take that off, show you how to do. So you've got an idea there. I mean, I spent a lot longer doing the other one. Yeah, yeah. Um, so this, I will do one of the, so I layered all these up and then all I'm going to do is sew around the outsides and putting the details on. So I'm going to put the hinges of the door yeah. and put the door, um, the door handle on and then I'll put the flag post at the top. So now you put those on to create, you don't create the whole little house. Like I would, be, my brain would go, oh, I'll make the house and do the, the doorknob and do the hinges and do everything on the house before I attached it to the But then you've thing. got to then sew over again yes, to yes, attach yeah. it. Yeah. Um, but you could do that to make sure no, that you've I got it everywhere formal, you wanted. That's my formal this is, training this is coming what in Vic's thing. You make this. It's, People, I mean, I find this so, because because I am messy, I find this free motion is just perfect for me because it's not quilting in perfect little yeah. lines. It's just, let's just play and see what we end up with, which is quite often what happens in my uh, in my sewing room. And then luckily, amazing things do come out of it, um, so I say. Yeah. Um, but <laughs> it is just me just playing around with the sewing machine a lot of the time and yeah. seeing what I can, seeing what I can make. So I'm just giving you an idea now. There is one hinge. But she has about four, I think, um, beach scenes. Right. So I've just picked little bits from each of them and I didn't do the dog. Well, uh, because, because in the book there are no specific, she doesn't go, these are the project pages. It, she just gives you loads and loads of different, different ideas. Different ideas. Some templates, some, like you say, the camper van template isn't even in there, is no, it? No, and all I did, I did bring it. All I did was I traced it. Oh, Other way, yeah. Is I just traced it, but as you can see, so I did the whole shape of the outside. Yeah. And then this is then the white bit, which is the next layer. Yeah. And then this is the next layer that you put on, and then you put on your windows. So as I said, that bit first, then this bit, then this bit. Yeah. And it just builds up, you know, a lovely, lovely picture. I've got a shirt with camper vans on it. I'll have oh, to wear I it love, next time I you're love in. camper vans. Absolutely love. I've had th between my sister and myself, we've had three oh, over um, over our time. Yeah. When I did um, Ghost in the Darkness in South Africa, I'd want to drive my late. I'd drive around all the townships, collect all my ladies who were making my costumes. I wasn't allowed to take anybody from England, so I had to employ all the people from the townships wow. who'd come in, and it was amazing because they live in like. Um, houses with no electricity and all that thing and they came in and we were like making costumes and they'd never seen a twin tub washing machine before we were dying for that and then we just it was just the most amazing 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 thing but I used to, I've got pictures of them all in the back because we didn't have the seats in they just sat, all sat around the edge and we just I used to drive them all home and when two of them were pregnant we drive them to the hospital and all that sort of stuff. Now I had a wall in my um, scrap box from when I did a I did a Humpty Dumpty story bag. Yeah. Um, and I just thought it fitted perfectly. So this is this is a pattern that she did. Um, so this is um, the umbrella handle. Yeah, yeah. So you sew that bit on first, and then I attached. So this I pinched. This is also in the book. So you pinch this bit up with some hand sewing. Yeah. And then I attached the rick rack here. And then I've put the sponge on the back, the um, wadding on the back, and then that then will go on the front. Yep. So little bits like little buttons. I mean, I'm going to add some buttons to the ones that I make because I've got everybody, I think, has a grandma's button box. Yeah. So take out some buttons that are years and years and years old 
And put those onto your I've cushions. got rickrack here. And I forgot to put the rickrack through. It's baby rickrack we've got. Which one do you want first? Oh. <laughs> she, she, I, I pick one up and go, which one do you want first, Hannah? She always picks the one I haven't picked up. Right, so I've got cream rickrack. I presume you get a meter, do you, in here? Yeah. Pre-cut, not pre-cooked. Pre-cut, uh, cream rickrack. It's small rickrack, it's baby rickrack. 99p a metre. And I've got red rickrack. Wine, it is about to sell out. You've all been buying it on the internet anyway. 99p. Pam Mini Harney says, I think this would be a brilliant project to do with the grandchildren. I'd let them use the fabric gun to position bits and let them have a go with the free motion. Ah, Yes. That's nice. There is um, a video on YouTube, um, somebody added it to one of the um, Dawn's Telemade Facebook pages, of a seven-year-old boy doing absolutely amazing things with free motion. Blimey. I'll have to add it to the Sewing Street page. I don't know if I can, because it depends where it's sourced from, but honestly, just amazing. Yeah. So anyone can, anyone can do it. So there I've just attached my... Um, handle. Parasol stick. Thank you, John. I don't know what you'd call it. Parasol. I don't know. I was thinking stick, but is it? No, it's a parasol. Is it a stand? Umbrella. I need something to shorten mine. It's too long, mine. Ours nearly blew away in the wind. Oh, um, I, I in the garage now. It's all stashed away in the garage, but all the neighbours have all got their, their summer furniture out. John, I meant to say to you, we bought, because um, I know um, we have to be six outside, we bought a massive, and I mean it's huge, um, fire pit for our garden so it's on a stand and whichever way around our family meet there are sort of three and three yeah so we were able to socially distance around this huge fire pit and not get cold and I did think of you with your neighbours and being able to sit outside yeah you need to I, I've get always a wanted pit. a fire pit honestly it's be it uses um, a story for another time we get um, some wood from a very strange farm um another village over oh i'll just um, get jeffrey next door to chop a tree down well they just it just burns so well and oh. we were so warm and then we cooked on it as well oh yeah the only thing i think of is i've been to cherry you know cherry my friend cherry that i talk about we went to a party at her house once and everywhere i went there were fire pits we were all out in the garden and everywhere i went the, the fire the smoke followed me around oh. but also because i live so far out into the country we don't have gas so I've got, underneath my lawn, I've got a gas tank that I have to have filled every couple of months, I think. And I'm a bit terrified about having oh. a fire pit on my patio, even though even though people have barbecues and everything like that. But I just think it'll be me. It'll be me that has some ember that rolls over. and so, I'm, It's buried in the ground. It can't get to it. But it's kind of, I have this thing, because I really love the idea of having an outside fireplace with a fire in it. But um, anyway. I think you need to check, but it does depend on what wood you get and how old your wood hit, wood is, how aged it is as to how much smoke you get. Because you know you can buy the big bundles from the garages. Um, they smoke really, really bad, but, and it depends on how. So you need to buy a good quality wood. Yeah. A certain Google it, and yeah. um, other search engines are can available. Can I not put smokeless fuel in? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, it looks like Dawn has got some lace stuck to the foot of the machine. Have you? Pam Mini Harney, what are you trying to do? Have you? No. Have I? No. no. Uh, my bobbin has um, did run out, so I couldn't finish oh, okay. um, that bit. So I've just pinned that in. But you can see the effect. I mean, you've now got um, sort of a 3D effect yeah. on there. You could put that in the football. I imagine it's very relaxing. It was. It, well, as I said, I was doing that one last night, listening to you and Clive chatting, and, and I was I was just away, and I was just building up and building up. Was I not shouting? Was I not shouting? Oh, no. Oh, no. What's the matter, Hannah? Oh, hang on. I've got, is it going on the bottom? Oh. Oh, OK. Marie, did you say? Spell it. Maria. Move the book in shot or out of shot, John Scott, she said. It's in shot now. <laughs> uh, can you just talk me through the um, the peg bags? So I mean, we've got we've literally got there minutes, is I, there is a so with Dawn Taylor Made there is a video and I and, and on the Dawn's Dawn's Taylor Made.
Facebook page is the small one and somebody said they wanted a big one. So on the YouTube channel, there is the big one. Oh, so that's nothing to do with it's here. It's not to do, it's but just you the use pattern. The, the, but I use that the washing on the lining front. and fabric yes. and things. There. And I use those. Um, they, they are such a lovely, um, the, the way that you, that you feel them is so nice. Um, the texture of them is so lovely, those fabrics. Because they're, not, I mean, you did describe what they were, but they're all different natural. Oh, yeah, they're ones. all different they're weights so and lovely. everything. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And if you're using your peg bag every day, as you will in the summer, you don't want something that doesn't feel very nice, and they feel lovely. I use my peg bag every day, but it's at the bottom of the stairs, and I put, because now I've moved my office upstairs, put all my receipts and bits of paper that need to go up to the office <laughs> in the peg bag that Crazy Lorraine made me out of Tula Pink Is fabric. that your con... I can't say it. What? It's a special word, isn't it? Conical. Conical, it yes. Conical, yeah. It's lovely. Right, okay. Uh, when are you in next? Thank you. When are you in next? Um, I think the 6th of May, but I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, we don't, we don't know who's, what, who's on what day come May. We've only got <laughs> April so far. Anyway, thank you very much. Thank Let me just you. do a recap then. Um, I'm not announcing the winner at 12 o'clock because it's already been announced, but I will do in a minute. We will show it again, don't worry. Applique Art, lovely, lovely book. So many of these have gone. Jeremy? Way over half the stock has gone. Oh, it's Pam Minihan. He says, sorry, it's my bad eyesight. Oh, don't worry, Pam. We're only messing with you. Right. Uh... Oh, Nanny Val says we need seasoned wood. Seasoned wood, thank you. Nanny seasoned Val. wood. My mother-in-law, she's the owner. Oh, of... <laughs> I was going to say. Do you remember Betsy, my pinking shears? Yeah. That's the owner of Betsy. Oh. Steve's mum. Steve's mum, yeah. Right. Uh, what, Steve, you've got to work. Nanny Val, work on Steve to buy one of those sewing machines for Dawn. Sorted. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> right, okay, we've done this. More than half the stock has gone, 1799. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful book. Brand new today. I know it's obviously been for sale elsewhere because some of you messaging saying you've already got the book and want to start projects from it and how much you love it and everything. I want to, in her next book, I wanted to do Frisian cows. Is there a cow in here? There isn't, but I'm going to do one. Oh, are you? Right, well, maybe that's what could be your next project okay. then. Beautiful. Right, okay, got to move on. Uh, now, what sh where should I go? What should I do? What? Who? The bundle of all the organs, let's just well, so put it away. Bundle of all the organs are sold. Natural fat quarter bundles. So I've got brown one. This is twelve ninety nine. So you get four in here. You get the um, spot, you get the heart, you get the brown spot, and you get the brown gingham. Twelve ninety nine. Pack of four. Those, those four are very, they're similar in weight and in tactileness, tactility, is that such a word? Tactility, I've just made up a word. This one here, this is the one, oh sorry, this is the one that has more in and more different, like heavier, hessian -y one, and it's more affordable, 9 99 And you get more different kinds of, you get the print fabric and you get the advert fabric and things, 9 99 in there. Most popular the beginner bundles. I'm not going to go through them all. They're all underneath me on the website. Seaside. So you get a metre of your seeded cotton. You get your seaside bundle of fat quarters. And you get... Now, this is a metre of organza, right? But it's only that wide. That's the width of the fabric. That's only six inches wide. Tiny little rolls, it comes off. Can you imagine that in the warehouse next to all the big rolls of fabric? Anyway, so this is the only way you can get the, the, the organza now in the bundles. Oh, well, we're doing two, no, another one. Blush is the next one. Level pegging. So they're not even in first and second place. Level pegging. So you get your metre of your seeded cotton. That's a lovely um, fat quarter bundle. And you get your lavender lilac -y, uh, organza in there, $14.99. We are going for a break, Jeremy. Uh, what am I doing next? Oh, pre-cuts. Oh, oh, and I've got some Adaku fabric as well. Now, some of it's already sold out because we put it on this morning on pre-order and some of it's already gone. Um, the Adaku fabric comes in bundles of fat quarters and bundles of half yards. That's just one of the things. We've got other things in the air as well. So uh, don't go anywhere. We'll see, thank you, by the way. Thank you. Uh, we'll see you in three minutes from... If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions, then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page. In need.
need of a crafting fix. There are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12pm to 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. So you'll never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Well our family run customer service team are on call 24-7. They're full of friendly warm hearted individuals all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. And not only will they take your order, they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey so you never miss out. Hello, I'm Kerry from Living in Loveliness and I'm delighted to be part of the Sewing Street team. I'm based in Wolverhampton and I absolutely love working with fabulous fabrics. In particular, I love working with fat quarters and showing you how to get the most from your scraps. I love bringing communities of sewists together and encouraging people to sew for greater causes. Most recently, we have been sewing for our NHS and key workers. Um, I look forward to bringing you hints, tips and techniques. I'll see you soon. So I've just pressed my sanitizer. Something's wrong. I think in my hand it's gone all over my shirt. It's gone all over my jeans. It's gone everywhere. Well, I don't know where it's come from, but it's, I think they, they all, they're all of a much of a much, the one Hannah uses does the same thing. You press on the thing and it goes like that all over the place. The one in the dressing room went up the wall last week. Anyway, um, right, the winner, uh, do you not know who the winner is? <laughs> the big announcement, the big 12 o'clock announcement. Woo! Mandy Wilson, Mandy Wilson, Mandy, oh, I'm shouting, I'm shouting, shush. Look, Mandy Wilson. What? You've won all this, Mandy Wilson. Now, I know it's supposed to be a surprise at 12 o'clock. We're supposed to announce it at 12 o'clock, but someone put it on Facebook and Instagram at about half past nine. 
So I do apologise about that. Um, isn't it amazing? All of that's going to be going to Mandy Wilson. What are you going to do with it all? It made the most incredible quilt. It's just, fa there's 50 metres of fabric in there. There's a hundred different fabrics there. I know, what a brilliant present. A present prize. Right, okay, a darker, oh, I love a darker. Dovetail fabrics, African wax cotton. Um, she was in with Wendy on, at the, I don't know what day it was. Thursday, Friday, Thursday. What, was it Thursday or Friday? Anyway, doesn't matter. First of, it was what day? Thursday, 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 Thursday. Um, African wax cotton. Now, uh, uh, Adaka was explaining that to be, at the beginning, oh, I'm going to say this. Uh, traditionally, different areas of Africa wear different kinds of fabric. And she had all the names of the different fabrics. I can't remember them all, everything. That wax cotton, or the oiled African wax cotton, was the, the first time that fabric was worn by all the ladies and all the people all over West Africa. So it didn't, it wasn't tribal and it wasn't um, colloquially. I saw what I'm trying to say. It wasn't from areas. It was something that, but this all comes from um, Holland. Uh, apparently Holland have got a tradition of making African wax cottons. Now, when it says wax cottons, don't be thinking, oh, it's going to be like one of those coats that you dry as a bone coats that you wear in the winter. Uh, it, it's got a dressing to it, but you can wash it and the dressing will go. And the thing about them is the fabrics are glorious. Now, what the most important thing I need to tell you, are we doing half meters, half, half yards? Are we doing, okay, what I need to tell you, right, I'll do, I'll do the first one and I'll explain about it. The code on this one ends 81, F-N-A-D 81. I'm going to open this one, but I'll have to explain something to you when I, once I've opened it. Okay, what have we called it? Right, it's just called Half Yard Pack of Six Yellow, right? It's random. You might get the fact, I've already bought, oh, hang on. Okay, no, I've already bought, in the past, before a doctor came to Sanctuary, I bought one of these, the, the, the yellow one of these, and the fabrics that arrived weren't the ones that she had on the website. And I messaged her going, oh, I haven't got the right fabric. She'd know they're random. They'll all be of the same tone. They'll all be in the same kind of fabric. You might even get ones that look exactly like this. In fact, one of you will get this one eventually. Because obviously this one's been in the studio, so it has to wait before it can be sent out. But anyway, so the, the, look, you could get, look, that now remember they're half yards. Yeah, yeah, you're not getting an A4 piece of paper. I'll open this one. I'll open this one. So you're getting a half yard because that's what a dark who uh, from Dovetail works in. She's, I, I love, I, oh, I should have done the book first. Never mind, never mind. We've done the construct for you. Um, so you're getting half, a, there you go, half a yard. They're just beautiful, aren't they? So this is yellows. And how many do you get? Is it six, is it? Six half yards you get in there. So obviously, uh, in the book, there's all projects. These aren't going to be enough to make clothes out of because they're all half yards but you could create some beautiful beautiful because Adaku started off by doing she's a barrister you know and she started off by doing hair scrunchies and things like that and then she went uh, she had a maternity leave and she used to go to the show selling her scrunchies and her little projects her little zip bags and then someone said to her Oh, yeah, sell the fabric, do you? Because I love the bag you've made, but I want to make it in a different fabric. So she started supplying fabric. And she's just gone a bit... Anyway, she never went back to being a barrister. This is it now. This is her livelihood. This is her work. This is her passion and everything. I know it's fantastic, isn't it? So anyway, that's your yellow half yards. The whole... Now, if you don't like African cotton, wax cotton, the whole show isn't African wax cotton. I've got loads of other pre cut The selection, I'm just doing this first. Because I... Adaka was meant to be on with me on a Saturday before, and then something happened and she couldn't be in, so she then had to come in the following Thursday. So now the next one is, I'm presuming, is red. Let me do the code for Hannah. 91. Oh, it's dead, 91. Oh, Hannah was born in 1991, so she would have been birthed 1991. Anyway, look, again, you get a selection of six half yards of different red fabrics. They're nice, aren't they? Beautiful. Look, some more traditional than others, some very modern. Oh, hang on, let's, let's just look at that one there. That's nice, like traffic lights, isn't it? Anyway, 29.99, six half yards. So you're getting three, hang on, six half yards. Yeah, so you're getting th 
three yards. Yeah, got it, got it, got it, got it. Okay, then we've got this one, which now, oh, let me do the code for this one. Uh, 32, NFAD 32. One, two, three, four, five. Six of those again. What colour are these? Browns, these are called. But, you know, they're far from dirgy browns, are they? Lovely, beautiful browns. Six half yards. Anyway, that's the brown one. And then last but not least, this one is 94. And I don't, oh, this must just be assorted, is it? So this is assorted. If you, this is like, because obviously you've got a yellowy green, in this bundle, you've got a yellowy green one, you've got a brown one, you've got a red one, you've got a black bright orange one there, you've got a lovely stripey one, and you've got a turquoise one. So if you just want a real mishmash of colours, could be any colours, but it will be an assortment, um, then this is the one for you. Oh, no, uh, somebody's asked if they could buy the, the prize. No, I'm afraid you can't. That was uh, 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 supplied from the supply. It was Stoffer. I think it's Stoffer Fabrics, isn't it? Or Stoffer Fabrics, that one. Uh, so it's not, it's not available. We do sell some of the fabrics in there, but not all hundred of them. Okay, now I've got fat quarters. Now, obviously, the fat quarters will be slightly... Um, sh I'll show you one because it's a yard rather than a metre. Okay, the yellow one <coughs> has sold out. That one sold out. <coughs> How funny, that's the one I bought. But I bought it before she came here. Um, right, so which colour would you like to go first? Okay, so this one is brown, ending 92. Yeah, yeah. I'll show you the size. I'll show you the size in a second. So they're the brown ones. So how many, what have you got here? So 14 99 you get six fat quarters. 14 99 Again, they're not going to be, might not be these, but they will be the brown tones. Okay. Then I've got the red, which ends 79 Oh, now there's only two of these left. There's only two of the red ones left. Oh no, Angela just got a second mug. You're welcome round to mine, John, any time to collect it, and in Leeds. Oh, now, Angela, go to York to do um, pavers up past, our past Leeds. What ha well, hang on, Jackie's just gone, that happened to be in Morrison's today. <laughs> what happened in Morrison's? Jackie. Okay, now this is a sorted. This one ends um, 37. I love the completely random. You don't know what you're going to get. Right, look, let me show you what the fat quarter looks like. Now, it'll be wide because the fabric starts off as wide. Look. Oh, there you go. That's your fat quarter. That's your fat quarter there. I think you could patchwork with them, but I think you'd want to wash them first to get rid of the dressing. If, unless you're going to patchwork all, all the same fabric, but if you're going to mix it with our quilting fabrics. Oh, they look beautiful. Well, that, imagine you can make cushions out of this. Oh, actually, what I would do is I'd make that the front of the cushion and use some stash normal, you know, that some of our, um, it's not late Lyle and Tate, that's sugar, isn't it? Oh, the sanitizer squirted all over our jumper. You can definitely quilt with them. You could definitely quilt with them as well, Princess, yeah. But what I would do is I'd make my cushion fronts out of that and then have some of our Rose and Hubble as the backing and then quilt this, put some H640 on here and then quilt, echo quilt the butterflies. Oh, Beverly. Beverly said, it's so lovely that all the mugs are arriving, but I've just got a second one as well. And she, she said, please don't send any more. I've only got a certain amount of space in my mug cupboard. My mug, I, I can't tell you, right? I live on my own, right? And I very seldom drink coffee or tea. My mug cupboard is cascading over now. No, I don't watch the Stacey Solomon show.
Yeah. So we should say that to Joe Swash. Oh, she goes into... You see, she's made such a big thing of that and it started off as like a bit of a joke on Instagram, didn't it, about um, painting a carpet black because it was dirty or, you know, kind of recovering a sofa with an old duvet set. Whole new programme's got it on it now. And a book. There's a book as well. There's a book as well. Mrs H. Uh, oh, no, Mrs H's bags. Mrs Hinch is cleaning. Isn't she? Sorry, that's my bad. Right, let's do this book. Now, this has... I, lo I love this, right? I love the book. This is a Darko, if you've not met her before. They are irons. They're irons. Hannah's just gone, oh, they look like there's irons on her dress. And Jeremy thought it was flamingos. Well, just message her and I'm sure you could buy some. Right, so you've got patterns at the front, your full-size patterns at the front, full-size patterns at the back. Obviously, oh, look, UK size 8 to 26. Eight, three, six, that's good. Um, also, also, we must have got a special deal. Look, it's supposed to be fourteen ninety nine. You won't see that. It's supposed to be fourteen ninety nine. See it when you go home. Right, so there are patterns at the front, patterns at the back, and then oh, look at the index here. There's all sorts of things. There's accessories, there's eye mask, face marks, hair ties, headbands. So all of these would be brilliant to use out of what we've just been selling. You just won't be able to do the dresses and skirts out of what we've done. You see, look. There's the iron fabric, look. Oh, look, this fabric used for the Christie Circle Skirt on page 28. It's different coloured electric irons repeated throughout the design in a nod to the time when they were a new modern convenience. Aww. Working with African wax fabric, pattern matching. Right, here we go. So top skirts and pants. Oh, do you know what we should do? I'll just wait for Hannah to stop talking about the microwave. You know the orange and lemon fabric? I've said that we should do a lovely simple summer skirt, summer trousers, summer top. Maybe we should make these out of that. Jumpsuit! Hannah! That's exactly what Hannah wants, but in the lemons, in the lemon fabric. And she wants, she wants a dark who's body as well. And she wants a dark who's house. I think she just wants to be a dark who, doesn't she? Oh, look, these would be brilliant. These would be brilliant. Oh, I'm going to make, do an email. I'll do it. I can't do it now. Okay, Stuart says, I've nearly sent up another Harry Styles cardigan. Done two this week. Oh, so you've been great company as I sew up. You know the Harry Styles cardigan? He's got, sure it's got a bundle that makes the whole Harry Styles cardigan. It's brilliant. There's the skirt, the Christie Circle skirt. Ah. Then we've got uh, Lottie's. Oh, have, have they all got names? Sorry. Oh, I want, yeah, Christy, Lottie, Priscilla, Jennifer. There better be a John in here, a Daku. Althea. Well, let's have a look. Lottie. Mary. Oh, right, that must be a dark who's friend now. Look, I wonder who that is. Doesn't say. Oh, unless that's Mary. That might be Mary. Oh, was I didn't see. That's a dark. Oh, yeah, sorry, I didn't see her. She looks like Barbara Broccoli. That's what Barbara Broccoli looks like. She makes the Bond films, you know, Bro the Broccoli family. That's, she's Diana. I'm just giving them all names now. Then we're on to dresses. Oh, look, isn't that gorgeous? So we've got Megan, Philippa, Dorothy, Etta, Millie and Betsy in here. No, John. I think the John will be an apron, I'm thinking. Oh, aren't these just, lo look. Aren't they just fabulous? Oh, that, this fabric is in, in I know you're only getting them by the half metre or the um, fat quarter, but this was in one of those. Oh, isn't this a lot? Oh, that is nice. One piece sleeve. Oh, that's lovely, isn't it? Betsy, you see, I think, I just think dresses made out of fabrics like this are just incredible. Oh, have you seen the contestants for sewing beer been announced? Oh, no, I haven't. Oh, here goes. Sue says, I've got a dark whose book. It's lovely. She, oh, she had the iron fabric last week. 
Yeah, but there's no, the thing is, she didn't have fabric by the half yard last week. She only had them in these bundles. So it wouldn't have been enough to do the skirt out of. Here you see now, the bundles that we're selling would be brilliant for all of these. Beatrice, Penny, Kareen, Sophia, Marilyn, and the John Scott box bag. So here we go with Beatrice. Oh, we've got that, now you've seen that fabric. That's in, oh, that's in the box in the main room there, the penny coin purse, Corrine pencil case. Where's the bo John Scott box bag? Sophia, Sophia. No, I have, I have, the last one was cut. There you go, the John Scott box bag. No, it said John Scott. Sarah, Iris, Evelyn, Maya, Harriet, Hattie and Frederica. Sarah, this is how she started. That's what she started off making. Iris, infinity scarf. I wore my infinity scarf to work this morning. Well, if you if not either of you been here when I arrived, then maybe you'd have seen it. I thought, oh, it must be Paul on today, he's so late. And then Jeremy Joe walked in. Sleep my yeah, well obviously. Maya. Hattie headband. Oh, I thought, what a lovely book that is. I'm just going to check, what colour were the irons? Oranges and... Let's just check we didn't miss the irons in here. Right. Maybe she brought some other fabrics with her. But the iron's definitely not in any of those, is it? Might be what, Hannah? Yeah, yeah, it might come in one of yours, I'm not saying. But somebody said we had, she had it when she was in the other day. Hannah can't get over it, she loves it. Right, okay, I'm going to move on. Look at me waffling on how much. 12 99 and it should be more than that, it should be 14 99 14 full-size pull-out patterns as well. So that's a pound a pattern. Oh no, it's not even a pound a pattern. Plus you get the lovely book with it. Are the patterns in this book good for beginner? I'd say so. Look, because look at the basic shapes of them, Princess. It's so lovely. Ah. There's not what? Oh, see, Hannah's going to buy this book because she's giving... See, you could make that, Hannah. Uh, okay. Well, no, no, no. But the thing is, none of it... I don't think any of it's complicated. Anyway, better move on. Oh, mess you on my bottom before I move. Uh, love in the book, John. You have made me laugh out loud several times this morning. Thank you for brightening my day. Sue in Bedfordshire. Oh, Sue, thank you. I'll just stay here now. It's made my day, that has. Come on, then. We're going over to the other side now. I've got so much stuff to take with me as well. Right, so I'll take my glasses. I'll leave a darku here. I'll leave my water. Oh, oh no, I want to take water with me. Yeah, Mandy Wilson, who won the fabric bundle. Oh! Oh, she's... Yeah, hang on. She's just sent in an email. Thank you to the team of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane for making me get out of bed every day. I have no idea what I'm going to do with all that fabric. I'm sure something will come to mind. There's only 50 metres of it. <laughs> Oh, oh, God, I forgot that egg was... Oh, I'll make, I'll make, I'll send you... No, I won't, because you can't buy straight because sold out. Oh, Mandy. Right, Mandy, I know what I'm going to do. Email your address to Hannah right now. Right? Email your address to Hannah, and I've got something I'm going to send you. And it's better than a Smarties Easter egg. No, no. You know what you had? I've got one of those left. Yeah. And you, as you're not eating chocolate anymore, you don't need it. So, 
Anyway, yeah, if you, if you want my, a present from me, um, send me... I mean, she might go, I don't want that. Oh, don't thanks. But, you know, send your email. It, it has to be now in the next 25, 35 minutes. Otherwise, we won't get it. Right, shall we start? Oh, how fantastic. How exciting to look forward to all that fabric arriving. Oh. Yeah, we will do. Oh, hang on, not the little fat, I thought you meant the little fat quarter. Right, okay, here we go. I've got a Liberty one here. Oh, hang on, are they not Liberty? Oh, that's not Liberty, that's not Liberty, these Liberty. So I'll do the floral one first. So the pink fabric isn't Liberty, obviously, but the lemons and the flowers are. Oh. Okay, this one then. Yeah, but you didn't specify that. You just said the Liberty ones. Oh, hang on. These got more. It's got more. It's got more fat quarters in it. There's five in this one. Five fat quarters in this one. Oh, pardon. <laughs> it, was my, it was my iPad. It wasn't me. Is the mug dishwasher and microwave safe, please? Yeah, apparently Hannah says yes, it is, Julie. Oh, Sue, she's got the skirt. She had the skirt with her on her show. Maybe contact a darker. Yeah, we will do. Oh, she brought the iron skirt into show. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Right, how much are these then? For sixteen forty-nine. Uh, four of them are Liberty, so that's twenty pound. Oh, no, okay, I can't do that breakdown anymore. Because the Liberty Fat Quarter would normally be five pounds, wouldn't it? Or say four pounds. So that's 16 pounds and we're paying, charging 49p for that one there. That would be Rose and Hubble, the cream one there. What's that? £16.49. pounds and 49 pence. Well, yeah, but you can't also... 16.49. Gorgeous, aren't they? So you get the pink flip. Say that again. Yeah, 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 yeah. She, 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 she's going to make a skirt because then she wouldn't have the leg problem that we were telling you about last week. Not that she's got problems with her legs, but, but she sewed two left legs together. Oh, have I? This one. This one's also got five in it. So four liberties. I don't remember that liberty one at all. That's not. That's Rose and Hubble there. Oh no! You've made me choke on my coffee. Mum can't stop laughing. What have I said now? Don't. I'll get into trouble. Yeah, the management are watching. Where's what? Not been here. I've been here over six months now. No. Okay, last one. Of the Liberty. I'd like to see him try. So two Liberties and two Rose and Hubbles. Oh, there's not. Okay, there's an extra. There's, there are meant to be five in here. Oh! I haven't got the dark blue one, I'm afraid. No, I definitely haven't. Is it on the trolley still? Oh, was this what Paul was sorting out yesterday? Should we ask Kat? You do get five. Why is it only 11 time? Oh, management. Oh, hang on. <laughs> Margaret's on one today, right? Margaret's already threatened to come in and sort this place out, right? Ma management should not be watching. They should be getting on with their jobs. No, that is part of their job, Margaret, to watch me, to make sure I don't say anything I shouldn't. Poor Hannah's never allowed to forget her left leg, two left leg debacle, bless her. She's the one who keeps bringing it up. 
You just said, you said, I'll make that skirt. I wanna, and then she said, no, I don't want to make the skirt. I'll make the dress because there's no leg issues. Why? Because you said it. Now, there's no fight. Alice says we're going to fall out today. Well, she'll have fun packing away all the boxes on her own, won't she? Right, I'm going for my shower. Don't worry, I'm taking you with me. Oh, Princess, do we have to watch you again? I haven't got that either. Oh, over there, it's folded differently. I have no idea. Single ivory, single ivory fat quarter. One pound forty nine. It's a fat quarter. It's a fat quarter. Oh, see, I think Hannah's going to fight with that. She's just said to Jeremy, "Be quiet, or I'm going to punch you." I mean, what kind of? That's not very ladylike, is it? It's recorded. Don't worry. Everything that's said in there is recorded. We don't condone violence, but obviously she meant it. One pound forty nine. It's a fat quarter of cream, rose and hubble. What else can I say? As of today, I think today's flown by. Today, isn't it? Oh, Hannah's nearly got a doubt. Yeah, just stay off. And the day before. Oh no, no, we were here the day before. Yeah. <laughs> Did we only get one day off? This one. This is posy, but not in posy colour. That's the same as the posy we had before, wasn't it? Yeah, posy print. These two are posy print. I don't know what those are called. And then you get the pink as well. Oh, now Sue saying, do you want me to come and sort someone out, John? <laughs> We've all got you back. No, it's fine. Sixteen pounds and forty nine pence. Six forty nine. No one can help me, Jeremy Joe. Oh, she's so. I. T I, <laughs> I don't feel bad about what I said about her the other day. If you could hear what she said about me and my earpiece now. Six, <laughs> Sixteen pounds and forty nine pence. Oh, and of course you too, Hannah, she says. Yeah. No, you're just, you're just te temporary, Jeremy. You're not, don't count. <laughs> oh, books. You are switching and changing all over the place today, aren't you? Yeah, which one first? So beautiful. Quilted bags. No, she went at two. She went and... And the so beautiful twilty bags too. Yeah. Oh really? Oh, okay. Um Hannah's never seen this book here before. She didn't know it was available here. So beautiful quilted bags, fourteen ninety nine. This is such a beautiful book. I know, we love those little houses. And now these are very, very, these are not quick afternoon makes in this book. Look. We're saying maybe not for a beginner as well, look. Yeah, well, it's, I think it is Akimi Shibata. That sounds a little bit Japanese, doesn't it? Very, very popular. Oh, yeah, 28 lovely diet designs from Japan. That might be a giveaway. <laughs> Yeah. Right, okay, carrying on. Orange peel bag. Oh, look, I love it in the black. Oh, no, Hannah, what were you doing? No, what did she do last night? Oh, that's right. She bent down to get another toothbrush out of the bathroom cabinet, came up, banged her head, and she's convinced that's what's made today a bad day for her. She's now just, she's just moved her head like that, and it's really hurting. Uh, Sue said, yeah, you can put your heavy handbag away now, Sue, thank you. 
Nikki says, having such a great day today. You on my telly, sewing street mug in the post, and I've made a pair of trousers completely on my own overlocker. Not own, on my overlocker from the Lotta. Oh, we love that book, the Lotta Jan's Lotta book. But I think I need a Darku's book too. You do indeed. Darku's book is lovely. Look. Oh, look. That little rucksack. Hang on, hang on. How does that... Oh, I see. That flaps down like that. Oh, wow. That's clever. Now, you see, I know we used to sell this book at Sewing Quarter because I remember that bag there. Sunflower tote. Then we've got the zigzag tote. Look, there's the one, Hannah. It's called Village Tote, the one you like. And it's got an anatomic, anatomically correct bird on it. Fiesta bucket bag. Please be careful how you say that. Wabby Sabi purse. What, what will be will be. Yeah. No, Wabby Sabi. Isn't that what? Uh, no, not Wasabi on your. What are those called? Sushis. <laughs> Lunch bag and. How posh is that? Yeah, how posh is that as your water carrier? Yeah, but you bring yours in a carrier bag. Boxy tree bag. Can you imagine making one of those for this? Cheers. Confetti cross bag. Oh, the books, the bags in here are beautiful, aren't they? Oh, they've called it puzzle. Right, but that's a tumbling block, isn't it? They're all lovely, aren't they? It's not one. Oh, now that's like, like the Hawaiian quilting look. Hawaiian applique. Garden pouch. Oh, look, little quilt shop. Anna would have the bakery or Morrison's on there and hers. The donut shop. Flower pochette. Pochette. How would you say that? Well, I'm not going to ask Anna. It's pochette, isn't it? But it's... Bedwork embroidery sup. There's so... How many projects? There's so many projects here. They're beautiful, aren't they? 28. 28 for 14.99. That's not... That's like 50p a project, isn't it? I'm going to move on because it's time. Time's running away with us, as usual. Then I've got quilted throws, bags and accessories. Now, I remember Jane Alcock making this one. Very, are they both search press? No. How funny, different, they're different. Um, yeah. $14.99. Again, look, this one's by Sanai Kono, I think. I'm sorry if I've spelt, uh, pronounced your name incorrectly. Oh, no, all the projects. Oh, so, oh no, look, it's the same 28 projects. Right, all the pictures are at the beginning. Look, squares, squares, tic-tac-toe, uh, nine patch, garden tapestry, log cabins, log cabin floor mat, log cabin gusset bag, courthouse steps tote bag, market tote. Look at these, they're tiny little blocks, look. Hexes, here you go, Hannah. Hexes and stripes. Diamonds and lace pouches, star quilts, apple cores. Now, this is the one that, Jack, remember Jane Alcott made this on sewing, on sewing quarter. Have you not got to make an appointment? Oh, okay, so Hannah's just got a text from her gym saying they open at 6am on the 12th. Mine opens at 6am, but you have to make an appointment. You can't just turn up. Oh, okay. Oh, but that'd be really annoying if you get there just after. Yeah, you have to, on mine, you have to 
But then how many people are they letting in at a time? Yeah, mind you, there's only six people allowed in at once. But that's why you have to book and you get 45 minutes. So you come in, then, oh no, you have an hour, but it doesn't go one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock. It goes one o'clock, half past two. So it gives them half an hour to clean the gym before the next batch come in. Susie in Cheltenham. John, I don't sew. I'm a painter. But I have you on in on the telly all the time. You brighten up my day. It's like having a friend round from Susie in Cheltenham. <gasps> oh, Susie, how lovely. You mean you mean painter, painter. You don't mean like painter and decorator, do you? You mean painter, painter. <gasps> Are you been on, um, have you been on Portrait Artist of the Year? Or Landscape? I love that show. I can't paint for toffee. Hannah can paint. She's got a whole degree in it, but she can only do budgies. Oh, now, one of, the, one of the men, is it a man or a lady? Uh, uh, Hannah knows a very attractive man who was on Portrait of Stars of the Year. He wants people to sit for him. What's he looking for? What kind of person is he looking for? Oh, he won, uh, he won Portrait of Stars of the Year for the National Portrait Gallery, not one on the telly. Where did he come on the one on the telly? Oh, he's not a friend. He's not a friend. It's somebody she stalks on Instagram. <laughs> oh, okay. She got friendly with him at a party at university once, apparently. Right, come on, come on. What's next? What's next? What's next? Moda yesterday, fat quarters. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Here you go, look. So what's his name? So we can, people want to go for a portrait. Charlie what? Oh, look, split pay, split pay, split pay. 34, Moda, yesterday, when all my troubles seem so far away. Now I'm here to stay. Oh, why, oh, why isn't it yesterday? That's not right, is it? Oh, I believe in it. Margaret says, wish my sewing machine was working. Well, maybe not. I would have spent a fortune this morning. Oh. Yeah, no, I could go and sit for him, but I can't not... Well, he'd have to be two metres away, and I'm keeping my clothes on. Don't paint me like you paint your French girls, whatever she says to Leo Lardo in the film. And then she goes like this, doesn't she? She goes like this. <gasps> oh, it's West London. I thought you said Birmingham. Oh, it's West London's only an hour for me. That's fine. Which bit of West London? Anyway, it doesn't matter. His name is Charlie... Schaefer. Is it S-C-H-A-E-F-F-E-R? Yeah, Charlie Schaefer. He's looking for models. Or people. Yeah, people, but sitters. People to be sitters. Oh, that'd be nice. The trouble is, I'm always a bit disappointed when somebody does a drawing of me because I think, oh, I look really old. And they go, everyone's going, it's not brilliant. It's not lifelike. And I'm like, oh, is it? Do a picture of me when I was 27 or something. The big um, layer cake one, yeah. 10 inch layer cake. Oh, this is a charm cake, this one. It's layer cake because it's by Moda, this one, isn't it? They've combined all the words. Oh, look, you've got to see these. Oh, I don't know why I'm turning it around. It's the corner there. Oh, no. I've put them over there. Anyway, don't mind. Here you go, look. I did bring, Roxana, I did bring them out, I promise. If you love traditional, really, really gorgeous traditional fabrics. Oh, too much sugar. Oh, no, no sugar. Hannah's getting very hot in the gallery. A chocolate chip latte. That sounds disgusting. Thirty-one ninety-nine. Uh, excuse me. Don't you get forty? Did it say how many pieces you get? Forty-two. At thirty-one ninety-nine. Now these are normally about thirty-nine pounds, forty pounds, aren't they? John and Hannah, you do cheer me up 
In fact, I think you kept me going through this whole COVID time. Not seen my parents in nearly 18 months due to me being in England and they're in Wrexham. And the border has been closed. Sharon, I didn't know they lived in... I knew, because you're in um, South Yorkshire, aren't you? Because um, Sharon, when I started the, the John Scott show, we had this brilliant prize and everyone just... Had, she won it for over £400 worth of goodies. Anyway, um, my sister that doesn't talk to me lives in... Well, she lives in Kai, which is Wrexham, isn't it? Anyway. Thirty-one ninety-nine. that's not right. Is it? Thirty-one ninety-nine. So what, computer says yes. Beautiful. And I thought this folktale one had sold out. Oh no, it was the other one. It was the other one. The other one, yeah. Another Moda one here. This one's... Now we've had folk... Oh look, no, these were folktale. The um, poses were folktale, weren't they? Look, these are all folktale. Oh, I thought Elliot had fixed it. Oh, no, they live a nice area, Sharon, don't they? I won't say where, because it's quite a small town, isn't it? Okay, look. These are beautiful. Again, traditional. That pattern is called posy. Stripes. Big daisies. Posy. I don't know what, I think that one must be called roses or something, that one. Hang on. Come on, John. There you go. On caramel. Then you've got the browns. Then we'll go through into the pinks, I'm sure. Oh, no, now. Terracotta. Well, I want to say terracotta, but that's like an Italian terracotta, isn't it? Not terracotta pots. And we're in the kind of... Um... Okay, okay, that's fine. That's absolutely fine. Have you got the address? That's absolutely fine. That's fine. I'll do that tonight for you. They're fresh, aren't they? They're lovely and fresh. Who's that? Mandy, I did. I did read out your thing. I did, I did read out your message. The what? Oh, yeah, she said the egg's taking its range. I haven't eaten any of it. It's still under the... I had that one piece and I thought, stop, because you won't get through to the end of the show if you eat the rest of it. Now this one's thirty three ninety nine. Moda. Nice. Oh, now yeah. Now in the first hour this morning, we had some barley bundles. Barley, um, meaning uh, batik, batik, batik. And what happened was the pictures weren't on the website. Hannah's fault, not blaming anyone. It was, well, I am, I'm blaming Hannah because she was too late making the bundles. Anyway, the pictures are now on the website. What we found people were doing is they were looking at them, putting them in their baskets, not checking out. We were thinking, oh, maybe it's because people can't see the pictures. So, spring first, which is this one. Right, this was um, Augustus, Ballet Pink, Daffodil, and dewdrop. That's your daffodil. Picture on the website. So that's that one's daffodil. Then you get dewdrop, ballet pink, and uh, Augustus on that one. Twenty nine pounds and forty six pence. Half the socks in baskets, now you can check out. Uh, thank you, John, Hannah and team for yet another great morning. Got to go now. You take care, good Georgina. Yeah, we're going in a minute as well. Blue hyacinth next, which is this one. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, that's this one, isn't it? So this one, you get your green batik, your blue big pansy, your cloud, well, not cloud, two blue batiks there. There you go, there's the picture on the website. What happened was, uh, 
It was Hannah forgot it was bank holiday weekend and that people with normal jobs don't work over the bank holiday weekend. So she made the bundles, but they'd all gone home, so they didn't get photographed. That was all. Next. This is called Jungle. And we're there we go. Jungle. People are checking out of this one without even looking at them. Um, blue. I can't remember now what this one was called. Um, yeah, don't worry, don't worry. But you get all four of those anyway. There they are. Purple Bottom, Bella Purple, Jungle Green, and one other. Purple Bella. Oh, yeah, Purple Bella. Yeah, that's two sets. That, oh, you can't see what I'm pointing at because Joe's going to. Yeah, okay. Purple Blossom and Jungle Green. Purple Bella, Blossom and Jungle Green. Poppy. How many people's dogs called Poppy just jumped off the sofa then? Oh, actually, I think one of the cats I've adopted might be called Poppy. It was Daisy. I can't remember the names now. I don't know if I've definitely got them yet, but... Right, 21.97, you get a metre and a half here, so you get chamomile. No. Yeah. Chamomile, cardinal, and red. But the red's actually orange. There they are. Please make sure you check out your baskets. Right, uh, extra wide backings. Now, Jeremy, you've got pictures of these that we need to show. Which one do you want to start with? 35. It would be the bottom one, wouldn't it? Yep. Right, now, on your camera, you might be able to see the pattern of this, but Jeremy's going to show you a picture in a minute. It's white on white. Well, it's cream on cream. They call it white on white. Right, so, right, that's there. Now, that's the pattern that you'll be able to see when you get this home, but it doesn't have the grey on the one that you're buying. If you go back to mine, that's what it looks like. You can just about see the pattern on the, sc the screen there, can't you? This is extra wide backing, quilt backing, twelve ninety nine. I'm thinking weddings. I'm thinking um, tablecloths for weddings. I'm thinking serviettes for weddings. Yes, of course, you could use it as a quilt backing, but it's 108 inches wide. And how beautiful would that be to make wedding... Um, I don't know what you call it, the, um, the, ta the kind of tableware and things. I don't know what it's called. What do you call tablecloths and things like that? Anyway, 12 99 touch of white, 108 inches, floral swirl, that one's called. Take a note of the number. That would be the best thing, in case you forget the code. Do you know, are you telling me? Ending 50. This one's kind of got a more modern feel to it. It's got lots and lots of swirls on it. Look. I don't know if you'll see it. Oh, there you go. There you go. There you go. I think this is just Hannah doodling with the biro. Look. That's on the web. You don't get the grey lines on yours. That's just to show the uh, shape of the pattern on it. Okay. Then, which one next, Han? 42. This is Paisley, this one. Oh, no, there's only three and a half metres this one, of this one left. So don't be planning your wedding around this one. Mind you, you can still only have up to 30 people, I think, can't you, when the new rules come in? Oh, there you go. Can you see that? You can see that without having to see the drawing one, can't you? It's lovely. But there's only three and a half metres that. Remember, it's 108 inches wide, 100% cotton, machine washable, quilting weight fabric. Oh, we're going to show it to you anyway. Oh, table linen. That's good. Who was that? Suzanne. Thank you, Suzanne. Yeah, table linen. Cool. What's the matter with me? It's been a long day, hasn't it? Then the last one, before I do the menu, is the, there's only five metres of this one left. Oh, napery or napery it's called, says Jude Judith says. Napery. I've never heard that word before. Oh, 
What do we call this one then? Rose. Okay. We had a quick question for do the menu. Could you use the extra wide Tula Pink to make a dress? Yes, you could. Yes, you could. But remember the extra wide one of Tula Pink is only the green check one with the drawing all over it. But yes, you could. Who was that one? I didn't read who it was from, sorry. Jacqueline, yes, you could, Jacqueline. Any of these you could. This would make the most gorgeous dress. They could the fabric, the lovely fabric. Uh, Elizabeth says. Thanks for shouting Poppy and Daisy, but you missed out Lolo and Reg. Off to the theatre in Clandidno on Thursday. Oh, for my COVID jab. I was going to say, I was about to say what shows are on. Wish it was for a show. Oh, I bet you do, Elizabeth. Clandidno. Now, no, it's not Clandidno, the theatre I went to. What's the Rose Pavilion? No, New Brighton, I'm thinking of. New Brighton. Right, what's next? Oh, okay, it's daybreak, a half metres. Now, we did have the 10-inch charm pack of this fabric, but it sold out before we, before we got to it. So in this one, you get half a metre of the peach, half a metre, what's well, the same fabric, half a metre of the grey, half a metre of the pale teal. Then you get half a metre of the Rose and Hubble pink and half a metre of the Rose and Hubble ivory. £26.99. pence. Of what? Oh, yes, 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 yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, well, it's got white in the middle. Spring. These are now. These fat quarters are brilliant, brilliant, brilliant value, right? Seven ninety nine. Don't be thinking they're that rough old crap. These are lovely, lovely quality. Re <laughs> craft. I said craft. Seven ninety nine. Sorry, I thought they think thought I said something rude. Okay, quickly, next one. Bright, oh, this one. Red, yellow, pale green, bright green, blue. Seven ninety nine. They found what? Seven ninety nine. Okay, next one. Blush. I'm convinced I haven't seen this one before, but I'm allowed to be told I'm I'm wrong. Seven ninety nine. Oh, I've had it three times apparently. This. <laughs> this is the fourth time I've had it and I launched it apparently it's time to go home I've got one more I've got one more I've got one more winter autumn 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 no autumn so you've got like sage concrete plaster puddle Seven ninety nine. They're brilliant quality. Really, really good value for money. These seven ninety nine. Should I have a look at tomorrow's menu? It's me again tomorrow and Hannah. And it's not Jeremy Joe tomorrow, is it? Okay, here we go. Is Emma back tomorrow? Eight o'clock quilting tools. That's me at eight o'clock. Nine o'clock. Helen Newton's flower shop cushion with Cara Ackerman. Do have a look at those on the um, Facebook page. They're lovely. Ten o'clock. Once upon a time, there was some fabric. Oh, there's an awful lot in there. It's a fabric range called Once Upon a Time. Oh, yes, yeah, princesses and knights and things like that. Uh, 11 o'clock, Helen Newton's washing line cushion with Cara Ackerman. Then, of course, we have to run. We have to pack up and run to the other studio then at 12 o'clock. And you get a much better presenter at 12 o'clock. Yarn Lane. Oh, don't say that because now, if it's not me and it's Rebecca Reed, they'll be like, oh, OK. Uh, what is it? Woolly chic bags with Helen Ingram. Now, I'm wondering if I haven't met Helen Ingram. I think she's the one that couldn't come in because the ice. Yeah, we've had her kits, but I don't know if I've met her. I think she's got a blonde bob. Uh, 
Anyway, I'm going to go now. Make sure you check out your baskets. Thanks for your company. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'll find out now when I read my phone if I've adopted four kittens. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow morning. Take care. Bye. If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions, then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task, and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Well, our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. They're full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. And not only will they take your order, they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Hello, I'm Kerry from Living in Loveliness and I'm delighted to be part of the Sewing Street team. I'm based in Wolverhampton and I absolutely love working with fabulous fabrics. In particular, I love working with fat quarters and showing you how to get the most from your scraps. I love bringing communities of sewists together and encouraging people to sew for greater causes. Most recently, we have been sewing for our NHS and key workers. Um, I look forward to bringing you hints, tips and techniques. I'll see you soon.